Advertisement. On the calm sea, a seagull flew by. Under the sunshine, it looks extraordinarily peaceful. Not long after, the seagull carrying the newspaper found a pirate ship in front of him. After turning the seagull's wise eyes, it still flew towards the pirate ship. As an experienced seagull selling newspapers, they must know, even if they are pirates. When facing the newspaper, he will still pay obediently. Otherwise, the notoriety would spread, and the newsbirds would stay away, and they would miss out on the best way to get news from the outside world, as well as a way of pastime at sea. Arriving on the pirate ship, the seagull hovered for a moment, saw someone sticking out its hand below, and then flew down. After paying the money, the pirate who picked up the newspaper and read it immediately saw the news that caught his eye and occupied a quarter of the newspaper's page. The latest news from East Blue, a big pirate is born again, outlaw lunatic Gretel. Reward amount, 6,300. Barry, 6,000, 1, 10, 100, 1,000. 6,300 Barry. How is it possible? No matter how weak East Blue is, it won't be reduced to a pirate with 6,300 Barry, right? This amount of money may not even be enough for a meal of wine. Advertisement. What is Marine doing? The exclamation of this little pirate caught the attention of his companions. Everyone quickly gathered around. Then start counting together. 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, not 10,000. It's really 6,300 berry. Is there really nothing for Marine to do? A pirate worth 6,300 berry needs to issue a reward order, and it also takes up a quarter of the newspaper space. Hey, hey, you guys, what are you doing? A mighty voice sounded. A group of people quickly dispersed, and respectfully called out, Boss Alvida. Yes, that ship is none other than East Blue's infamous Alvida pirates. The leader is Iron Rod Alvida, with a bounty of 5 million berry. In this week East Blue, there are only a handful of big pirates with a level of tens of millions, and Alvida's 5 million can be regarded as a top-ranked pirate group. Boss Alvida, we are reading a joke in Marine. This newspaper actually spent a quarter of its page reporting on a person whose bounty is only 6,300 berry. The subordinates quickly handed over the newspaper. Alvida lowered the iron rod on his shoulders and made a loud noise. She took the newspaper and took a look. Sure enough, outlaw lunatic Gretel, offer a reward of 6,300 berry. In addition, there are photos about him. A man with a rough face, holding a double-barreled gun, and a cigar in his mouth, Gretel was printed in the newspaper. Advertisement. Alvida put down the newspaper, and said in a deep voice, What do East Blue's Marines do? Can't even catch such a person. However, judging by his appearance, he should be a pure man. If you meet him, let him join our pirate team. Yes, Sister Alvida. After a farce ended, the Alvida pirate ship still ambushed behind a rocky mountain according to the original plan, waiting for the passing merchant ships carrying rich people. At the same time, a small boat slowly passed by about 10 nautical miles away from the stone mountain. There was only one person on board, and it was Marine who spent a lot of time reporting it, and the bounty reached a total of 6,300, Gretel from Barry. Gretel put his double-barreled shotgun aside, and tried his best to slide the oars, with only a helpless expression on his face. Originally, Gretel was just an internet writer, and just wanted to write a fanfiction about using the skills in LOL to gallop through the world of pirates. As a result, just after writing the introduction, people had already time-traveled into the book, and also get the character template of Outlaw Graves. Yeah, I haven't even planned the opening game yet, so it's really uncomfortable, I don't even know where this is. Seeing the endless blue sea, the sea, and the sky, Gretel sighed, and could only slide the paddle aimlessly, hoping to reach an island with people sooner. A merchant ship was slowly sailing in the sea. The ship not only carried goods and treasures, but also many rich people were singing and dancing on it. The scene was so lively and pleasant. However, this scene was quickly broken. Boom. The merchant ship shook violently. Report to the captain, there is a pirate attack. Yes, it's Alvida, the iron rod that offers a reward of 5 million berry. Advertisement. When the sailor said these words, the captain knew it was over. Met a big pirate? Right now, the merchant ship does not have a gun barrel installed at all, and cannot fight back. It can only stop quietly and wait for the pirate ship to approach and plunder. It can only be blamed on their bad luck. There are not many pirates in East Blue, so the general merchant ships do not install defense measures at all, which will save a lot of costs and procedures. It's just that when you meet a pirate, you basically have to catch it without a fight. Under the threat of shelling, the merchant ship did not dare to move, otherwise the next shelling would hit the ship. The tycoons on board were in a mess. A girl with orange red hair took advantage of the chaos and sneaked to the place where the belongings were placed. The pirate ship approached slowly, and after a while, it came to the side of the merchant ship from the stone mountain. Following Alvida's order, the pirates put down the side of the ship specially used for plundering. A large number of pirates rushed from the side of the lowered ship to the deck of the merchant ship. They brandished big knives and looked excited. A glance at the size of the ship and the clothes of the people on board shows that they are all rich people. As the boss, Alvida was naturally the last to appear. Seeing that she was carrying a big stick, she kicked away the coward Kabe who stood in front of her. Kibi, I, who went out to sea with you, have already become a big pirate with a reward of 5 million, but you are still the coward you were back then. Alvida jumped, and the deck of the merchant ship seemed to have suffered a huge impact, unable to bear Alvida's weight. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 2 I'm only 20 years old, but I want a double-barreled gun, what's wrong with me? Advertisement. The sailors, captains, and rich men on the merchant ships didn't dare to take a breath in the face of the pirate's plunder. Wealth doesn't matter anymore, the key is to save your life. In a room in the cabin of the merchant ship, the three pirates looked at the wooden barrel used to hold wine in front of them, and their eyes suddenly lit up. Hey, so much wine, let's drink it, so Alvida won't find out, right? Hey hey, move things when you're full. The other two pirates also responded hey. Just as they were about to open the barrel, an untimely voice sounded. Hey, if you do this, if boss Alvida finds out, she won't let you off easily. Kabe huddled in a corner, his words trembling a little. But how could these two pirates listen to Kabe's words? At best, he is just a handyman, and he is not worthy of the title of pirate at all. The two just listened to it as a joke and didn't take it to heart at all. They lighted up the muscles in their hands, and wanted to split the barrel open in one breath. 
However, at this moment, there was a sudden movement in the wine barrel, then, a voice sounded, before the pirate who was about to split open the barrel could react, he was knocked out by Luffy who stood up from the barrel and stretched himself. It's so comfortable Luffy opened his mouth and typed lazily. Now that you've had enough sleep, it's time to find something to eat. Wow so much to eat. Luffy's eyes are shining golden, the whole room is full of food and wine. Luffy, who had been starved for several days, no longer hesitated, and immediately started to eat. Advertisement. The other two were startled when they saw the stunned pirate. The two of them ran out of the cabin without looking back, and were going to report to Boss Alvida. Meanwhile, Gretel, who is rowing aimlessly, finally sees something other than the sea and the sky. Boat? It's a boat. Gretel was so excited that he quickly rowed the boat, and the boat quickly approached the merchant ship. On the deck of the merchant ship at this time, Alvida had already heard the report from two subordinates, and suddenly burst into anger. What two wastes, even one person can't solve it? Alvida jumped up suddenly again, leaped forward, and smashed her huge body straight into the room of the cabin mentioned by her subordinates. Boom. The deck was smashed to reveal a pothole. A voice that made Alvida furious sounded. I'm going to be marine and grab that damned Alvida. Kabe finally stopped being cowardly and expressed his ideals. It's just that his body is still shaking, because Alvida is already standing in front of him. Kibi, who are you going to catch? Alvida stared at Kibi viciously, and pointed at the mace in his hand, which made Kibi tremble all over. Humph, I thought that weird guy was the pirate hunter Zoro, but it doesn't look like it. Alvida looked at the thin Luffy and snorted coldly. Alvida entered the arena, and the dozens of younger brothers quickly surrounded the entire room. With the exception of Alvida, everyone else was holding a knife and looked menacing. In this tense atmosphere, Luffy pointed to Alvida and said, Who is this rude ant? Huh? Advertisement. All the pirates were dumbfounded. Kirby is dumbfounded. Alvida is also confused. It's been so long, how dare someone still call him aunt? Still rude? Isn't it the most beautiful and beautiful woman in the world? Alvida is angry? She was shaking so much that she picked up the big stick and threw it at Luffy? However, at this moment, a strange voice appeared again. What are you playing? Gretel with a rough face, a cigar hanging, and a double-barreled gun appeared on the deck. Looking at the rude ant in front of him, he probably knew it. Alvida, East Blue's first boss. Alvida's stick that hit me there came to an abrupt end. Everyone's attention was drawn to Gretel. In less than two seconds, Gretel was recognized. Ha 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 ha. I just saw the newspaper. I didn't expect to see a real person soon. Isn't this the outlaw lunatic Gretel who was offered a bounty of 6,300 berry by Marine? The pirates on the side couldn't stand it anymore. The reward of 6,300 berry, in addition to making people laugh out loud, does it also want people to be afraid? Gretel was taken aback. Advertisement. Why do they all know me? And my name? Now it was Gretel's turn to be confused. Ha ha ha, don't you know your own news? It's spread all over East Blue. A young man threw the newspaper at Gretel. Gretel took it and took a look. Oh, good guy, so many pages are actually his reward order and his photo. Outlaw fanatic Gretel, bounty 6300 berry, die or alive. Gretel's head broke out in a cold sweat. Add more or less, 6300 berry, I'm a pure man who doesn't want to lose face. Forget it, I can buy 180 choppers. Gretel forcibly comforted himself, and then threw the reward order out casually. I don't have time to mess around. The male gun spit out a puff of smoke and raised the double-barreled gun. Now, the originally cheerful scene suddenly became silent. That's a gun, and it's still so big with two barrels. If anyone gets shot, they can't explode on the spot. The newspaper thrown by Gretel, blown by the sea breeze, soon floated to Luffy who crawled out of the room. Luffy reached out and grabbed the newspaper. Seeing Gretel, who was exactly the same as in the newspaper, Luffy suddenly became energetic. Good man, uncle, I just don't know if he is powerful or not. If he is, I invite him to be my crew member. Hey, hey, don't think I can't hear you. I'm not an uncle, Lao Zi is only 20 years old, he just looks a little older. Gretel quickly corrected. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 3 Perfect Curtain Call? The Disappearing Sack. Advertisement. An outlaw with a gun? If you don't mind, join my pirates. Alvida put the iron rod on his shoulders again. She is tough herself, so she naturally has a good impression of pure men. It's just that she chose the wrong partner. I don't have time to mess around. The male gun said with a cigar in his mouth. Upon hearing the rejection, Alvida was immediately upset. I'm a big pirate who was offered a reward of 5 million berry by Marine. Don't be ignorant of compliments. Alvida said coldly, putting the iron rod on the ground. But Gretel didn't bother hanging her at all, and now Alvida looked really sick to her stomach. Unless it is after eating the slippery fruit. Seeing that Gretel doesn't take this set, Alvida is ready to start immediately. Ding. Congratulations to host for meeting the first boss, reward a skill draw, host's weapon is detected as a gun, and all hero skills using guns will be put into the lottery pool. He couldn't help but startle at the sudden voice in Gretel's head. On the other hand, Alvida thought that his threat had worked. Gretel chooses to draw immediately. Everyone with a gun can be drawn, right? You should be able to choose a good skill in the first lottery. Gretel prayed and immediately chose the lottery. Ding, congratulations to host, you have obtained the ultimate skill of the dramatist, perfect curtain call. Perfect curtain call, start channeling and switch your weapon to a shoulder-mounted cannon. It fires four super shots, which have an extremely long range and can pierce minions and monsters, but stop after hitting the first enemy hero. The super shot will stage frighten enemy units it hits, i.e. slowing and slashing them. The fourth shot is carefully crafted so it's extra powerful and guaranteed to crit. Seeing the perfect golden curtain call, Gretel was in a good mood immediately. As expected of me. Advertisement. Seeing that you are so crazy, let's use you to try your power. Without hesitation, Gretel took out a smoke bomb and threw it into the crowd. Boom. The smoke bomb exploded, making the gathered pirates unable to see the situation at all. Then Gretel quickly drew his gun and came to the bow of the ship in an instant. The ultimate skill, the perfect curtain call. The double-barreled gun in Gretel's hand instantly turned into a shoulder-mounted cannon. Boom. One shot. Those who were still in the smoke bomb were instantly blasted away. Boom. Two shots. 
Gretel is targeting Alvida. Alvida, who was on the edge of the smoke, felt the danger, and quickly put the big stick in front of her. She seemed to regret it a bit. She shouldn't have threatened this person. No one in the entire pirate group has a gun, let alone a fight with a man carrying a cannon. It's okay to bully ordinary people, but once they encounter ordinary marines, the Alvida pirates will probably give up. Unfortunately, there is no medicine for regret. Those taunts alone are unbearable for a pure man, let alone threats. One shot, all the little guys standing in front of Alvida were blown away. Advertisement. Alvida, who was aimed at, also hit instantly, and an explosion sounded. Alvida, who was offering a reward of 5 million, was directly hit by the shell, and flew out for an unknown number of nautical miles. Just two shots, the Alvida pirates have been announced to be wiped out. Gretel also stowed the shoulder gun, reverting to his double-barreled shotgun. Luffy, who witnessed this scene, was about to be blinded in both eyes. Amazing. This uncle is so handsome. No boy will resist the temptation of mechs and shells. Luffy is no exception. Immediately, Luffy didn't know what method he used, and he came to Gretel in an instant, with golden eyes shining, looking at the double-barreled shotgun in his hand. It's amazing. Uncle, how did you turn it into a cannon and back again? As he spoke, his saliva was about to flow out. But at this time, Gretel didn't answer Luffy. His eyes were attracted by a touch of orange in the cabin. Nami. Gretel quickly ran to the cabin, the room where the fleeting figure sneaked into just now. Really? Nami, who wears a black thief turban on her head, but still shows a lot of short orange hair, is here. Seeing this, Luffy also ran to Gretel's side again. Looking at the orderly figure in the room, Luffy tucked his nose and asked strangely, Who is this person? Is he stealing something? As soon as Luffy's words came out, Nami, who was silently rummaging through boxes and boxes, was startled. She turned around slowly, looking at the two people standing at the door with a little embarrassment in her eyes. And Gretel was also going to scare her. Advertisement. The double-barreled shotgun in his hand was raised, and the thick black barrel appeared on Nami's face. Now Nami had no choice but to raise her hands obediently. With such a large barrel, one shot will probably kill your head. Nami laughed and said, Ha, ha, I'm just an ordinary girl on the boat who was caught by pirates. Since you have defeated the pirates, you will be my saviors, and you probably won't kill me. While talking, Nami used small steps to pull the pockets around her back behind her. But this action was quickly discovered by Gretel. Don't move, what's behind you? The barrel of the gun moved in Gretel's hand, signaling for Nami not to move. Then, he walked slowly behind Nami. Knew it? Gretel opened the big bag with one hand, and it was full of gold and silver treasures and piles of berry. Each pile of money is higher than Gretel's bounty. He turned his gaze to the system in his mind. In addition to the lottery interface, there is indeed a backpack icon in it. Open it, it's empty inside. Gretel touched his pocket, his expression changed. All the contents of that sack were received in the system backpack. I really don't poke. By the time Nami came back to her senses, the property worth several million that she had managed to loot had disappeared without a trace. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 4 Can you stop calling me uncle, captain? Advertisement. Lou, Mr. Luffy, there are several warships on the sea. Kirby panted and ran to Luffy's side and said, Has Marine come? Luffy tilted his head and said, It looks like he's about to run away. Kirby, do you know how to sail? Luffy asked. Kaba scratched his head and said, I was the navigator of the Alvida pirates before although I'm not very good at it, I can still find the general direction. Okay, then take me away to find that legendary pirate hunter. Luffy grinned. And this uncle, come to my pirate team too, I am the man who is going to be the pirate king. Luffy extended an invitation to Gretel. And at this moment, the system voice sounded again, please choose whether to join the Straw Hat pirates. Yes, reward a chance to draw a general skill lottery. No, the bounty reward has been increased by 10 times. The corners of Gretel's eyes twitched, looking at the two options. Ordinary skills are indeed okay, but what the hell is a tenfold bounty increase? What is the difference between 63,000 berry and 6,300 berry? Normal pirates start with millions, but out of his heart, Gretel still tends to become a pirate. The world government, the kind of organization that needs to be cultivated from a young age to join is first ruled out. Next is Marine, although Marine is the safest, it is also the most constrained. Besides, he was offered a reward as soon as he came, so there is no such possibility. Advertisement. Even Admiral, even Marine hero Garp, can't help himself sometimes. There is also the Revolutionary Army. The number of appearances is relatively low, and the sense of presence is relatively low, so it is not interesting, so it is excluded. Then there's the Bounty Hunter. He himself is a Bounty Hunter. Wouldn't it be too much to be a Bounty Hunter? Choose and choose, let's be a pirate, who let this be called One Piece. Besides, the protagonist group all send invitations to themselves. Since it is the protagonist, adventure is naturally indispensable, so it will not be boring. Besides, as the protagonist group, although sometimes it is very dangerous, but the safety of life can still be guaranteed. Gretel is too lazy to create a pirate group by himself, so why not just follow in Luffy's footsteps and have an adventure with him? Your name is Luffy, right? The dream is to become the Pirate King? That's really interesting. Let me join your pirate team. Gretel said, Okay, since this is the case, then I have my first partner, Uncle Gretel. Luffy happily put his arms around Gretel's neck and grinned. Gretel slapped Luffy's hand away angrily, and said, I told you I'm only 20 years old, don't call me uncle. Captain. By the way, Luffy, if you need a navigator, this little burglar in front of you is pretty good, isn't it? Gretel put away the double-barreled shotgun and raised an eyebrow at Nami. Huh? Me. Nami pointed to himself. How did he know my name? Also, how did he know that I know how to sail? Nami wondered in his heart, does he know my identity in the Dragon Pirates? Nami's heart skipped a beat, feeling something was wrong. Um, this Nami still hesitated. Advertisement. Boom. Only one cannon sound was heard, and those warships had already fired at the pirate ship. Time is urgent, if you don't run, it will be too late. At this time, Luffy also said, we just need to find a boat and leave. But Kabi, since your dream is to join the marine, then wait here for the marine to come over. You're just doing odd jobs on the ship, you can't be called a real pirate. As for sailing, since Uncle Gretel said she would, let her take us away. Luffy pointed to Nami. Okay, okay, Mr. Luffy, I will definitely become a qualified marine. 
Kobe clenched his fists and shouted. I'm waiting for you, Kirby. Luffy laughed. Everything has been negotiated, so Kobe stays and the three of them find a boat to leave. Yohu, Marine is here. Luffy said with a grin. Half an hour later, far away from the sea area attacked by pirates, a small boat was heading towards a small town. On the boat, Luffy, Gretel, and Nami looked at each other. Nami stared at Gretel fiercely and said, Where did you hide my money? As a woman who loves money like her life, she managed to steal several million berries, but she disappeared after being touched by this man? She can't take it. Facing Nami's questioning, Gretel spread his hands and said rascally, How do I know? It just disappeared anyway. Do you think that place on my body can hide such a big bag? Advertisement. Nami's mouth squirmed slightly, wondering if he was cursing Gretel. Seeing this scoundrel, she could only turn her head away, not seeing it clearly. It was Luffy, who was looking around and around Gretel again. Because Gretel found it troublesome, he put the double-barreled shotgun into the system backpack when they were not paying attention. Uncle Gretel, where did you hide the big gun? Show me it quickly, and that cannon. Luffy pursed his lips and said, like a curious baby, he must understand the magic of Gretel. But soon, he gave up because another thing was bothering him. I'm so hungry, I didn't have enough to eat on the boat just now. Luffy clutched his stomach and said listlessly, Gilo. The stomach also cooperated with him, and the timing of the ringing was well grasped. Hearing Luffy's stomach growl, Gretel, who was in good condition, also felt a little hungry. He felt that when he used the ultimate skill, perfect curtain call just now, his physical strength was consumed a lot. By the way, do you know where the powerful pirate hunter they mentioned just now is? I want him to be my partner. Luffy said weakly, Pirate hunter Roronozoro? I think Nami should know about this news. Gretel said, Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 5 Nami's Exclusive Skills. Advertisement. As a navigator who has stolen the invincible hands of East Blue, of course he knows all the news at sea. The famous East Blue Pirate Hunter has only been on the scene for half a year, and he has already become a ceiling-like existence in the East Blue Pirate Hunter circle. Hearing that, Nami rolled his eyes twice, then turned his head to Gretel and said with a smile, Of course I know about the news about Pirate Hunter. As Nami said, he stretched out another finger and said, As long as 100,000 berry, I'll take you to the island where the Pirate Hunter is. Gretel shook his head, as expected of you, Nami? Although he also knew that Zoro was in East Blue Marine Branch 153, he didn't know the way, and had to rely on Nami to take them there. Gretel stretched out a hand behind his back, opened the system backpack, and took out a hundred thousand berry from it and put it in his hand. Here, one hundred thousand, take us there. Gretel put the money in Nami's hand and said. Nami's eyes suddenly turned into her unique look of opening her eyes when she sees money, and she put away the one hundred thousand berry. But she didn't have any pockets to carry a hundred thousand berry, so she simply put the money on her chest. Sure enough, one hundred thousand berry disappeared. One of Nami's skills, bottomless. Gretel couldn't help but sigh, it's really amazing. But in the next second, Nami's expression changed immediately. Grinning his teeth, he yelled at Gretel, you still said you didn't hide my treasure. Otherwise, where did you get the money on your body? Nami was furious, and Gretel was a head weaker. But he quickly calmed down, and said, Captain Luffy didn't even see me take that bag of treasures, how could you frame me, I managed to earn that 100,000. Advertisement. Right Luffy. Gretel turned to Luffy and smiled. Luffy's brain circuit did not turn around at all, he asked curiously, treasure? What treasure? Where is it? Sure enough, Luffy is still reliable. The money is taken, hurry up and take us there. Gretel urged. Hurry up, I'm so hungry Luffy echoed. Seeing this, Nami could only roll her eyes helplessly, and drove the boat towards the location of the branch of East Blue Marine 153. As expected of Nami, it only took half a day to arrive. Although Gretel doesn't know how long it normally takes to arrive, it is right for a layman to watch the excitement without knowing it. This let Luffy know about Nami's sailing skills. Anyway, it doesn't matter whether she is good or not, the key is that she knows it, and that's enough. You can also be my partner, I am short of a navigator. Luffy said to Nami with a grin. As soon as Luffy said it, Nami immediately responded, I don't want it. That's right, she doesn't want it, she hates pirates the most. Although she is also a member of the Dragon Pirates now, it's just an expedient tactic for her to pretend to be a snake. Once she collects 100 million berry and redeems Kokoyasi village, she will never have anything to do with pirates again. Therefore, it is absolutely impossible for her to join the pirates. Advertisement. But Luffy didn't care so much. He put his arm around Nami's shoulders and identified her as his navigator. At this time, although it was already mid-afternoon, the sun was still vicious. The scorching sun shone on the ground, making the group of three who had just got off the boat extremely thirsty. Marine came so fast that they didn't have time to bring some food and water when they fled. After getting off the boat, Nami wanted to sneak away, but when she thought that her millions of berry were still in Gretel's hands, she couldn't bear it anymore. Simply follow the two of them directly to see if there is a chance to snatch their treasure back. By the way, Nami, did you just say that Zoro was imprisoned in Marine Base? Luffy tilted his head and asked Nami, Zoro. In an instant, the people on the street who heard the name Zoro fled from the three of them in an instant, far away, as if there was something unclean. Nami ah, look, I've said it all, the pirate hunter Rorino Zoro has a notorious reputation, and everyone who hears this name should stay away from it. Nami said helplessly. However, I heard that the pirate hunters were indeed imprisoned in the marine base. There is a colonel named Manka here, who is said to be very powerful. Nami added. However, when she said Colonel Menka, the people around seemed to have seen a ghost, and fled away more than 10 meters away again. Ah, it seems that this name cannot be mentioned here. A few people continued to move forward, and there were not so many words on the road. On the way, Gretel randomly found a stall and bought some fruit and wine. When it was time to pay, Nami stared straight at him, wanting to see where he could get the money from. Advertisement. Seeing this, Gretel just reached into the pocket of the windbreaker, and then took out a stack of 10,000 berry bills. The flawless behavior made Nami's teeth itch. Marine base is easy to find, and you will find it as soon as you look for it. Looking at the thick and high wall in front of him, Luffy simply used his ability. Grabbing the wall in one go, the whole person just passed by. This scene made Nami, who saw Luffy using rubber fruit ability for the first time, have a little change in his eyes. Devil fruit? It seems that this person named Luffy should not be weak. 
Nami was thinking, when Luffy climbed up the wall, stretched out two long arms, wrapped around Nami and Gretel. Come up too, I saw him. Ha 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 ha. In Luffy's laughter, Nami's panic came out. No, the wall is only three or four meters high, but Luffy has already thrown people into the sky. Rao is Gretel who has made enough mental preparations, and his heart can't help but hang up. Stim, stim, stimulate. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 6 Zoro, as a bounty hunter, I live in Bengu. Advertisement. The sun was scorching, and there was no shelter on the marine base campus. The sun scorched the earth, sending out bursts of heat, distorting the line of sight a little. Zoro has been hanging out here for three weeks. The wind, the sun, the rain, hunger, and thirst didn't break his will. As a bounty hunter, he didn't want to fight against marine, but he couldn't blame Barrow member's temper, so he could only accept a one-month bet. Despite Zoro's will of steel, he's exhausted right now, um... Suddenly, Zoro caught sight of an anomaly from the corner of his eye. Someone's climbing over the walls of Marine Base? Zoro raised his head, and saw the weird man stretching out from the wall, holding two people in his hands? Ah. Nami's terrified voice came. Fortunately, Luffy knew it well, and all three of them landed safely. Nami, who landed in the schoolyard, immediately turned into a beast and roared at Luffy. What are you doing? Do you know that you are going to die? Also, what's the matter with your hand? Do normal people have such long hands? Nami's insults didn't elicit a response from Luffy, who snapped his nose and walked towards Zoro. Are you Zoro the pirate hunter? Luffy asked. If you are really strong, why are you tied here? Advertisement. This is one of the few times Luffy can understand logic. At this time, Gretel also came over. Take out the fruit and wine prepared in advance. As for the food, it will come later. Pirate Hunter Zoro. I heard that you are very strong. I like to drink with strong people. Would you like to have a sip? As Gretel said, he threw a piece of fruit to Luffy and Nami. He lifted the bottle and took a sip. Ah, as expected of a wine worth several thousand berry, it is not bad. Zoro tilted his head to look at the man in front of him, a look of longing flashed in his eyes. For three weeks, Marine did not give him any food or water under the strict order of Baromevo. No one dared to approach here to give him something, he was already very hungry for food. Do you only like to drink with the strong? Then wait for me to go out and try it out. If I can't be called a strong by then, you can kill me. The implication of Zoro's words is already very clear. Now that he has drunk this meal, he will prove to him after he goes out that he is a strong man, otherwise he can only apologize with death. Ha ha ha, you really have the demeanor of a strong man. Gretel walked over with a smile, reopened a bottle of fine wine, and fed it to Zoro. And Zoro is not welcome, he drank it all in one gulp. At this moment, several people noticed a slight movement, which still came from the wall. Advertisement. A rope was thrown in from the other end of the wall, and then a cute little girl with twin ponytails slid down the rope flexibly. The little girl saw that there was no one wearing marine clothes in the school grounds, and there was no nasty bellumbo, so she quickly ran over from the wall. Sialgia. Zoro recognized it immediately. He was tied here precisely for Sialgia. Brother, I'm here to bring you rice balls. You haven't eaten all this time, right? This is my first time making a nigiri, and I don't know if it tastes good. Sialgia spread her hands, revealing two rice balls wrapped in lotus leaves. Gilo. Zoro swallowed silently now. He really wanted to eat, but he still insisted. Hey, kid, what are you doing? I'm not hungry. Are you looking for death? Get out of here quickly. Leave. How to leave? Suddenly, a disgusting voice came. Everyone followed the prestige, and it really was that annoying Bellumbo? The iron fence of the school grounds was opened, and Bellumbo arrived with two marines. As soon as it appeared, apart from the voice, there was also the unbeatable pace. Gretel has only seen this kind of gate in videos before, and has never seen anyone dare to walk like this. Suddenly, a feeling of unhappiness spread in his heart. Who is he? Called outlaws? Advertisement. Then you won't see anyone crazier than him. When Bellumbo walked up to them and raised his hand to pick up Sialgia's rice balls, the sea soldier behind him suddenly raised his gun. Master Bellumbo, hurry up and stay away from that person. He is a wanted criminal who has been offered a reward by Marine. With a loud shout, Bellumbo's hand retracted in an instant. The wanted. He immediately hid behind the two sailors. Eh. One of the Marines said, actually, you don't have to be so afraid. This man was only wanted today, and the bounty is only 6,300 berry. As soon as these words came out, Zoro couldn't hold back his laughter. As a bounty hunter, he naturally knew what 6,300 berry meant. Bellumbo also jumped out immediately, pointing at Gretel's nose and scolding, a criminal with a bounty of only 6,300 berry, dare to appear in Marine Base. I order you two to kill him immediately. The two sailors had seen the bounty in the morning, and it said dire alive on it. That is to say, regardless of life or death. Ever since, the two quickly targeted Gretel. Luffy, who saw the scene, realized that it was no longer a scene of small fights. He took two steps and stood in front of Gretel. Although I just saw Gretel's ability in the morning, those pirates only have swords and sticks after all. Right now, Marine has a gun in his hand. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 7 Its Name, Blade of the Ruined King. Advertisement. As the captain, Luffy must of course ensure the safety of the crew. Pirates and Marines are naturally opposites. Gretel has a bounty on him again, and is in the Marine base. I'm afraid this matter will not be so easy to settle. Gretel slowly pushed away Luffy in front of him, and said, Luffy, let me come, I've been upset about this for a long time. As Gretel said, he drew his gun and rushed forward. The huge double-barreled shotgun appeared in his hand at some point. I hope you all have the consciousness to die unexpectedly. Somehow, Gretel couldn't help saying this. Quickly drew his gun, and pulled his figure aside, beside the two sailors. Boom. A face-off shotgun? Boom. Another shot? Before the two sailors could react, their bodies had already been beaten into a sieve. With resignation in his eyes, his body was thrown into the distance heavily. That's a close-range shotgun? Unparalleled impact? It is simply not comparable to ordinary rifles. The scene became polarized in an instant. As soon as Bellumbo came to his senses, he slumped to the ground. Advertisement. Don't, don't kill me. 
My dad is the colonel of this marine branch, Colonel Monka the Axeman. If you kill me, he will not spare you. When Belimbo said this, he didn't know whether he was begging for mercy or a threat. Gretel is not afraid of him. Anyway, he has become a bounty criminal. Gretel squatted down slowly, patted Belimbo's face lightly with one hand and said, Aren't you very powerful? Laughing at my bounty. No, no, I didn't do it on purpose. Don't kill me. Belimbo, who had never seen any bloody scenes, was frightened to death long ago. Gretel asked such a condescending question a few more times, and he was about to lose control. By the way, hurry up and tell me how you plan to deal with Zoro. He will persist for a month soon, Gretel said with great interest. Although he knew it, Luffy, Zoro and others didn't know it. He needed to be guided and let Barumebor speak out by himself. I, I Barumebo hesitated a bit. To be honest, the gun in my hand might go off Gretel threatened again. Belumbo put his hands on the ground, and his body kept moving back. I said, I said, I intend to execute him before he successfully survives for a month. Execution. Execution. As soon as Belumbo said this, Luffy, Nami, and Xiaoljia all exclaimed, they didn't expect that this Belumbo is so despicable, to break the agreement and execute Zoro when others succeed. Zoro's eyes sharpened at this moment. Advertisement. He is determined to become the number one swordsman in the world, how could he die here? Zoro, you heard it too, he didn't intend to keep the agreement at all, so there's no need for you to insist. Join us, I'm a man who dreams of becoming the One Piece. Now, Luffy said too. Having said all that, Zoro seems to have no reason to refuse. Okay, if that's the case, then I'll join you. Zoro twitched his lips and continued, but if you can't let me complete the goal of being the world's number one swordsman, then kill myself by seppuku. As soon as this remark came out, Zoro had already agreed. At this time, the system's notification tone sounded, ding. Congratulations to host, you have found a new partner, and you will be rewarded with a chance to draw a lottery for your partner. Improvement, for the lottery draw for partners, you will get useful skills or items for your partners. Gretel looked at the prompt in his mind in surprise, without the slightest hesitation, he directly chose the lottery, ding. Congratulations to host, you have drawn a legendary item for your partner, Blade of the Ruined King. Blade of the Ruined King, legendary equipment, powerful enough to be comparable to the 21-handed sword. Legendary effect, Blade of the Ruined King's attack will cause damage equal to 10% of the target's current HP, I rely on it. Gretel looked at the items in the backpack, feeling a burst of envy in his heart. Blade of the Ruined King, he wants it too, but unfortunately he is not a swordsman. At this moment, the sound of a large group of people walking suddenly came from a distance. Marine was attracted by the loud sound of the shotgun just now, advertisement. Gretel stretched a hand behind him, and the purple Ruined King's blade instantly appeared in his hand. When his hand returned to his body, there was already an extra sword. With this sword in hand, he can feel a cold breath. The weapon of the Ruined King, it should be cut by the system, otherwise it would be too buggy to take it out. Gretel didn't say much, just came to Zoro and cut off the rope that bound him with two knives. Zoro looked at the blade of the Ruined King in Gretel's hand, with envy and desire in his eyes. Ordinary weapons are no longer enough for him. As a swordsman of the three-sword style, currently only Hidei can show his true strength. After Gretel rescued Zoro, he was not stingy, anyway, it was all for Zoro. To celebrate our partnership, this sword is for you, Zoro. Gretel threw the blade of the Ruined King straight at Zoro. Zoro was stunned, but still stretched out his hand in panic, and caught it. Its name, Blade of the Ruined King, Zoro, you will live up to its title of king, right? Gretel said. Zoro picked up the Blade of the Ruined King with one hand, and he could feel the surging power from the sword without any gestures. Blade of the Ruined King? It's not inferior to Hidei. Zoro murmured. Don't worry, I will definitely not dishonor its name. Zoro held the king's blade, and his eyes were already looking at the group of marines rushing from a distance, as well as the colonel marine who was holding a huge axe and was much taller than ordinary people. Axeman Manka, Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount, recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 8 It's like catching a turtle in a urn ask for flowers and tickets. Update. Advertisement. Three swords, two swords, one sword, no sword. Zoro grandmastered these four genres of swordsmanship, although he has never been in contact with this kind of double-edged sword, the effect of using it will not be any different. On the contrary, it is possible to develop some unique and exclusive killer moves that cut both sides. In terms of developing sword skills, Zoro has never lost to others in his life. He is the man who claims to have exhausted all his IQ to name his moves. If that's the case, then leave it to me, Captain, and my friends. I said to myself. Since the war is about to start, it is natural to protect the safety of Nami and Xiaoljia. The people at the scene, except for the two of them, are all extremely powerful, so naturally they are not afraid of ordinary guns. Luffy, you take them to a safe place first, Gretel said. Well, then I'll leave it to you. Hearing Luffy say that, Nami suddenly felt something was wrong. Could it be? Could it be? Yes, she felt right. In her exclamation, Luffy stretched out her rubber hands, put her arms around the two, and with the help of the stake tied to Zoro, instantly ejected and took off. Take off. Sure enough Nami shed tears of regret. She regretted why she followed her here. Wouldn't it be good to just look for a chance to escape after getting ashore? Advertisement. Zoro watched Luffy's way of leading people, and the corner of his mouth twitched, as if a strange feeling was lurking in his heart. Hey, buddy, you haven't told me your name yet. Zoro said. He felt that this person was very familiar, so he gave him a drink and gave him such a good knife. My name is Gretel, and we will be partners from now on. Let's fight side by side, Zoro. Gretel said. Partner, sounds good. Zoro said. At this time, seeing that his reinforcements were already in place, Belumbo immediately scrambled and ran to the opposite camp. Dad, kill them quickly. Belumbo said to Manka in a disheartened manner. Menka ignored him, but looked at the opposite person with serious eyes. If his guess is correct, the ability used by the escaped person just now is probably the ability of the legendary devil fruit. After that kind of food is eaten, it possesses the power of a demon, and at the same time it is abandoned by the sea. Dad, kill them quickly. Seeing that his father didn't respond, Baromeber shouted again. And at this moment, Menka, the axeman, couldn't bear it anymore. He lifted his foot and kicked it fiercely, directly sending Baromebo flying. He hit the wall and passed out. 
I don't have a silly son like you, Menka scolded angrily. For a long time, he has lived in the 153 branch of the Tiangao Emperor Yuan, and has become a veritable emperor of the earth. And the reason for all this was just a battle that he thought was extremely successful, caught the fake black catlock. Advertisement. As a result, he gained great merit and became the colonel of the branch. For so many years, he has been immersed in his own dreams, and he has become more and more conceited, and he treats his subordinates and islanders extremely harshly. What troubled him all the time was that this big, conceited him was always wondering why his son was so useless, now he can't take it anymore. A bounty criminal who offered a bounty of only 6,300 berries scared him like this, he was both angry and ashamed. Simply direct on-site education. However, he didn't have to doubt whether Bera Meber was his biological son, because the IQs of both of them were similar, so it was confirmed that he was his biological son. After Menka finished educating his son, he turned his attention to the opposite person again. Looking at the two marine soldiers whose bodies were about to be beaten into a sieve, Menka said coldly, you two dare to kill marine. But it's not bad, capturing the pirates who killed marine is a bigger achievement. At this moment, Menka did not regret the death of the two marines, but rejoiced their deaths, because this would bring him certain achievements. If you put down your weapons and surrender now, I don't need to kill you, but arrest you, otherwise, kill. Menka raised his axe and said waving, Ding, the host triggers the plot boss, or a chance to draw a normal lottery. The normal lottery will get you skills, items, equipment, skins and other props. Gretel didn't have any ink marks, so he clicked the lottery directly, Ding, congratulations to host for getting an epic skin, Gangster Godfather. The Godfather of Gangsters? Sounds good Gretel didn't dislike it either. After all, the suit he was wearing was made of raw leather, and the material of the clothes was very ordinary. Even the red cloak was worn out, which looked really good. I don't have time for fuss, Manka, do you? If you want to fight, stop talking nonsense. Gretel said, snort. Already, advertisement. Shot. Following Manka's order, dozens of marines immediately raised their guns and chose to fire without hesitation. Up, Zoro. Gretel said, yeah. Zoro responded, and put on a posture directly. Bang 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 bang. Dozens of gunshots sounded, but the two had no fear at all. Zoro held a knife in his hand, while dodging his body, he also occasionally hit a few bullets with the knife. On the other hand, Gretel, he drew his gun quickly and avoided the first wave of intensive shooting. Then, Gretel quickly threw a smoke bomb, boom. The smoke bomb exploded, and the thick and pungent smoke enveloped the entire marine position. Even Manka couldn't see what was going on outside. The end of the road. Launch an explosive grenade, which will explode after two seconds or when it collides with the terrain. Ultimate explosive bomb. Launch an ultimate explosive bomb, causing high damage to enemies in the front cone area. Gretel instantly used his own unacceptable combo. First use smoke bombs to block the enemy's vision, and then use two high damage grenades and explosive bombs. It's like catching a turtle in a urn. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 9 There is something, but not much for 7 Sask for flowers. Advertisement. The damage from grenades and explosive shells explodes within 2 seconds. That terrifying power is undoubtedly devastating to those ordinary marines. Gretel felt like he had done all of this, and that was almost enough. Instantly kill dozens of minions. It is equivalent to a soldier in Xinxiao village. For his heavy weapon, he has no ability to resist at all. The corners of Zoro's mouth twitched after evading the bullet attack just now. Although he used a gun, can this level of explosion really be produced by a gun? Zoro was also puzzled, just now he was too busy dodging bullets, and didn't pay attention to Gretel's instant combo. After a while, the smoke dissipated. There were only dozens of bloody marines left in place. And that Menka who was holding the ground with one hand and blocking in front of him with a giant axe in the other. As Colonel Marine, although he is relatively watery, he still has something to do with being able to hold water like Lieutenant Colonel. The double bomb explosion did not bring Manka down. Gretel, something, but not much. Manka coughed and stood up. Ahem, little devils, you will definitely die under my axe. I don't know where he got his confidence. All the soldiers around him have been cleaned up, and he is the only commander. Looking at the devastated marine school grounds, Menka became excited again. Advertisement. Such a vicious criminal, as long as he catches him, his promotion is a sure thing. There is even a chance to go to naval headquarters. Menka raised the axe, licked the blade with his tongue, and showed a sneer. Gretel, not hygienic at all, the axe has just withstood the explosion, and it smells like grenades all over it, no wonder it looks weird. When the final big boss came, Zoro walked up to Gretel first, and said to him, leave this to me. Hey, Gretel took a few steps back, putting away his shotgun. Zoro stood in front of him, walking towards Manka step by step. Not to be outdone, Menka held up a big axe and confronted Zoro provocatively. Can such a weak body hold my big axe? Menka let out a roar, and the axe grafted on his arm slammed down towards Zoro's door. It seems to be very powerful, but in fact it has no rules and no moves at all. The corners of Zoro's mouth raised slightly, and he clenched the knife in his hand. One knife and one life together. The ruined king flying head. Shua. Zoro instantly appeared behind Manka. As for Menka, he still maintained the movement of chopping down with his big axe. Two seconds later. Well, blood overflowed from the corner of Menka's mouth, and his body fell heavily forward. Advertisement. In the end, he didn't say a word. Not bad, Zoro, created another move, which deserves all the IQ spent on naming it. Gretel looked at Zoro with a smile on his face, and let out a puff of smoke. So far, the Marine 153 copy, the boss Manka, has lost. Zoro turned back confidently, and said to Gretel, My knife is still inside, I'm going to get my knife back. Wait. Zoro seemed to have discovered something suddenly. What's the matter with your clothes? At this time, Gretel was completely different from before in Zoro's sight. Red lining, a cool black coat on the outside, and a hat on the head. Eh. Gretel said, it's nothing, just a change of clothes. Changing clothes? Changed like this in just a few seconds. Zoro yelled, with a look of disbelief. Gretel walked to the wall, grabbed the kicked and passed out Bera Meber, dragged him with one hand, and said, this kind of thing is irrelevant, you should hurry up and get your knife back now. Gretel took a deep drag on the cigar, and breathed a puff of smoke into Bellumbo's face. Cough cough cough, cough cough. The choking smoke suddenly woke up Bellumbo. You, you, you are that Gretel. 
Balamibo recognized Gretel with a new skin at a glance, and exclaimed in his mouth. He looked around, trying to find his father to rescue him. Before he passed out, all he remembered was the bottom of his dad's boot, which was bigger than his head. But when he looked around, a sense of despair brewed in his heart. Marine Dad, Monka's huge body fell not far away, and he recognized it at a glance. Advertisement. Hey, hey, stop talking nonsense. Gretel shouted, hurry up and get Zoro's knife, or your life may be lost. Knife. Zoro's knife. Belumbo's brain seemed to be short circuit in an instant. However, under the strong desire to survive, the short circuit brain immediately woke up. Knife, the knife is in my room, I'll take you there, don't kill me. Belumbo begged for mercy. Zoro heard what Barumabo said, and walked slowly to Gretel, and mentioned Barumabo at once. But just when Gretel was about to let go, Zoro suddenly closed his eyes and fell back heavily. Zoro. Gretel yelled, quickly dropped Belumbo and picked Zoro up from the ground. Then, he listened for Zoro's voice. Fortunately, I just fainted. It's probably because I haven't eaten for a long time. I suppressed the breath and saw Menka being knocked down, so I relaxed and couldn't help fainting. Gretel probably knew why Zoro fainted. Then, holding Zoro in one hand and the blade of the ruined king in the other, he said to Belumbo, hurry up and take me to your room, don't worry about it. Where did Belumbo dare to be disobedient? He immediately led the way obediently. Soon, several people came to Belumbo's room, and he was also very obedient, obediently handing the knife to Gretel. Gretel took the three knives and put them into the system backpack with a snap. Belumbo looked at Gretel who was juggling, and although he was shocked, he didn't dare to show too exaggerated emotions. At this time, Gretel suddenly turned his eyes and asked, where is Menka's room, take me there. Belamibo had 10,000 reluctances in his heart, and he still led the way obediently again in order to survive. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount, recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 10 The Prank of Buggy the Clown. Advertisement. Two hours later, when it was getting dark, Zoro woke up on a small boat floating in the sea. Cough cough cough. Zoro coughed a few times, and Luffy quickly handed some water and food to Zoro that he had prepared in advance. Goo Goo Zoro took the water and gulped it down. Looking at the food in front of him, he ate it without hesitation. After a while, after three weeks of hunger, Zoro finally got enough to eat and drink, and touched his round belly with satisfaction. Phew I'm finally full. But Zoro said, where is this place? Faced with Zoro's question, Gretel was too embarrassed to answer. Luffy, on the other hand, didn't know how to be shy at all. He grinned and said, this is our pirate ship. We have escaped from the Marine 153 branch. He he he. Ocean. Thief. Boat. Zoro immediately stood up from the ground. He looked around, where is there any ship? Isn't it all seawater? Hey, take it easy, don't you see the boat shaking like this? Nami shouted. It turned out that the boat was too small, Zoro moved a little bigger, and the boat shook very badly. This is our pirate ship. Zoro questioned again. He 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 that's right. Luffy Kaido. Oh. Zoro covered his face with regret in his heart. Advertisement. I'm really on a thief ship. Originally, he thought that, as a pirate with a legendary devil fruit ability, Luffy should at least have a normal ship, right? But now, four people squeezed into a place about the size of a small fishing boat. This is also called pirates? The pirates he hunted and killed cost millions of dollars, and he has never seen such a down-and-out pirate group. It's better to be a pirate than to go fishing. Ahem Gretel coughed and said, Zoro, accept your fate. Zoro glanced back at Gretel, and then thought about himself breaking Blade of the Ruined King. Forget it, for the sake of the knife, I admit it. Zoro said helplessly. However, if you can't make me the number one swordsman in the world, then I will apologize with death. Zoro said. When it comes to dreams, Luffy gets excited. Don't worry, I'm the man who will become the One Piece. By the way, how about you, Gretel, Nami? Luffy asked. Gretel thought for a moment and realized that he had no dreams either. He said, then I will become the most arrogant crew member in One Piece. I want my name to resound throughout the world. Resounding to the world. Zoro suppressed the smile on the corner of his mouth, and said, then your bounty of 6,300 berry is also a way to resound to the world. Underscore. Gretel was speechless, but he figured that soon, he wouldn't be 6,003 anymore. Nami, what is your dream? Luffy asked. Hearing this sentence, Nami's eyes looking into the distance suddenly became dull. My dream. Advertisement. At this moment, Nami recalled when he was a child, he worked hard to draw the sea chart, and his mother Belmere planted oranges to support him and his sister Nyaki Gao. Although the three of them are not related by blood, they feel like they are family members. Until later, Nami watched her mother Belmere die in front of her own eyes, was threatened by a dragon, and helped them draw a chart in that dark room. Nami recalled these, and tears flowed down unconsciously. No one has cared about her dreams yet, except Nagi and Belmere. Her heartstrings seemed to be touched by something at this moment. Nami? Nami? Luffy's question interrupted Nami's recollection and brought her thoughts back to the small boat. She inadvertently wiped away the tears from the corners of her eyes, turned her head and yelled at Luffy, whoever wants to join you, that's just your wishful thinking. Luffy choked suddenly, but he didn't care. Nami, be my navigator, let's realize our common dream together. Luffy clenched his fists and said firmly. Seeing Luffy's serious look, Nami turned his head and ignored him. There is a dragon, how can I fulfill my dream? Nami felt hopeless again. The atmosphere on the boat seemed to have fallen into a bit of embarrassment since then, and several people stopped talking. But Zoro seemed to be the first to react. Looking at his empty waist, Zoro tensed up. Gretel, did you get my knife back for me? Zoro asked. Oh, your knife. Gretel responded immediately. Zoro's knife and the blade of the ruined king were both received by him in the system backpack. Seeing this, Gretel stretched his hands behind his back. Here, your knives. When Gretel took his hand back from behind, there were already four more knives. Among them, one is a white scabbard with Japanese characters. Advertisement. One is the blade of the ruined king without its scabbard. There are two more, which are very ordinary knives. You, where did you get my knife out? Zoro yelled. Appeared again. Gretel's trick, make things disappear out of thin air, and then make them appear again. That's amazing. Luffy's eyes lit up, watching Gretel's trick. Nami was attracted, he also saw Gretel's trick. When boarding the boat, Gretel held nothing but Zoro in his hands. She looked very carefully. But now, Zoro's knife was suddenly taken out by him again. You said you didn't hide my treasure. 
Nami immediately turned into a devil girl again, but Gretel got used to it, spread his hands and said, I really didn't take your treasure, I just hid Zoro's knife in my windbreaker, and you didn't find it yourself. However, I seem to have found a treasure map in Monka's room. Gretel said, put his hand in the pocket of the windbreaker, and took out a scroll from it. Seeing this, Nami rushed over immediately. There seemed to be a treasure map in Menka's hand, and she wanted to take the opportunity to get it, but it was a pity that Luffy took it out and had no chance. As far as I remember, this seems to be the map of the Grand Line. Nami exclaimed. However, as she opened the scroll, the surprise on her face froze. I took the picture. There are only five words on the scroll, and there is another pattern. Clown Buggy's Pirate's Logo. Dragon Boat Festival Reading Big Discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 11 Nami's Exclusive Skill 6 7 Asking for Flower Tickets. Advertisement. Joker, Buggy. Looking at the pattern in the scroll, Nami remembered his name. Called Buggy the Immortal Clown. Zoro leaned over and saw the pattern on the scroll, and recognized it immediately. Buggy the Clown, East Blue's third-ranked bounty pirate, known as Immortal. His bounty reaches 15 million berry. As a pirate hunter, Zoro still has some homework. Nami clutched the scroll tightly, secretly hating in his heart. That was her dream grand line chart? I already got it, but it was stolen by Buggy first? Damn it! This time, she believed that Gretel hadn't lied to her. Gretel hadn't lied to her, either. When he came to Menka's room and found the safe, he opened the safe without using the password at all. He didn't think too much about it, didn't open it to have a look, and left after receiving the system backpack. Eh. Gretel stroked his eyebrows and said, Sorry, I didn't pay attention. He also rarely said sorry. Nami waved his hand, indicating that it's okay. Then she immediately said, Or, our next stop, go to Buggy and get back the chart. Nami clenched his fists. She was just making a suggestion, and didn't expect them to agree at all. After all, that is the third most vicious pirate in East Blue, with a bounty of 15 million berry? Okay, since our navigator said, let's head for Buggy. Luffy raised his hand and was the first to agree. Advertisement. Zoro silently put away the knife, I'll listen to the captain. Of course Gretel wouldn't refuse, that was the third boss, and he was still counting on the system's lottery. The four of them passed unanimously, so Nami will control the direction of sailing and set off towards Orange Town where Buggy the Clown is. This time, Nami rarely refused Luffy's words, our navigator. And because of this, Gretel triggered the system's lottery? Ding congratulations to host for getting a new friend Nami, rewarding him with a chance to draw skills for his partner. Do you choose to extract? Gretel chose to draw without hesitation. Ding congratulations to host for obtaining the ultimate skill for his partner Nami, R.I. Inyeo Madara. Sunshine Madara, summons a beam of the sun that damages and stuns enemies in the center of the area, and damages and slows enemies on the edge of the area. Note, when used in sunny days, the power will be increased by 50%, and the power will be reduced by 50% when used at night. The specific control time is determined by the physique of the enemy. Damn it. Gretel couldn't help but swear. What are these? The sun shines on Madara? Looking at my own skills, it was simply not something that was drawn by a system. Ahem Gretel coughed twice to cover up the embarrassing situation. He said I'm sorry, and the eyes of the three people were attracted. To celebrate Zoro's joining our pirate team, I gave him a knife. Gretel paused, then continued, then since Nami has joined us, shall I give you a gift too? How about it? Gift. Gift. Nami and Luffy were instantly excited. What gift? Nami asked. Give me your hand, Gretel said. Advertisement. He pretended to reach into the pocket of the windbreaker, as if fumbling for something. In fact, it was all pretended by him. Without hesitation, Nami stretched out her hand directly. Gretel grabbed Nami's wrist with one hand and pulled her hand closer, and put the other hand tightly on Nami's palm. As he slowly spread his hand, the eyes of all three people on the boat widened. Gretel is not a stingy person, and Zoro, who has never met before, gave him a weapon equivalent to the 21 work of a big sharp knife. Then Nami's gift must not be too bad. At the same time, Gretel also endowed the skill selection in the system backpack. OM. When Gretel's hand was released, Nami only felt a sharp pain in his palm, she quickly withdrew her hand. It's just that the sharp pain lasted only for a moment, and then disappeared. It occurred to Gretel that he took a needle and pricked her palm. Nami opened her palm, and a mark appeared on the palm of her hand. A mark like the sun, red in color, extremely bright. What is this? Nami questioned. Ahem, don't worry, feel it with your heart. Gretel said. Sure enough, when Gretel said this, a strange feeling came to Nami's heart. She immediately understood the function of this mark. The sun shines on Madara. Nami looked at the imprint in his heart in a daze. Why don't you try the power now? Gretel asked. How, try? Nami asked. Just point to the place you want to release, and release this ability. Gretel explained. Advertisement. Stay far away, our small boat can't stand the toss. He reminded again kindly. Nami slowly raised her hand, looking at the sea in the distance, her mind moved, boom. A huge amount of energy fell from the sky and smashed hard onto the sea. Even though it was evening now, R.I. Inyeo Madara's power was not as strong as during the day, but that energy wave still made the people on board feel a thrill. How can she cast such a terrifying move out of thin air? And it's much more powerful than Gretel's shells. Zoro looked shocked. Luffy even wanted both eyeballs to run out of their sockets. Hoo 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 hoo. That's amazing. Luffy immediately turned into a little fanboy, rubbing his hands constantly. Just now, when R.I. Inyeo Madara fell, the blob of sea water was evaporated. It wasn't until the power dissipated that new sea water poured in from the side. How could such a terrifying ability be used on a thin girl? After releasing Nami, a gleam of hope flashed in his eyes, but not long after, she passed out. Casting skills consumes all physical strength, and she accidentally cast a powerful skill, which caused her to lose all strength and her body went limp. Seeing this, Gretel quickly supported Nami and put her on the boat smoothly. Ah, uh, Nami passed out, why don't we go to sleep first and wait until she wakes up tomorrow? Gretel said awkwardly. He didn't expect Nami's skills to consume so much. When he first used the ultimate skill of the cripple, the perfect curtain call, he just felt that the consumption was a bit high. Gretel, Nami, and Zoro all have presents, what about me? Luffy asked expectantly. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. 
Advertisement. Chapter 12 The Crow takes a plane 7 slash 7 ask for flower ticket. Advertisement. Zoro has a good knife. Nami has a powerful skill. As the captain of Luffy, Gretel's gift should not be inferior, right? Looking at Luffy's expectant eyes, Gretel was also a little strange. Why didn't the system prompt? He clicked on the system panel. This system does not have intelligent voice function, that is to say, he needs to explore everything. Click on the partner interface, and it shows Luffy, Zoro, and Nami. And also marked Zoro's exclusive items and Nami's exclusive skills. And behind the exclusive skills, there is also a progress bar, and the progress bars of both of them have only advanced by 10%. At the end of the progress bar, it actually displayed the word change job, is there still dysfunction? Then why didn't I? Gretel couldn't help but complain. Finally, he clicked on Luffy's panel. On the exclusive items and skills on the Luffy panel, it really appeared. Click to extract exclusive skills. Option. Seeing Luffy's expectant expression, Gretel quickly chose to extract. A burst of red light flashed, appeared. Ding congratulations to host for extracting a legendary skill for his partner. Amazing. Spectacular, lifts an enemy into the air, then slams them into the ground, damaging and slowing the targeted enemy and all nearby enemies in a large area. Note, regardless of the size and weight of the enemy, the larger and heavier the target enemy, the higher the damage. And it has a legendary effect, it can be released on items. Advertisement. Awesome, awesome. Gretel couldn't help but sigh. Teammates are very skilled. In such a comparison, his perfect curtain call is not a class thing. Luffy, how about this, or I'll give you the gift when we get to the shore. Gretel said, he was a little scared, not because he was afraid of Luffy's physical strength, but because he was afraid that Luffy would be eager to try it when he had the skills. The blazing sun just now made the boat shake for a while. If Luffy got another crow to fly on the plane, would they still be alive? Ashore? Then when will we wait? Luffy said a little dissatisfied. Okay, I'll give it to you when I get to the shore. Gretel insisted. Okay Luffy returned weakly. The next day, a ray of sunlight shone on the boat in the early morning, and everyone who had been drifting casually on the sea all night woke up leisurely. Awu, Nami was the first to wake up and couldn't help opening a lazy mouth. She looked at the three people sleeping in a ball, leaving the widest position for her to feel a little warmth. It's just that the sleeping posture of these three people is extremely unsightly. Crowded with each other, it is hard to tell whose leg and that hand belong to. But it was the scene that made Nami feel an inexplicable warmth. Maybe it's the defenseless partner who can do that. Nami didn't disturb them, but looked for the direction of Orange Town and drove the boat away. Sunshine Madara. Nami probably also knows why she fell into a coma. She just started using it and is just not used to it. In the future, just pay attention to controlling your strength. That terrifying move really made her happy for a while. After a while, the three of them also woke up one after another. Advertisement. The first thing Luffy did when he opened his eyes was to see if he was on the shore. Nami, haven't you landed yet? I'm waiting for Gretel's gift. Luffy murmured. Nami rolled her eyes, she had only just woken up, and it might be a long time before she reached Orange Town where Buggy was. Aha. Uh -huh. The first thing Gretel did when he woke up was to light his cigar and take a deep breath. A familiar feeling of physical and mental pleasure pervades. One day later, Luffy, who was about to make everyone's ears callous, finally saw the small town in the distance. Orange Town, it's almost here. Nami said, let me row. Luffy grabbed the paddle and started his little rubber motor. Huh. This flatboat on the sea is like a rocket injector installed at the tail, and it takes off at a direct speed. Before reaching the shore, Luffy couldn't wait to fly off the boat, rolled up Gretel and Zoro with one hand, and Nami with the other. Take off. Luffy yelled. The four were ejected directly into the air. Ah. Uh, Nami covered her face in horror and cried out. Zoro swallowed calmly, he could still hold on at this height. If it is higher, he can't guarantee it. He had slightly felt the cause of that uneasiness in the school field that day, and finally found it. Fortunately, Luffy knew it well. When he was about to hit the ground, he took a deep breath and his body swelled into a big balloon. Boom. Boom. Advertisement. Boom. Three beeps. The three landed safely. Luffy also returned to normal. Before the three of them accused him, he couldn't wait to grab Gretel's hand and said, Gretel, my gift. It's ashore now. Luffy emphasized it loudly. Gretel rolled her eyes angrily. Hold out your hand. Okay. Luffy immediately held out his hand. Gretel chose to give the partner skills in the system interface. It hurts. Luffy suddenly exclaimed. It's not that he is afraid of pain, but his rubber fruit makes him almost feel no pain. After eating rubber fruit by mistake, he didn't feel any pain other than the iron fist of love from his grandfather. But this time, he really felt the pain. After just a second or two, the feeling goes away. Luffy quickly opened his palm to look. Nami and Zoro also surrounded them. In Luffy's hand, there was a golden mark, as if a person had fallen down. Luffy is indeed a fighting genius. He closed his eyes and felt it, and immediately comprehended this skill. Gretel, this looks awesome. What's it called? Luffy asked. This ability is called. Crow flies. Gretel returns. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time. June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 13 Cotters of the Buggy Pirates. Flowers are added. Thank you for the monthly pass. Advertisement. Crows. Crows fly. Pft. Ha 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 ha. Zoro suddenly covered his stomach and laughed. This name is too outrageous. Compared to Nami's Sunshine Madara, Luffy's crow flying is like a joke. Hey, this name is also. Luffy asked hesitantly, is this skill really called crow flying? Gretel exhaled smoke, and said in a deep voice, yes, Luffy. Damn it, why is my skill name so strange? Luffy is a little uncomfortable, he urgently needs to vent his inner anger now. Where's Buggy the Clown? I'm going to knock him down. Furious, Luffy followed the road straight to the town. This town has long been occupied by Buggy. He has an acrobat Kabeji under his command, and a beast trainer Machi, a huge lion Leaky. The rest are some ordinary pirate minions. The most troublesome thing, of course, is the boss headed by the clown Buggy. Luffy took a step ahead, and Nami followed angrily. Obviously he got the grand line chart, but he stole it in the end. That's Nami's favorite thing. Gretel and Zoro looked at each other and followed one after another. The purpose of coming here is also very simple, as long as Buggy hand over the map of the Grand Line. Advertisement. But looking at the angry Luffy and Nami, it's obviously not that simple. 
It's just that these two people quickly disappeared from the eyes of Gretel and Zoro. Nami and Luffy walked all the way, only to find that there is no one in this town. Whether it is a store or a residence, there is no one in it. After a while, Luffy held his stomach and screamed with anger. Gilu, there was a bakery right next to it, so Luffy took Nami directly to the shop to eat. It seems that the people in this town have all run away because of the arrival of the clown buggy. Nami said, Ah, Gilu Luffy ate a large piece of bread in one bite and said, Aren't we a breakaway? But it doesn't matter anymore, the key is to find buggy and ask him for the map of the Grand Line. Nami said, While eating, Luffy asked, What are you going to do with the Grand Line map? With the map of Grand Line, 100 million berry is no longer a dream. What do you want so much money for? In Luffy's brain circuit, as long as there is food, it doesn't matter if there is money or not. Secret? Anyway, I must get the map of the Grand Line. Nami clenched his fists and said, Yummy, the bread here is really delicious. Nami, are you listening to me? Hurry up and eat, I'll take you to steal the treasure map after eating. Nami said to himself, In terms of this skill, she has never been afraid of anyone, but Luffy stared at her blankly and said, Why do you want to steal it? Just ask Buggy or you'll have it. Nami, don't be angry, don't be angry, there is no one to replace you when you get sick. Luffy hadn't finished eating yet, so Nami directly pulled Luffy out of the bakery. Advertisement. The two walked the path, all the way up. During the period, I also occasionally met a few young men patrolling with knives, but they all avoided them in advance. Soon, they found the pirate's base camp and the pirate's destination. After them, Gretel and Zoro followed the main road. It's a little strange why there is no one, but it doesn't matter anymore. Suddenly, both Zoro and Gretel felt a deep sense of crisis in their hearts. Boom. The two saw that all the buildings directly in front of them were smashed to pieces. It's a cannonball. The two exclaimed at the same time. Fortunately, with the skills of the two of them, they dodged to both sides in an instant. The powerful shells continued to destroy a whole row of buildings all the way, showing no sign of stopping. This. It doesn't seem to be directed at us. Gretel analyzed. This should be the buggy bullet specially made by the clown buggy. It is powerful and destructive. Buggy. Zoro asked in surprise, can a pirate have such a terrifying weapon? Gretel didn't respond, but Zoro quickly remembered their skills and asked himself. Yes. Let's speed up and catch up with them. No problem. The two of them immediately sped up their speed and rushed towards the high point in the distance. Advertisement. Two minutes later, Gretel stopped. Because he saw the only living thing on this island. Have been repairing dogs. And go, this repair dog looks strange, with eyes above and a long nose. Zayuga squatted in front of a pet shop, as if guarding the shop. At this moment, an old man in full armor walked slowly to the pet food store, took out a bag of dog food, opened it, and poured it into the bowl next to Zayuga. This is the first living person to appear in the town. Zoro stopped beside Gretel curiously, watched the old man close the shop door after feeding the dog food, and then left immediately. Sniff sniff. A small voice came. The two followed the prestige. That's, a giant lion? It is several times bigger than a normal lion? And on the lion's back sat a strangely dressed man. Following the smell, the lion slowly approached the pet food store. The man sitting on the lion found Zoro and Gretel. This is exactly one of the cotters of the buggy pirates. Beastmaster Machi and Lion Leaky. When Machi saw that this was not a member of the pirates, he pulled out his animal taming whip and lashed at the two of them directly. There are still living people in this town. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 14 Zoro and Gretel's Reward. 1 slash 7. Advertisement. When the animal trainer Makai saw a living person, he didn't say a word, and directly raised his hands. This whip is not very harmful, but it is extremely insulting. How could Zoro stand this? He pulled out an ordinary knife casually, and took two steps forward. With two swipes, the whip broke into several sections. And just as Zoro was about to speak, Gretel moved. He directly took out his own modified Thompson, the godfather of the gangster brought it with him, the modified Thompson shotgun, and quickly drew his gun forward, boom. Without any hesitation, the animal trainer sitting on the lion was directly shot by the shotgun, the whole chest became a sieve. Rubbish. Gretel spat out the cigar in his mouth in one gulp, took out another one and lit it. Hey, Zoro, don't be dazed, why walk when you have a mount, Gretel said. Pointing a shotgun at the lion's head, he said, take me to buggy, understand. Leaky, mmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmm
At this speed, the news can spread throughout the East Blue in one day. Of course, the premise is that there is a newspaper printing place nearby. Outlaw Lunatic Gretel. Pirate hunter Roronozoro destroyed the Marine 153 branch, killed and wounded many Marines, and defeated the Colonel of the 153 branch, Axman Ka. Gretel, offer a reward of 6.3 million berry, regardless of life or death. Roronozoro, offer a reward of 6 million berry, regardless of life or death. The juggling stopped long ago, and everyone listened to the acrobat Kabeji read out the content of the reward order aloud. 6.3 million. 6000000. It's the first time I was offered a reward, and there is such a high amount. What are you doing here? Master Machi. The voices of the young man rose and fell, but there was no fear in their words. Master Buggy has a bounty of up to 15 million berry, which is not so much for these two people combined. What's there to be afraid of? Time to settle the score. Gretel said, holding up his modified Thompson shotgun. Zoro also took out the word Hideo and bit it in his mouth, then took out the blade of the ruined king and an ordinary knife in both hands. Advertisement. The three knives are in place. Zoro, be careful with his boss, Buggy the clown is immortal, don't take it lightly. Gretel reminded. Yeah, got it. Zoro responded. Let me see who it is, who dares to come to my territory to make trouble. In a small building, the clown buggy slowly walked out from the dim environment, with the demeanor of a strong man appearing on the stage. He flew four or five in his hand, and he wore a pirate hat on his head. Of course, the most conspicuous thing is his big red nose. This red nose is the clown buggy whose head is worth 15 million berry, right? Zoro raised the knife and pointed at the clown buggy and asked loudly. It's over. He's screwed. How dare you say the most annoying thing Mr. Buggy. I wanted him to join us, but after saying this, he is hopeless. Big red nose. Big red nose. Big red nose. The veins on Buggy's face were exposed, and he repeated it three times viciously. This was the last thing he wanted to hear, but the rookie in front of him who has just been offered a reward dares to violate his taboo. Kabeji, give me, kill him. Buggy yelled, Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 15 Zoro, I will not lose to anyone called the swordsman. 2 slash 7. Advertisement. Acrobat Kabeji, the status is tied with the animal trainer Machi, and they are both cotters of the buggy pirates. Compared with Makai, Kabeji relies entirely on his own ability, the fusion of acrobatics plus swordsmanship. More mobile and fancy than normal swordsman. Kabeji got Buggy's order, his face turned cold, he stepped on a unicycle, holding a sharp knife in his hand, and directly attacked Zoro. Oof, look at my juggling sword skills. Kabeji stepped on a unicycle and was extremely fast. In an instant, he came to Zoro. Chief of Staff, Acrobatic Kabeji, join us. Captain Buggy's anger, let me appease him. Zoro looked at the man in front of him blankly, he was determined to become the strongest swordsman in the world, so never lose to anyone who calls himself a swordsman, not to mention a juggling swordsman, bang. Kabeji slashed out, and he looked down at Zoro while riding a unicycle. And Zoro easily took the knife that rushed towards him with extreme speed. Ha 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 Kabeji said with a smile, it's an honor, Roro no Zoro, as a swordsman, you have the opportunity to kill Barry with a reward of six million, you, a fellow swordsman. With both hands, Zoro shook Kabeji's knife away at once. Stop talking big there, I will never admit that you are a real swordsman. Zoro said coldly, three swords versus one sword. Zoro slashed with both hands holding the knife at the same time. Kabeji took advantage of the situation from a high place and took Zoro's attack. However, when the two were at a stalemate, Kabeji's head suddenly stuck out. Acrobatics, flame-breathing daddy. Advertisement. Huh. A mouthful of flame spewed out from Kabeji's mouth, coming straight to Zoro's face. Zoro couldn't react in time, and took a step back, covering his face with his hands. Kabeji took the opportunity to kick Zoro in the chest. In the first round, Zoro was at a disadvantage. It's just that this kick didn't cause any injuries to the muscular Zoro. It's so dirty Gretel watched from the side and shook his head. If he came to fight, facing such a dirty opponent, he would really kill him with two shots without mercy. Zoro wasn't in a better mood though. His face became extremely cold. Fortunately, the response was timely and the face and hair were not hurt. Kabeji didn't wait for Zoro to slow down, and directly started again. His knife kept turning on the ground, acrobatics and steam killing incident. Kabeji yelled, and Zoro's sight was blocked by a mist of water. Suddenly, a knife slammed down from the mist. Zoro had been prepared for a long time, and blocked it with a knife again. And at this moment, Kabeji's foot moved again, taking advantage of Zoro's gap to block the knife, he kicked towards Zoro's door again. Zoro couldn't dodge, was kicked again, and took a few steps back. The mist cleared, and Kabeji stepped on the unicycle and taunted, How about it? Do you know how powerful it is? Dare to fight against our Lord Buggy. Let you try my strongest move. Acrobatics Kamikaze Top Theater. Kabeji stepped on the unicycle, and after retreating a little distance, he threw out dozens of sharp and abnormal spinning tops. Zoro picked up the double knives and didn't dodge at all, but kept waving them in the air. Advertisement. Dozens of spinning tops were all chopped off by him in an instant. Seeing this, Kabeji also took advantage of the trend and rode towards the side. Acrobatics while walking. Shua. Kabeji stepped on the unicycle, went up the straight wall and leaped into the air. Acrobatics enjoy the cool fireworks. Lone wheel hanging slash. Zoro had just finished cutting the top, and Kabeji had already flown to a height of more than 10 meters above his head. Huh. Zoro looked up, this move just needs to be dodged casually. But some people think otherwise. Buggy immediately said, Kabeji, I'll hold him down for you. Chop chop fruit launched. Buggy's arm snapped out of nowhere and he flew towards Zoro. Just then, Gretel couldn't sit still. He pulled out his gun instantly. Draw the gun quickly. Snapped. Step on it. Ah, pain 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 pain. Buggy in the distance hopped in pain. Outsiders cannot interfere with Zoro's battle. With no foreign aggression, Zoro doesn't want to play with Kabeji anymore when facing Kabeji's sudden swordsmanship. I've experienced all of your juggling, then, go to hell. He took two steps back in an instant, his footsteps were slightly bent, and he clutched the knife with both hands. Let me show you the difference between you and me. Ghost. Advertisement. Cut. Kabeji couldn't use force to change direction in the air, and could only fall vertically. The moment he touched the ground, Zoro's figure disappeared in a flash. Ah. Kabeji spat out a big mouthful of blood. 
On the chest, three long blood stains appeared. He also made a sound of unwillingness, and fell heavily to the ground. Finally, his feet are not on the unicycle. Gretel watched Zoro's fight, but Buggy dug a small depression in the ground with his hand and ran away. Lion Leaky also took advantage of Gretel's inattention and ran to Buggy's side. The defeat of the acrobat Kabeji affected the morale of the Buggy pirates to a certain extent. Also made Buggy even more angry. He looked at the two of them viciously. There was no change on the surface, but he started to move behind his back. After one of his men received it, he came to the Buggy cannon inadvertently. Taking advantage of the gap between Zoro and Gretel facing Buggy, they put a Buggy bullet into the turret, quietly turned the turret and aimed at the positions of the two. And Buggy also watched the younger brother's movements, ready to escape the moment the gun was fired. Sit sizey. That little guy lit the fuse without hesitation. Buggy pinched the time. Three, two, one. I run. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 16 The Insidious Buggy Flower Edition 2. Advertisement. The moment the buggy bullet was fired, Buggy suddenly escaped from where he was originally, and fled in a straight line to the left. And this also made Gretel aware of the anomaly. He suddenly felt something, and looked back. It doesn't matter if you don't look at it. At first glance, it was really fatal. The barrel of the black buggy cannon was facing him and Zoro, because the two of them focused on Buggy. They didn't even notice the small movements behind them. No wonder Buggy wants to run. It turned out that it was a black hand behind the scenes. Zoro, run. Gretel yelled anxiously. As a keen swordsman, Zoro also sensed something was wrong. Gretel yelled, and he immediately reacted, and immediately followed Gretel and fell beside him. Boom. There was a loud bang on the ground. The buggy cannon passed them, creating a gust of wind that chilled their faces. Huh. So close. How insidious. Zoro swallowed his saliva with a grunt, and he had already chopped off all the members of the buggy pirates. Gretel got angry too. If it wasn't for his dancing guns and cannons, he was more sensitive to these things, he would have suffered just now. Advertisement. This level of shell damage may be even more terrifying than the last shot of his perfect curtain call. Gretel patted and stood up, patted the dust on the windbreaker, and had killed Buggy the Clown 10,000 times in his heart. After the shot was fired, several buildings were destroyed, and then continued to fly towards the distance. It took a full 10 seconds before an explosion was heard in the distant sea area. Buggy looked resentfully at the two who were only covered in dust, and sighed in his heart. To be dodged, damn it, it seems that we have to deal with them seriously. When the time comes, kill them, and then find someone to claim the 12 million bounty. While he was planning, a hand had already quietly arrived behind Gretel and the two of them, because within a range of 200 feet, that is, about 70 meters, his body can fly at will except for his feet. It does not touch the ground, so it can be easily done quietly. In order to conceal his behavior, Buggy's clothes are specially made with long sleeves, which can perfectly cover his palms. But just when Buggy was ready to do it proudly, a subordinate running from a distance interrupted him. Boss Buggy. No, your precious map has been stolen. Nanny. Buggy was in a panic. He pointed at his younger brother and cursed. The precious map that Laozi finally stole from Monka, you actually lost it. Hurry up and ask someone to catch the person who stole my treasure, otherwise, I will never spare you. Buggy snapped angrily, but his action made Gretel doubt again. Buggy's hand. Just when Buggy was accusing his subordinates, he inadvertently raised his hand. And there, there are no fingers? Gretel realized in an instant, and looked around with the magic reformed Thompson in his hand. Advertisement. No, it's half a week, because Buggy's hand is right behind him and Zoro, there is only one palm, and there are four throwing knives between the fingers. Joe, sure enough, it's an old coin, and it's overcast again and again. Gretel also took advantage of the gap when Buggy accused his subordinates, and directly raised the magic reform Thompson. MD, a knife can't kill you, so what about a gun? What about a shotgun? Boom, boom, take two shots, the muzzle hit Buggy's palm. That palm rotted away. Ouch, it hurts Laozi to death. Buggy, who was teaching his younger brother a lesson, suddenly rolled onto the ground with one of his arms in his arms and screamed. Although Buggy's body can be torn apart, even Hawkeye's slashing blows are useless to him. That's because the knife is too thin, and this problem will not occur when holding a gun. A direct hit from the muzzle of Gretel's shotgun was indistinguishable from being shelled. In the distance, the battered palms of Buggy slowly fused together, turning into a black hand again. It seems that no substantial damage has been caused, but the pain is inevitable. Zoro looked at the black palm behind him, feeling a little scared. This clown, Buggy, was able to sneak his palm behind them and sneak up on them. Fortunately, Gretel found out in time. Zoro, Buggy the clown should be a split person who ate chop-chop fruit, that's why he's called immortal. Gretel explained. So your knife seems to be of no use to him. Advertisement. Only with blunt objects. As soon as Gretel explained to Zoro, a hand appeared behind Buggy on the opposite side. An extremely long hand. That is, we are coming. Everyone only heard a loud roar, and the long hand shortened extremely quickly. Then, two figures were ejected into the air and appeared in the sight of everyone. Nami and Luffy, why did they come? Gretel was a little surprised. Captain Buggy, it's them. A young man pointed at Luffy and Nami in the air and said loudly, That's them, they not only stole the treasure map, they also robbed Lord Buggy's treasure. After the little boy said this, everyone saw that behind Nami was carrying a package bigger than her. Gretel, Zoro, why are you here too? Luffy yelled. Then his body began to fall from the air in a parabola. Coincidentally, looking at Luffy and Nami's buggy angrily, the anger on his face suddenly turned into panic. Don't, don't. His voice fell away amidst Buggy's unwilling growls. Luffy landed on the ground and looked at Gretel and Zoro with a smile, and he didn't even feel guilty about putting them under him. Hateful. I'm going to kill you. Before Buggy could finish his slurred words, he was again crushed by Nami's package. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 17 How to Use the Yordle Trap. Advertisement. The arrival of Luffy and Nami seemed to completely ignore the armed pirates around them. As soon as it landed, Luffy saw the huge lion niche. Suddenly his eyes glowed with gold. It's amazing, what a big lion. Before I could say a few words to my partner, I ran to play the lion. 
But Leaky clearly didn't like him. Grinning his teeth, he showed his power at Luffy. Nami, who was still in shock just now, saw such a big lion, and hurriedly carried the package and ran behind Zoro. She has so much treasure now that she dares not approach Gretel at all. I'm afraid that I will lose this treasure of no less than 10 million to her again. As expected of a pirate with a reward of tens of millions, there are so many treasures. With enough 10 million, it should be enough for me to redeem Kokoyasi village. Nami dreams of life after redeeming the village from the Murloc Arlong. At this moment, Buggy's blackened hand has returned to the main body. And because of Nami's departure, he has no comfort. Buggy shook his head and stood up, a burst of resentment in his heart. Li Chi, bite him to death. Seeing Luffy, he temporarily forgot about the pain in his hands. At the same time, four throwing knives appeared in his hand again. Advertisement. Hearing what Buggy the Clown said, Lee K immediately opened his mouth wide, waved his paws thicker than his thighs, and patted Luffy. Luffy also regained his sanity at this moment. Raise your fist and hammer towards the niche. Clown throwing knife. The clown didn't care about the demeanor of a big pirate, and would take the opportunity to sneak attack whenever he had the opportunity. Luffy didn't pay attention for a while, and was fighting the lion with all his strength. Luffy, watch your back. Zoro shouted. The moment Luffy heard it, he immediately moved aside. Dangerously dodged the flying knife. It's a pity that his clothes were still scratched. Clown Buggy's uninjured hand was suspended out of thin air, and there were still three throwing knives left in his hand. Gretel couldn't stand it anymore, he really wanted to rush up and kill the clown. Ah, uh, then, what is that? Nami said in horror when he saw a hand appearing in the air. Gretel explained it tirelessly, and Nami was relieved. Ding the host and his partners meet the plot boss and get a chance to draw a normal lottery. Finally come. Gretel didn't move for a long time, just to wait for this thing. It wasn't until the clown shot Luffy that there was a lottery chance, and he was also drunk. Lottery. Gretel chose the lottery without hesitation. The last time the Axeman Menko rewarded him with the skin of the gangster godfather, he thought it was not bad. Advertisement. And this time, congratulations to the host for drawing the common skill, Yordle Trap. Yordle Trapper, lay down a trap within a wide range. People who step on the trap will be imprisoned for a short time, which doubles the distance of the next attack and doubles the damage. Note, up to five traps can exist at the same time, invisible to people slash animals whose height is less than 1.2 meters, and reveal the real vision of the target. Clip. The male gun side. This skill doesn't seem very good, it may be useful when fighting invisible people, or when dealing with dwarves, etc. Gretel suddenly thought of a way to use it. His smoke bomb, when cast, will make the enemies inside unable to see the situation clearly, and will also lose sight of the outside of the smoke bomb. In other words, the combination of these two skills has miraculous effects. Skills such as confinement, stun, knock-up, suppression, etc., all have the power of rules. Just like the negative ghost of Perona and the toy fruit of sugar, no matter how powerful they are, they cannot escape the shackles of the rules. That's not bad. Gretel nodded. But this scene was seen by Nami. She suddenly felt that her treasure was in danger. Quickly get within 10 meters of Gretel again. On Luffy's side, after evading a sneak attack from Buggy, he realized the crisis. Zoro is also going to help Luffy with a knife. But Gretel said, Zoro, you can let Luffy use his skills first, I think he will be very happy. Um, Luffy's skills. Zoro suddenly realized, yes, crows fly by plane. Advertisement. I ha 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 ha. Zoro suddenly covered his stomach and laughed. Greg also pursed his lips, trying not to laugh out loud. Hey hey hey, Luffy. Zoro said to Luffy, use that trick quickly. That trick. Nami also reacted, with a big smile on his face. Yeah, Luffy, use that trick. Huh. Luffy scratched his head, that move? After a while, his brain circuit turned around. Yeah, a gift from Gretel. The crow flies. Luffy suddenly realized, opened his hand, and there was the imprint of the crow flying in his hand. Since that's the case, let's try the power of this crow flying a plane. Luffy clenched his fists, took a step back, and lowered his head slightly, as if gaining momentum. Buggy's sneak attack with the throwing knife was naturally very annoyed, and he continued to order Lee K, Lee K, hurry up and bite him to death. Buggy said so, but he was doing tricks again. Damn it, I must succeed this time. At Buggy's command, Leaky swoops down on Luffy again. This time, it seemed even more ferocious. Hey, seeing the big lion in the air flying towards him, Luffy sneered. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 18 Eraser Eraser Crow Flying on a Plane. Advertisement. Rubber Rubber. The crow flies. The mark in Luffy's hand glowed with a faint golden light. He also shot up in an instant. In Leaky's mind, he was thinking that if he was obedient and did a good job, Buggy would reward him with a bone as thick as an arm. No, the one thicker than an arm? But its fantasy was shattered in the next second. The thin human being under it suddenly appeared beside it, hugged him with both hands, and rushed to a higher place. With such a heavy body, all the force of flying down was dissipated, and it flew to a height of more than 10 meters in the air again. The crow, take the plane. Luffy roared, and the restrained niche couldn't move at all. The huge body was thrown down by Luffy from a height of more than 10 meters. The target is Buggy, who plans to attack Luffy again. Beside Buggy, there are also some little guys. They looked at Li Chi falling from the sky in horror, and wanted to run, but their legs and feet were out of control. Although this process was very long, it included the process from liftoff to descent, and it didn't take more than a second. Boom. A huge roar sounded. Not only where Buggy was, but within a range of about 10 meters, everything was dented. Buggy in the center is the worst, but the minions around him are not much better. Suddenly, smoke and dust rose everywhere, and screams came and went. Advertisement. The powerful shock wave made them all collapse to the ground, howling incessantly. When the smoke and dust cleared, a large pit was revealed. And on this big pit was a lion that was knocked unconscious. Standing on the lion's head, grinning, is Luffy. Luffy protected the hat with one hand, and laughed loudly, he he he, Gretel, this gift is amazing, I like it. Thank you. Luffy was still very polite. And his anger was also vented at this moment. Okay, we can go. Luffy clapped his hands and said, The map has also been obtained, and the skills have been used, so the purpose of this trip has been achieved. It's just that he thinks so, but some people don't think so. Clown throwing knife. A sinister voice appeared. What followed was a hand that threw out several throwing knives? Buggy's falling apart. Watch out, Luffy. Gretel yelled. 
He didn't expect that this buggy would still have the strength to attack after being hit like this. Luffy was also taken aback, seeing the flying knife so close, he quickly dodged back. The whole person fell backwards. Advertisement. If he didn't have rubber fruit, ordinary people might not be able to do it. Hi it's dangerous. Luffy dodged the dagger, patted his chest and said. However, the next second, he was shocked. My straw hat. Luffy was in a rare hurry. He hurriedly looked around to find his straw hat. My hat. Luffy stared at the straw hat in a daze, because several daggers had pierced the hat and fell in the distance. Buggy wanted to pierce Luffy's head, but after Luffy dodged it, the slightly larger hat suffered. A wave of memories appeared in Luffy's mind. He was only a few years old at that time, because he was angry with Shanks about the Thief King Sig, and accidentally ate rubber fruit by mistake. Later, Shanks and his gang easily defeated the Bandit King Sig and his gang, but he was taken to sea by Sig. After meeting the King of the Near Sea, Sig, the Bandit King of a generation, was suddenly taken aback. In order to save him, Shanks was bitten off by the King of the Sea, the two had a bond, and Shanks handed over the straw hat representing One Piece's inheritance will to Luffy, this straw hat is the bond between Luffy and Shanks, representing Shanks' expectations for him, and Luffy's spiritual sustenance. Luffy froze, after a long time, he murmured, that's my hat, the hat I agreed with Shanks. How dare you, damage my hat. His voice was not loud, but everyone could feel the anger contained in it. Advertisement. Luffy, angry, Gretel said. Nami looked at Luffy in surprise, she never expected that Luffy, who was so heartless all the way and seemed to care nothing, cared so much about a hat at this moment. It seems that there are some memories, and Zoro can also feel the anger and unwillingness of Luffy. Luffy walked slowly to the straw hat, picked it up, pulled out the three knives on it and threw it away. Looking at the straw hat with three holes, Luffy's anger is already full at the moment. Ah ha ha ha, I didn't expect you to care so much about a broken straw hat. Buggy, who recombined his limbs into a human form, pointed at Luffy and mocked. He just escaped by tearing his body apart in an emergency, etc. Who are you talking about? Buggy suddenly noticed the key words in Luffy's words. This is the hat Shanks sent you? No wonder I look so familiar and annoying. Buggy also had a nameless anger at this moment. When he thought of Shanks who made him eat the fruit and lost the treasure map, he gritted his teeth. Luffy calmed down a little and put his hat back on. So, you know Shanks. Luffy said coldly. Of course, I also know him when he turned into ashes. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be in such a state. Buggy roared. Oh, Luffy said coldly. Anyway, he can't get over his anger until he blows Buggy away. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 19, The Fetter Mission of No Less Than a Legendary Skill Item. Five sevenths thanks to the monthly ticket of Hot Wind V Gangster. Advertisement. Ding trigger the partner's bond straw hat promise. When Luffy meets Shanks again, he will get an item or skill with a quality not lower than legendary. Gretel, is that okay too? Such a good treatment, why don't you give me one? Gretel opened the system panel, and under the interface of his partner Luffy, there was indeed a sign. If I remember correctly, Luffy met Shanks at the summit war, right? Gretel mused. Hey, no matter where he is, I can give him things directly. He shook his head, not thinking about it so much. In fact, things from partners can be given directly, regardless of distance. He just made it so that it would not look so obtrusive before. Skills or items that are not lower than legendary level, that is to say, have a certain probability of obtaining mythical level skills. Damn, it's numb. Gretel was so envious. Because he uses a gun, the skills given to him by the system are all gunner skills. In the column about his system interface, after the job change, it is gunner. Luffy is a fighter. Zoro is swordsman. Nami is elemental sorcerer. What Gretel didn't notice was that after the job change, there was also a progress bar for upgrading partners. Eyes back to Luffy. Now, because of Shanks' name, both of them are angry. Advertisement. Luffy must knock Buggy the clown, and the clown is going to kill the man who inherited the Shanks straw hat. Luffy, right? Get ready to die. Buggy said, returning his hands to his body, and pulled out a few throwing knives again from nowhere. Gretel wanted to try the combination of smoke bombs and yordle traps, but looked at Luffy annoyed. Think about it or forget it. This is a duel between them, and it seems inappropriate to intervene by yourself. Clown knife. Buggy yelled. Several throwing knives went straight to Luffy. In front of the angry Luffy, the thrown knife just turned his head slightly and dodged it. Twice, Luffy squeezed his fist. Rubber pistol. Luffy stretched his hands back, and after reaching the limit, he rebounded instantly. This level of attack seems to have the power of a pistol. I hide. Buggy's body was severed from the belly, and the upper part flew straight into the air. Luffy's rubber pistol went completely empty. Ah ha ha ha, is this your move? So clumsy. Buggy sneered. Luffy didn't answer. He was holding a sigh of relief in his heart. Luffy, Buggy's a divisive man who ate chop chop fruit. His body can fly freely in the air, but his feet cannot leave the ground. The body cannot leave the range of 70 meters from the feet. Gretel yelled at Luffy. This time, Buggy's weakness was completely exposed. Buggy suddenly turned pale with shock and said, You, how do you know my weakness? Advertisement. In the middle of speaking, Buggy immediately shut his mouth. But Luffy has also heard it, confirming Gretel's statement. Oh, got it. Luffy responded. Rubber rubber. Luffy gained momentum again. Rubber claws. Duh. Luffy's hand reaches out and grabs Buggy's foot in one fell swoop. And also wrapped Buggy's entire lower body with rubber wraps. Buggy was still exclaiming, but before he had time to react, Luffy had already launched the second move. Rubber slingshot. Snapped. In an instant, Buggy's lower body was ejected. A mere 70 meters. Luffy fully ejected Buggy's lower body a hundred meters away. In an instant, Buggy's upper body softened. It fell to the ground with a plop. As if being put on sea stone handcuffs, Buggy feebly pawed and pulled on the ground with his hands. He still said weakly in his mouth, Damn it, how could you find out my weakness? Unexpectedly, the battle ended so absurdly. However, this also proves Devil Fruit's shortcomings. Once others know the way of restraint, they can only become fish on the chopping board and be slaughtered by others. Luffy looked at the half of Buggy who fell on the ground, and said coldly, I will never allow you to tarnish the name of Shanks. Rubber rubber whip. Advertisement. Snapped. 
Luffy's leg turned into a huge whip, and he swept it out without hesitation. Before Bucky could make any other noises, he was kicked in another direction, this time, it was more than a hundred meters away. Bucky completely disappeared in front of everyone. The rest, these are just twenty or so clowns? Gretel sighed and said, why don't we clean it up a little bit? You see everyone in the town has been driven away by them. Yeah, Zoro replied. Zoro's sense of justice is still good. The last time they slaughtered so many marines in branch 153, Gretel felt that they were too useless. Facing the oppression of Manka, there were many ways to fight back, but they would only endure it. Of course the most important thing is that they have shot themselves. He came from time travel, but in this world where the jungle preys on the strong, as a pirate, it is impossible for him to have the heart of the virgin for the person who shot at him, right? Anyway, if they are killed, a new group of people will come to take over branch 153. Then let's compare and see who kills more. Gretel suggested. It's interesting, let's get started. Zoro immediately disappeared in place, and slashed at the nearby minions. Gretel didn't hesitate at all. I hope you have the consciousness to die unexpectedly. Boom, boom. After two shots, Gretel quickly drew his gun, reloaded it instantly, and fired another shot. Boom. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 20 Zoro, times have changed. Six sevenths begging for a reward. Advertisement. 18. 23. Zoro and Gretel spoke one after another. Ha ha ha, Zoro, you owe me two drinks. Gretel laughed. There is another meal, which Gretel promised when Zoro was tied up in the schoolyard. Zoro showed displeasure, looked at the modified Thompson shotgun in Gretel's hand, and frowned slightly. You bastard, you killed two or three dance pirates with one shot just now, and I didn't use any special moves, just ordinary moves to chop one by one, of course not as fast as you. Gretel patted Zoro on the shoulder and said, ha ha ha, Zoro, times have changed. The base of the buggy pirates is full of corpses. These are real pirates, and Zoro and Gretel don't think there's anything wrong with them. It's just that Luffy and Nami are a little uncomfortable, but they will always adapt. Have you got the map of the Grand Line too? Then we can go. Gretel said, well, I've got it. Nami Kaido. Just now, these two guys ran to Buggy's treasure house, not only stole Buggy's map, but also beat up the person guarding the treasure. Habuggy is indeed a big pirate. The treasures in his collection are of high quality, at least worth 10 million berry. Nami patted his big package and said proudly. However, her face changed in the next second. Because she saw Gretel put away his shotgun out of nowhere again? This Gretel, why is he still refusing to admit it? Nami secretly resented. Advertisement. All right, all right, pack your things, it's time to go. Gretel urged. Anyway, all the treasures have been looted, and there is nothing to miss. By the way, don't the buggy pirates have a ship? Why don't we just use his ship? Yes, let's go. Nami, your package is so heavy, can I help you? Gretel ran to Nami's side and said earnestly. No, Nami sternly refused. I don't want it. Take it for you, all my treasures will disappear. Nami defended Gretel like a thief, and walked down the mountain alone with a heavy package. Gretel smacked his lips, showing a helpless expression. Several people soon came to the port. But it turns out that Buggy's boat has been driven away. The boat with the big red nose on its sails was less than the size of a fist left on the sea. Damn it, I'm late, I was driven away by the pirates. Nami put down the package and shouted. Ha, I'm exhausted. When Gretel and Zoro cleaned up the pirates just now, they ignored those who ran fast. Didn't expect them to drive Buggy's boat away after they ran away. So angry. I had no choice but to take the boat just now again. But fortunately, there is a slightly larger ship here in the port. Advertisement. Although it still has the standards of the Buggy Pirates printed on it, but that doesn't matter anymore. How about we take both ships away at the same time? Zoro suggested. Well, that's all there is to it. Luffy followed Zoro and Gretel into the small boat, while Nami boarded the big boat alone. For convenience, Gretel directly connected the two boats with the rope. Nami steered the front with the big boat, and they slept in the small boat behind. Very reasonable. It's just that along the way, Luffy didn't say a word. It seemed that he was depressed. Luffy held the hat in one hand, staring at the three holes on it, dazed. Several people seemed to see what was on Luffy's mind. But this kind of thing is not easy to solve. After sailing for a while, Nami turned back to comfort Luffy and said, Well, Luffy, how about I mend the hat for you? Nami recalled that when he was a child, he had no clothes to wear. He always wore the old clothes worn by Nyoki Jo, which were often broken easily. Belmere always sewed her clothes at night. Later, Belmere was gone, and she also learned to sew clothes herself, but she had no clothes to sew. Really? Luffy asked aloud in surprise. Well, I've been able to sew since I was a kid. It's absolutely easy to mend your hat. Nami assured confidently. Then thank you, Nami. Luffy jumped into the boat ahead and handed the hat to Nami. Nami took the hat and put it away. Advertisement. After thinking about it, she still took out the map of the Grand Line and handed it to Luffy. This is the map of the Grand Line, take it, I don't need it anymore. Nami sighed. Adding this 10 million should be enough, even if it is not enough, there is no need to go to the Grand Line to search for treasure. Luffy was a little strange, tilted his head and said, but aren't you our navigator? Why did you give me the map? Makes sense. Show it to Luffy, and he won't even read it. Um, Nami hesitated, but he still said firmly, I'm just being your partner for the time being, for the time being. I won't go to the Grand Line with you. Nami tilted her head, her nose was a little red. She who dreams of drawing the whole world sea map, why doesn't she want to go to the Grand Line? But she went, who will guard KKC village? Gretel had been listening to the conversation between the two, and he sensed something was wrong. Nami, is it because of the dragon pirates? Gretel also jumped on the ship. Dragon pirates. Luffy tilted his head, not knowing what it was. You. Nami turned his head when he heard this, pointed at him and said, how do you know about the dragon pirates? Nami was afraid, how did he know about the dragon pirates? Gretel wouldn't know about her being an officer of the dragon pirates, would she? Also, when he was on the island just now, he seemed to know Buggy like the back of his hand. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 21 Captain Usopp of 8000 Warriors. Advertisement. 
How do you know about the dragon pirates? Nami's voice trembled a little. What she is most afraid of is that this matter will be known by others. Gretel didn't reply to her words, silently put his hands behind his back. The treasure that Nami collected before appeared in his hands. Kong. Gretel put the treasure in front of Nami and said, Aren't we partners? Since we are partners, if we have any difficulties with each other, we should tell everyone and let everyone solve them together, isn't it? Yes. Luffy squeezed his fist and said, If someone bullies my partner, I will definitely beat him up. Gretel spread his hands and said, Look, I've given you all the treasures you asked for. Is there anything you can't tell us? Nami bit her lip, struggling inside, but she still didn't say it. That's the murlocs. Even the most common murlocs have ten times the strength of humans, enough to turn houses upside down, let alone Arlong. Even though they beat Buggy the Clown, the two aren't exactly the same level of pirates, and they can swim. The more Gretel and Luffy said this, the more they cared about Nami, but Nami refused to speak out out of the idea of protecting them. It's nothing, I just want to go back to my village and have no idea of going to the Grand Line. Don't persuade me, I won't go. Nami was heartbroken and refused again. But Nami snatched the treasure that Gretel had just brought out with one hand, and then said, This is my treasure, don't even think about taking it away. This. Gretel was a little dumbfounded. It seems that the heat is not enough, everyone has to go through a few more adventures. Although this is the case, I still thank you for giving me a great skill. Nami said to Gretel, Advertisement. So hungry Luffy's stomach made a rumbling sound. It seems that it is still not possible to enter the Grand Line like this. We must find a chef and musician. Luffy said firmly, Chef. I remember that there is a sea restaurant in East Blue that is very famous, and many wealthy people are proud to eat at the sea restaurant. The chefs there cook really good food and fight over food almost every time. It's so powerful. Luffy's eyes glowed golden, and Kakuzu's mouth involuntarily dripped down. I'm going to find a chef there. Luffy clenched his fist firmly again. This chef, I want to order. Boom. Gretel casually threw an apple into Luffy's mouth and said, You should block your mouth first, the saliva is dripping out. Luffy swallowed the apple in one gulp without even spitting out the core. Fruit doesn't taste good at all, I want meat. I want to eat meat. Gilo. Luffy's belly matched his words again, giving a perfect performance. Nami, Gretel, it doesn't taste good and you spit it out? There should be an inhabited island near here, we can go there. After sailing for a while, Nami spoke to several people. Advertisement. There is meat to eat. I want to eat meat. Hey hey. Luffy's saliva drools again. Not long after, an island appeared in everyone's sight. While praising Nami's good sailing skills, Luffy kept urging Nami to hurry up, he was going to eat meat. Soon, the two ships arrived at a slope where the island could land. A group of four disembarked and came to the shore. By the way, Nami, or else I'll keep the treasure for you, or it would be bad if someone stole it while we were away. Gretel reminded. Since we are going to eat, it is impossible to stay and guard the boat. Nami looked back, thinking about this, and looked at the treasure worth more than 10 million berries on that ship. It's really not safe to put it here like this, but on second thought, what if Gretel keeps it and he doesn't take it out? No, just put it in. Before Nami finished speaking, Gretel had already returned to the boat and packed the two large parcels of treasure. The disappearing treasure immediately made Nami furious. Gretel, get me my treasure. At this moment, Nami took out a stick out of nowhere, and pointed at Gretel viciously. Gretel spread his hands and said innocently, What treasure? My treasure. Nami roared, Advertisement. What treasure is wealth? My treasure. Nami yelled again, I am your treasure. Come on, we're just partners, we're not that close. Gretel said rascally, Damn, Gretel. Nami is about to blow up? Be careful, there are people. Suddenly, Zoro made a reminder. Sure enough, a large number of marbles suddenly shot out from the grass on both sides of the slope. Bayubia Bayubiu. Nami and Luffy's feet kept dodging marbles shot from the grass. After a few seconds, he dodged dozens of marbles before barely stopping. At this time, a man with a long nose and a green slingshot stood up from the grass. At the same time, more than a dozen pirate flags were raised from the grass on both sides of the slope. Ha 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 ha. I am Usopp, the great pirate who took over the village. People praised me and called me our captain, Captain Usopp. There are 8,000 warriors under my command. If you want to attack our village, I advise you to give up, or my subordinates will not let you go. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 22 Can you finish the sentence at once? 1 7 begging for flower tickets. Advertisement. It's not good, it's not good. The pirates are coming. Everyone run. The pirates are coming. In the village on this small island, this sound sounds every day at regular intervals. It was the voice of Usopp. He shouted all the way to the middle of the village, with an anxious look on his face, attracting everyone's attention. Then, his expression suddenly changed, and he turned into an appearance of a successful trick. He he he, of course I lied to you. As soon as this was said, everyone rushed out with brooms, sticks and other things. Damn you Sop, you've been tricked again. Don't run, stop for me. See if we don't kill you this time. Seeing the villagers rushing out of the house and coming towards him, Usopp's expression gradually became excited. It's great, it's this feeling, this feeling of deceiving everyone. As he ran, he laughed triumphantly. Soon he ran to a hidden tree and fell asleep comfortably. The sun was shining, and some sunlight hit him like Madara spots through the gaps in the leaves. After a while, the villagers all went back because they couldn't find him. Advertisement. Captain Usopp. Captain Usopp, it's bad, there are pirates coming. A child yelled at the tree. Upon hearing the news, Usopp jumped down from the branch, pointed at the child and laughed, You are lying, such a simple lie, I can tell it at a glance. But the child insisted, it's really a pirate, and the flag of the buggy pirates is flying on their ship. B.A. Buggy pirates. Immediately, Usopp came to his senses, a child would not deceive him with this, but that's the buggy pirates, and the bounty is 15 million berry. What to do, what to do? Usopp's lips trembled a little, however, their boat is a little small. It can only seat four or five people. The child said, a boat for four or five people. Usopp's trembling lips improved instantly, it's just a few people, I can scare them away by myself. Usopp turned confidently and headed towards the coast. However, the child said again, there is a bigger boat that can hold more than a dozen people. A boat of ten, more than a dozen people? So there are more than a dozen people, or even twenty people. Usopp's lips did not tremble, but his legs trembled. 
20 people, I can't deal with them no matter what, what should I do, what should I do? Usopp anxiously thought of a countermeasure. Then the total number of people on the two boats is only four people, three men, and one woman. The child explained again. Four people, and a woman. Usopp's feet returned to normal in an instant, and he ran quickly towards the shore. There are only four people, and one woman, I can do it. Just the bluffing pirate flags on the coast can scare them, Captain Usopp. The kid continued. One of them seems to have a gun. The other has three knives. Advertisement. Crack. Usopp stopped immediately. Gun. He raised the green slingshot in his hand, this time his legs did not shake, but his hands trembled. The hand holding the slingshot kept asking him, can the slingshot compare to a gun? There are three knives. That's a gun. Once I get hit, I'm going to die. Me, me, me. Usopp's words to himself are a little blurry. Afterwards, the kid who told him the news ran to his side and said earnestly, I don't know what happened. At first I saw a strange gun in that man's hand, but when I looked at it later, I couldn't see it. Snapped. Usopp slapped the child on the head and scolded, next time, can you finish the sentence at once? Go ask those two boys to follow, let's stop those pirates from entering our village. Usopp said righteously, yes, Captain Usopp. The child received the order and immediately went to the other two children. In this way, Usopp and the three small children came to the coast and prevented the four from entering the village. Eight thousand warriors. Luffy said with an exaggerated expression, that's amazing. But Nami immediately interrupted Luffy's worship. Isn't it a lie? Which pirate would use a slingshot to attack people? And they didn't dare to hit them, they all hit the beach. Nami disdainfully said, I've been seen through. Several exclamations sounded, and those shaking flags fell back. Then the three little kids ran out of the grass and fled towards the village. Advertisement. Usopp looked at the three children in disbelief, and he took a step forward. Don't underestimate me, bastard. I have a lot of self-esteem, and I'm called the proud Usopp. Usopp raised the green slingshot in his hand and aimed at several people. Seeing the battle, Luffy also got serious. Oh, since the gun is drawn, life and death must be separated, then let me see the strength of the proud Usopp. Luffy rolled up his sleeves and raised his fist, as if he was about to strike. Nami also held the stick in his hands with a serious expression. Zoro put one hand on the knife at his waist, lifted his thumb lightly, and the dazzling light of the knife flashed on Usopp's face. Seeing this, Gretel stretched his hand back, and he held the modified Thompson shotgun in his hand, aiming at Usopp. Five people, four against one, Usopp held the slingshot by himself, and pulled the slingshot with great strength with both hands. The remaining four had different weapons, but the serious expression and the pirate logo of the clown buggy on the boat on the shore made Usopp sweat on his forehead. Once I make a move, there is no room for reconciliation. That's a real pirate. Usopp was extremely entangled and struggling in his heart. After a long time, the tense atmosphere at the scene made him compromise. He doesn't have the courage to face the real pirates. Pfft. Usopp dropped his hands, his knees gave way, and he fell to the ground. Sure enough, real pirates can't face it at all. Usopp sighed. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount, recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 23 In fact, Zoro is very sand sculpture 2 slash 7. Advertisement. Ah ha 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 With Usopp admitting defeat, the tense atmosphere just now changed instantly. The four looked at each other and laughed at the same time. Usopp asked with a confused face, you, what are you doing? Luffy covered his stomach and laughed, hey 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 hey, we are learning now and selling now, just to scare you. Like the man I respect, Shanks, since the gun is drawn, then, Shanks. Usopp widened his eyes and said, do you know the great pirate Shanks? Yeah, you're Usopp's son, right? Luffy said with a grin, ah, uh, Usopp was startled and rolled down from the tall grass. Even if it hurts, he doesn't care. Just asked urgently, my father's name is indeed Usopp, but how do you know him? Luffy recalled a little and said, Usopp, I often hear him talking about you. He's a great shooter. Usopp let down his guard as a flash of Luffy's memories came up. A moment later, led by Usopp, the four came to a restaurant in the small town. Luffy ate chunks of meat while Zoro and Gretel drank wine. Advertisement. How is it? Is it delicious? The proprietress and I are good friends, you can just eat and don't worry about the meal cost. Usopp's voice trailed off. Gretel followed the sound and looked over, where is his figure? Already disappeared. It seems that you still have to pay for the meal yourself. By the way, aren't we looking for a big ship? Zoro asked. There is a luxurious villa on the mountain, shall we go to them for help? Nami said, okay, let's go after eating. Luffy gnawed a piece of head in one go, and continued to eat. It's true that I haven't had a normal meal for a long time, and I've been running around at sea for the past few days. I just saw Captain Usopp go in, he must be in there. Outside the restaurant, a child said to two other children. Come on, let's go to Captain Usopp. The other two children echoed. The three of them quietly ran to the restaurant, but they searched around but found nothing. Where did Captain Usopp go? The three young children only saw four people eating in the restaurant. They, aren't they the four pirates? A child shouted. The other three saw it too. But instead of fleeing, they took out their own wooden swords and asked the four of them bravely, where did you guys hide Captain Usopp? Usopp? The lying nose. Nami asked. At this time, Zoro's face suddenly changed, revealing a scene of horror, he has been eaten by me. Advertisement. In the eyes of children, Zoro, who is seriously scary and dark-faced, has turned into a man-eating demon pirate? Ah. The three children dropped their wooden swords and fled, no more courage? Gretel looked at Zoro with a weird face, seeming to remember. Zoro in the first half of the Grand Line is still quite black-bellied and sandy. On the hilltop of the village, a luxurious villa stands here. There is a high wall around the villa, but the main entrance is held by two tall men in black suits and sunglasses. It can be said that this villa is strictly guarded, almost no one can enter? This is rich second generation, the villa of Kaya's family. However, this strictly guarded villa has a dog hole. Usopp deftly moved the haystacks under the fence. A boxy hole appeared. Usopp got into the hole and managed to get into the yard of Kaya's villa. Skillfully climbed up the tree again, threw a marble and hit the glass of that window. 
Kaya in the room heard the movement and opened the window in surprise. Sure enough, there are her friends outside, Yusuf is here. Because Kaya is weak and sick, the housekeeper prevents him from going out casually. She can only stay in this small room depressed every day. Advertisement. It wasn't until Yusuf showed up and told her all kinds of jokes and adventures that a smile appeared on her face. This also made Kaya have a good impression of Yusuf beyond a friend. When Yusuf was talking vigorously, he suddenly heard a strange voice. Then there was the sound of something hitting the ground. He looked under the tree and saw Luffy and his party. Luffy, why are you here? Yusuf asked in surprise. Ah, you are the owner of this villa, right? We would like to ask you to send us a bigger boat. Luffy said to others regardless of the situation. Yusuf, Nami Gretel. Kaya smiled awkwardly, are you the friend you saw mentioned just now? Slightly smiling is very attractive, maybe it is Kaya. A head of blonde hair falls naturally on her body, big innocent eyes and a well-behaved and gentle face make people know that she is a daughter at a glance. It's still the kind of knowledgeable, not the arrogant and unreasonable kind. How many of you? A scolding sound sounded, and everyone followed the sound. It was a man in a black suit with gentle eyes walking towards them. Kaya's steward, Cravadle. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 24 What I said was true, I almost believed it 3 slash 7. Advertisement. The movement of Luffy's group ejected in was too loud for Crow to hear. After all, he is a big pirate who was once offered a bounty of 16 million berry, and his perception ability is much better than that of ordinary security guards. Running into other people's yards without their consent, this kind of impolite behavior is only done by people like you. Cravadley's words were sharp, but it's also true. Seeing this, Kaya quickly explained, Cabadle, actually they. But Kaya was interrupted mercilessly after he had only spoken halfway. Miss Kaya, I'll talk about those words later. I'm going to drive out this group of uninvited guests now. Clebattle pushed his glasses habitually. Okay, you can go, or, what else do you need to say and ask for? Clebattle walked up to the crowd and looked at them coldly. It was obviously an extremely awkward atmosphere, but Luffy didn't notice it at all. He innocently said, Really? We want a boat. At this moment, Gretel's embarrassing toes were about to dig out a Mariana trench. Fortunately, Clebattle immediately rejected it sternly. No, he pushed his glasses and said, You saw, I know, you've been a big scourge in the village up until now. I heard that you often go out on adventures. You are really young and promising. Really? They call me Captain Usopp, too. If you want to compliment me, Usopp smirked. Advertisement. Captain. Clebattle said, I have also heard rumors from your father that you are just the son of a dirty pirate. Hearing this, Luffy Nami raised his head, his face became serious. Carabattle, stop talking. Kaya anxiously dissuaded. But Clebattle didn't listen at all, and continued, no matter what you do, I won't be surprised. But please stay away from the eldest lady, you are completely people from two worlds. Do you want money? Tell me how much you want. Crow's voice is extremely ear-piercing. Gretel, who was watching a play, directly pushed away Usopp in front of him and stood at the front of the crowd. Krabatel, shut up and apologize to Usopp immediately. Kaya said sternly by the window, but Krabatel didn't care about this, he pushed his glasses again, why should I apologize to these filthy people, they should be the ones who apologize, I'm just telling the truth. A pirate who abandons his wife and son, and is willing to sacrifice everything for the treasure, a scourge who has no parental education since he was a child, and can only lie to others all day long. This is not a simple conflict anymore, Usopp simply can't stand someone saying that about his dad. He rushed towards Krabatel himself. Gretel grabbed Usopp and said, don't be impulsive, let me do it. Gretel took a step forward, puffing on his cigar. The thick smoke spit on Clebattle's face. It's just that Clebattle still has a cold expression on his face, and he doesn't seem to be affected at all. Crabatally, eh, no, that shouldn't be the case. I should call you the captain of the Black Cat Pirates, Beji Crow, right? Advertisement. Gretel smiled, reached into the pocket of the windbreaker, and took out a reward order. A reward order that disappeared three years ago. Impressively written on it, 100 Chloe, captain of the Black Cat Pirates, offers a bounty of 16 million berry, regardless of life or death. Crow's pupils constricted and his fists were clenched tightly. Is that you up there? Gretel asked. No. Crow directly denied. Isn't it? No, it's just a little bit like it. This F King is you. You said he was me. Crow was a little angry. Yes, I said he is you. I said he was me. This is me at all, right? Crow suddenly sneered. The person on the reward order is said to have been executed by Marine three years ago, right? There are so many people who look like me in this world. I say he is me, but how do you prove that he is me? As expected of Beji Kiluo, he is still so calm at this time. It's just that Gretel also has a backup. Let me tell you a story. Advertisement. Gretel said, once upon a time, East Blue had a vicious captain named Beji Kiluo, who was offered a reward of 16 million berry by Marine. Later, because this person was tired of fighting and killing pirates, he asked one of his men to pretend that he was caught by Marine and was finally executed. And the real crow has pretended to be seriously injured, sneaked into a rich man's house, and became a servant. Because the male owner of the family passed away suddenly for unknown reasons, Beji Kiluo thought of using his pirate men to invade the village. He took the opportunity to kill the eldest lady, and asked the eldest lady to write down, leave all the property to the steward Clebatel's last words. In this way, he can legally inherit so much inheritance, become rich. It's just a pity that after Marine who caught the fake crow became a colonel, I defeated him, and I also found this piece of pirate in his room, which he treasured and made him a colonel? That colonel's name is, Axman Manka? What's even more pity is that his subordinates were too ostentatious, unfortunately they were caught and revealed his plan. After saying so much in one breath, Gretel's mouth was almost dry. He handed the reward order to the person behind him, and slowly took out an apple from his pocket and not on it. I'm right, Chloe. Gretel challenged. You. The blue veins on Crow's body were exposed, and under the force, he squeezed his hands until they creaked. He didn't believe that someone would understand his affairs so thoroughly. Someone said it to him when he set off. Personally, for a moment, Crow seemed to think of something. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 25 Crow who took off the disguise. 4 slash 7. Advertisement. Correct. 
As Beiji Kiluo, he was being led by the nose right now, of course you have to take the initiative. Crow didn't explain, but said to a security guard behind, go and get the newspaper in the living room. A bodyguard behind him received the order and immediately ran to the living room to take out the newspaper that Crow had mentioned. Crow took the newspaper, and there was still a stack of reward orders slipping out of the newspaper. He caught the bounty order with quick eyes and hands, and pointed a bounty order at Gretel in the same way that Gretel had treated him just now. I read the newspaper this morning, and there are several reward orders, I think you should be very interested. Crow also read it in a dignified way, outlaw lunatic Gretel, the reward amount, 6.3 million berry, regardless of life or death. Is this you? It's me. Gretel said without hesitation. Is that you? It's really me. I said he's not you. He he he. You say he's not me. I said he's not you. Well, it's not me. This TM isn't me at all. Gretel spread her hands innocently and said, then what? Advertisement. Then. Crow choked suddenly. That's right, Gretel's reward order is here, so what can he do? But his reward order is so similar to him, even if Gretel says no, it is impossible for others to fully believe it. You. Crow pointed at Gretel, unable to speak for a moment. He suddenly covered his nose with his hands and said, Please leave, I don't want to talk to dirty pirates like you, I have a cheap smell on my body. Gretel pulled the reward order, and emphasized loudly, You have a low smell on your body. I told you it's not me, I don't have body odor. Forget it, I won't be with you, Zoro, it's your turn. Gretel suddenly changed the subject and said to the outside wall, This is Gretel's backhand. With Zoro's skills, even with one person, this kind of 3 meter high wall can still be easily climbed. There are still people. Crow secretly said something bad. He has asked Song Jao to keep a low profile when he comes here, so that no one can see him. If he did get caught, that would be bad. All his lies will be exposed. As Gretel's words spread outside the wall, Zoro stepped on the iron fence and climbed over. And he has a person in his hand. A man with a magic hat and heart glasses, Zangao. Crow's pupils constricted, and he recognized it at a glance. As expected, Zangao was arrested. Advertisement. Zango was tied up by Zoro at the moment, and as soon as he came in, he called out Crow's real name. Captain Crow. Captain Crow. As soon as the words were uttered, it was already convincing. Everyone, look, this is the current captain of the Black Cat Pirates, Zango. Gretel kicked Zango to the ground. As the current head of the Black Cat Pirates, the bounty is as high as 9 million berry, which is still remembered by many people. Although it has disappeared for a few years, in East Blue, an Alvida with 5 million is almost a household name, let alone 9 million likes. This time, what Crow said was useless. Kaya was by the window and saw the reward in Usopp's hand below. Plus Gretel's story, and the testimony of Django. Kaya covered her mouth with her hands. She couldn't believe that the housekeeper who cared for her for three years was actually a big pirate. Carabatel, are these all true? Kaya actually asked naively. Crow looked cold, pushed his glasses, and no longer made any excuses. Pirate hunter Roranozoro, the bounty is 6 million berry. Outlaw fanatic Gretel, the bounty is 6.3 million berry. Do you think that two pirates whose combined bounty is not as high as mine can beat me? I just need to kill you all, and wait quietly for the black cat pirates to come to this island to loot, and the ending will still be the same. Crow dropped the pretense and said his plan directly. Indeed, in the face of absolute strength, even if it is exposed, so what? Crow's body moved instantly, and with a bang, it directly broke the glass on the first floor of the villa. Advertisement. Before everyone could react, he appeared in the yard again. At this moment, he has one more thing in his hand. His weapon? A spot a cat's claw? A claw knife as long as an ordinary swordsman's saber, with two hands, exactly ten. Crow sneered, and pushed the glasses with his palm joints. In order not to degenerate his fighting instinct, he kept pushing his eyes every moment when using a spot a cat's claw. Ding the plot boss lucky draw is open, please host the lucky draw. It's finally here. Gretel muttered, and the lottery system didn't appear until Crow put on the equipment, which was really outrageous. Lottery. Ding congratulations to host for successfully extracting the skill, bullets. Bullet rain, fire a special bullet into the sky, causing enemies within the range to suffer a hail of bullets. Note, bullet rain will gain the vision of enemies within the range, and has a deceleration effect. Ah this Gretel complained a little. What are these? In addition to the perfect curtain call of the lame man, the next one is the gangster godfather skin, the yordle trap, and this hail of bullets. The skills of his teammates are simply incomparable, and they are not of the same level. What kind of boss do you have to meet to give a legendary skill? Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 26 Naive Kaya. Advertisement. We've been found out about our true identities, so why don't we just kill us all? Usopp looked in horror at Clebatel, who seemed to be a different person in front of him. No, it's Chloe. Zong Jao, I have already reminded you to keep a low profile when you come here, so as not to be discovered by others. But you just don't listen. I'll give you a chance now. Swipe. With a swipe of Crow's claw knife, the hemp rope tied with Zango was easily cut open. Zong Jao also got up instantly, and stood in front of Crow. I'm sorry, Captain Crow, I'll get them over right now, they've been in that bay for weeks and can't wait. Zango took out a phone bug from nowhere, dialed quickly, and hung up after only saying a word. Plan to act. In a bay not far from Surab village, the members of the Black Cat Pirates hiding here were also extremely excited when they received the call. Brothers, the boss told us to go over. Today is the day when we developed, and we don't have to be aggrieved anymore. The pirates shouted and controlled the pirate ship to come at a very high speed. In the courtyard of Kaya's house, Crow and Zango faced a group of rookie pirates with a combined value of only 12.3 million. But the combined bounties of the two of them have already reached 25 million. Advertisement. It is 5 million more than Arlong, who has the highest bounty in East Blue. If strength is judged by the amount of bounty alone, Luffy will undoubtedly be crushed. Crow with a bounty of 16 million, Zango with a bounty of 9 million, add up to a bounty of 25 million. Usopp said the number while suppressing his trembling body. He doesn't even have the courage to face ordinary pirates, let alone pirates of this level. It almost scared him out of his wits. But besides him, no one seemed to be afraid. Zoro slowly drew his knife. Nami held up the long stick, and secretly squeezed the mark of Rienyeo Madara in his hand. Luffy squeezed his joints confidently, and there was a crackling sound. Gretel also instantly took out his own modified Thompson. Crow can be said to be a powerful pirate, and he cannot be taken lightly. 
Here, the only one who has no fighting power is Keiya. Although Yusuf's combat power is also negligible. Don't move, or we're going to shoot. At this moment, the voices of two security guards sounded behind Crow. It is said that they are security guards, but they are actually no different from bodyguards, because they hold pistols in their hands and point at Locke. Seeing this scene, Gretel suddenly felt dizzy. You said you two little bodyguards, just guard the door. Why are you here to join in the fun? Would a man of his caliber be afraid of your pistol? Advertisement. Crow looked back blankly, watching the two security guards who had been together for so long pointing guns at him, as if he was looking at two dead people. Zong Jao, I'll give you ten minutes to settle these people, otherwise don't blame me for being rude. Locke pushed his glasses and said, Uh, don't worry, Captain Locke. Zong Jao hesitated for a while, then immediately promised. When he was outside just now, Zoro walked past him and knocked him unconscious by surprise, and he didn't even react. If he were to face off head-on, he would definitely not be able to lose. Then let's get rid of these two guys who are in the way first. Snort. Zong Jao turned his head, with the ring of sharp blades clasped in his hands, and a gleam of sharpness flashed in his eyes. Well, let's save it, for the sake of protecting Keiya so faithfully. Smoke bomb. In an instant, Zangao, who was about to make a move, became blurred in front of his eyes. Quick draw, Gretel immediately came in front of the two security guards, kicked them out with one foot and one with the other, and threw them out. If you don't want to die, don't get involved in this battle. Ding. Suddenly, the system's notification sounded. Trigger the companion growth quest to turn Usopp into a brave man. Task completion reward, partners get an extra chance to join the lucky draw. Advertisement. All of a sudden, Gretel, who originally wanted to solve the battle quickly, felt uncomfortable. Meaning, to make Usopp brave? But it was also true that what was the point of recruiting a cowardly companion? The disgusting smokescreen quickly dissipated. Zong Jao had a displeased face, although it didn't cause any harm to him, it was a bit disgusting and choking. Crow stood aside expressionlessly, as if he didn't want to do anything. Kara battle, are you really a pirate? You want to steal my family's wealth. It has come to this point, and Keiya still has a glimmer of expectation. Crow said coldly to Kaido, Miss Keiya, is it not good to take the initiative to write a will for me? Do you want me to kill all the people here? Kabadal, you. This sentence completely shattered Keiya's hopes. In order to give Kabadal a surprise, she specially asked Meili to go to the next town to order a pair of glasses that would not always fall off, and wanted to give it to Kabadal as a gift for the third anniversary. But looking at it like this, it is obviously not necessary. Zong Jao, there are still nine minutes. Crow reminded coldly, pinching his watch. And at this moment, Keiya's voice came again. Kabadal, you, can you not hurt them? If you just want wealth, I can give you all my wealth. Kaya's weak voice is extraordinarily resolute at this moment. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 27 The Birth of Zoro's Black History. Advertisement. Ha 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 ha. Crow's presumptuous laughter seemed particularly harsh at this moment. Miss Kaya, don't be naive. What I need is a legitimate, reasonable, and legal inheritance. I won't leave anyone behind who knows my plan. UK pointed at him and finished. Carabatal. Crow no longer pays attention to Keiya, anyway, after today, he can become a legal rich man, live a stable life, and will not suffer from those unstable things. Zong Jao, there are still eight minutes. Crow reminded Zong Jao again. It's rare for Gretel to pretend like him. It seemed that if he sat firmly on the Diawatai, he would definitely be able to kill everyone present. Hey, I will never let you succeed, I want to protect Keiya. Usopp's feet were shaking so badly that he couldn't stand up. Keiya was there, and he had gone all out. I, I am the captain of the pirate group with 8,000 warriors. If you don't run away, my 8,000 warriors will definitely kill you. Usopp raised his green slingshot and aimed at Crow with all his strength in both hands. With only 8 minutes left, Zango didn't want to ink anymore, or Captain Crow's cat's claws would take his head away. The sharp blade ring rotated in his hand, and then shot towards Usopp at the front with lightning speed. This terrifying sharp blade ring can directly cut off a large forest, it is extremely sharp. Flesh and blood are simply irresistible. Usopp couldn't react at all. Advertisement. He only saw Zong Jao make a move, and then his sight was blocked. At this moment, Zoro stepped forward, with a horizontal knife in his hand, resisting the attack of the ring of sharp blades. Ka ka ka. The impact of the blade ring kept rubbing sparks on Zoro's knife. After a stalemate for three seconds, the ring of sharp blades exhausted and returned to Zango's hand. Hmph, I didn't expect you to have some strength, not just being able to hit the sap in the back. Zong Jao snorted coldly. It took a lot of work for Gretel to get the haughty Zoro to sap him in the back. Fortunately, except for Gretel, the other three basically didn't have any money with them. Nami brought a little, but she didn't want to take it out. Gretel used the excuse that Zoro had a good drink, and it was difficult for him to agree. Now Zoro mentioned it, which immediately made Zoro feel embarrassed. A person like you, I can defeat you with a few moves. If it wasn't for agreeing to other people's affairs, I would have hacked you to death a long time ago. Zoro really wanted to hack him? Can this kind of thing be said on the table? He is the man who wants to become the world's number one swordsman. But when Zoro confronted Zango, Usopp behind him collapsed on the ground with a thud. It's so, so terrible. Usopp gulped. Just now he didn't see the ring of sharp blades Song Jao attacked. If Zoro hadn't stood in his way, he might have been a headless corpse. Advertisement. This scene immediately made Zong Jao ridicule. Is this the legendary captain who has eight senju under his command? Why are his legs weak from fright? Zong Jao, there are still seven minutes. Crow gave Usopp a deadpan look. He really despises this person. If you don't do business all day long, you just lie, lie, and talk big. I'll fix it right away, Captain Crow. Only seven minutes left. And the enemies on the opposite side are the pirate hunter Zoro with a knife, the outlaw fanatic Gretel, a boy with a straw hat, and a woman who looks weak. As for the person sitting paralyzed on the ground, there is no need to worry about it. Just defeat Zoro and Gretel, and he doesn't need the rest for a minute, Usopp. Kaya put her hands on the windowsill, worried, are you okay? I, I'm fine. Usopp said stiffly, how could something be wrong with me? It's just that the ground was too slippery just now, Zoro, underscore. Can you really say this? Dry turf, insisting that the ground is slippery? Is it bullying that Keiya hasn't spent much time on the lawn and stays in the room every day? Zhang Gao said impatiently, I don't care what your reason is. 
Praise hypnosis. You are just ordinary people. You are just ordinary people. You will be killed by me. Advertisement. Zango took out the ring of blades and swung it in the air. At this time, Gretel suddenly shouted, You sop, hurry up, use your slingshot to knock out his hypnosis weapon, or we will all be killed by hypnosis. Gretel also tried his best. The person he could kill with two shots, in order to make you sop awaken the god you sop account, he insisted on OB for so long. After Gretel said this, Nami and Zoro reacted quickly, turning their heads away from Zango's ring of blades. Hearing this, you saw picked up the slingshot tremblingly. His hands were weak, but he aimed at Zango's ring of blades. Zango swings the blade ring with one hand and hypnosis covers his eyes with the other. Because if he doesn't do this, he will also be hypnosis, which is really a wonderful ability. Usopp, why are you still hesitating? Hurry up. Gretel fired up again. I, I, I can definitely do it. I am a brave sea warrior. Usopp, come on. Kaya also encouraged. Killer star. Bio. A marble shot passed. It was about to hit Zangjo's sharp blade ring, but he was automatically dodged by the swing of the sharp blade ring. Oh Gretel shook her head, sighing inwardly. God Usopp, can you wake up quickly? Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 28 Zoro's Performance Moment 7 slash 7. Advertisement. Empty, empty. Usopp looked at the ring of blades in Zangjo's hand in shock. Although it was a moving target, but at such a close distance, he could hit it with any hit. But now, the people on the opposite side have covered their eyes, and it turned out to be empty. I, I really can't do it? That's a real big pirate, with dozens of subordinates under him, and his bounty has reached 9 million berry. Usopp flinched again, terrified. He kicked his legs, propped his hands back on the ground, and kept moving backwards. No, 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 I can't. Usopp said tremblingly. At this moment, Luffy beside Usopp also went limp. I, I'm an ordinary person, you're going to kill me. I'm an ordinary person. Luffy muttered in a daze, without any strength in his whole body, he slumped beside Usopp like mud. This scene made Usopp happy. Finally someone like him, and he's not alone? Even real pirates are afraid of Zongjeo, so why not him? At this moment, Usopp seemed to have found a spiritual sustenance, and actually laughed out loud. Ha ha, ha ha ha, I just said, I can't be a coward, even pirates are afraid. Joe, Gretel yelled angrily, Yordle trap, bang bang, advertisement. There was an extra clamp under Zongjeo's feet. Before he opened his eyes to react, he was caught by the clamp. Ah, pain, pain, pain. Zango immediately put away the ring of sharp blades, and quickly bent down to break off the clips on his legs. Three seconds later, Zango finally pulled out the clip. But his legs were also covered with several blood holes. Damn it! When did you put traps under my feet? Zongjeo roared angrily. He was angry too, really angry? Zongjeo, there are still five minutes. Crow's voice sounded like a timed alarm clock. Half of the time has passed, but Zongjeo didn't solve anyone, but he was injured himself. Soon, I'll finish them off. Zango said, Zoro, it's your turn. Gretel said, oh, let me come with this man. As Zoro said, he pulled out the white word from his waist again. Bite the handle of the knife with one bite. Three swords lose Zoro, already in place. Zangao endured the pain, and joked, Yo, looking at the posture, do you intend to use all your strength? Although I don't know how you guys put the clamps under my feet, I won't keep any more hands now. Zangjao roared angrily, and quickly rushed towards Zoro with the sharp blade ring in his hand. Zoro also took two steps forward, slashing out with two swords. Although the sharp blade ring in Zangjao's hand is small in shape, its power is not small. He accepted Zoro's slash with ease. At this time, Zoro also changed his moves, and the speed of wielding knives with both hands became faster and faster. Advertisement. Interesting. Crow stood aside, making a rare digression. Whether it was the swordsman's three-sword style or the clip that suddenly appeared at Zangjo's feet just now, it made him feel less boring. Zoro has three knives, and Zango has only one ring of sharp blades. It is getting more and more difficult for him to parry Zoro's moves. No, if this continues, time will run out. Zangao flicked away Zoro's knife and took a big step back. In this case, let me see your true strength. As Zangjo said, he instantly threw out the sharp blade ring in his hand. The speed is very fast, but in Zoro's eyes, it is still not fast enough. Zoro saw that the sharp blade ring seemed to want to stab his hand, and he turned his body slightly to avoid the attack of the sharp blade ring. The corner of Zoro's mouth twitched, and he was about to say a word of ridicule, but immediately felt something was wrong. Wrong. After feeling something, Zoro immediately took a big step in the opposite direction. But it's still a little late. Shua. The ring of blades still hits Zoro on the way back. Zangao surprised him by throwing the ring sideways, and guessed that Zoro was going to dodge. Only then did he take advantage of the attributes of the ring boomerang to overshadow Zoro. Zoro lowered his head and saw his torn clothes and the blood overflowing from the wound less than half a centimeter on the left side of his body. My enemies, do they only engage in these sneak attacks from behind? Zoro seems a little angry. He gritted his teeth hard, and put his two knives in the same posture. Seeing that this blow only scratched Zoro a little, Zangao felt a burst of anxiety in his heart. Four minutes. Crow urged him to come again. Advertisement. Zongjeo held the ring of sharp blades, and rushed towards Zoro regardless of the injury on his leg. This time, I will kill you in a minute. Zongjeo said in his heart. His opponent, Zoro, is ready. Ready? Tiger. Circle cutting. Hunting. Click. In an instant, Zoro appeared behind Zango. Zongjeo maintained a charge posture, motionless. It wasn't until three seconds later that Zangao's original words showed a crack. Then it split into two and fell to the ground. He himself also slowly fell towards the ground. A bang sound seemed to wake everyone up. He he he. He actually defeated the pirate who offered a bounty of 9 million. Usopp stood up immediately and pointed at Zongjeo's body, not knowing whether it was excitement or fear for a moment. Not bad, Zoro. Gretel said. Zoro came back to his senses, and seemed to feel something was wrong. Gretel, is this double-edged sword a demon sword? Zoro asked with a serious expression. Just now, he beheaded Zongjeo with one move. But there was a special feeling coming from the blade of the ruined king in his right hand. When he looked down at his cut clothes again, he found that the bloodline was still there, but the wound had disappeared. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. 
Chapter 29 Eraser Eraser Meat Eating Awakening 1 slash 7 Advertisement Demon Knife Gretel rolled his eyes immediately. The Blade of the Ruined King is a weapon called the Ruined King Vigo in ancient times. If the Ruined King was in its heyday, it would have the ability to destroy the world. No matter how strong a person is, he will be injured if he is cut. Gretel took a breath of smoke and continued. It's a pity that the Blade of the Ruined King seems to be sealed and can't realize its full potential. Otherwise the Supreme Sword will have to surrender to it. As for how to unlock the seal, I don't know. So, Zoro. Gretel paused, and continued, the demon sword you mentioned, but it is humiliating, he is the king's blade. Gretel made up the story, which made Zoro feel excited. He picked up the blade of the ruined king, looked at it carefully and asked, is it the blade of the king? I understand. Only by becoming the number one swordsman in the world, will you have enough strength to undo his seal and surpass the supreme sword. I will never disgrace its former reputation. Zoro made the vow so firmly that Gretel panicked a little. Don't, I'm making it up. You will become a swordsman by then. If you haven't awakened this knife, you won't come to chop me up. Gretel broke into a cold sweat. Snort. Crow can no longer stand the fuss of this group of people. He doesn't care what king is or not, only the reasonable and legal inheritance of the Keiya family's property is the most important thing. He didn't expect that Sanjeojo would be defeated. Advertisement. Zangjeo's strength is still there, but occasionally he does some outrageous sand sculpture things. It's just that in this kind of situation, it is obviously impossible for Zangjeo to be confused. Crow raised his cat's paw, pushed his glasses with his wrist and said, Okay, this farce is over. Swipe. Suddenly, Locke appeared beside Zoro. Noiseless, extremely fast. This is Locke's silent step. Zoro quickly took advantage of the situation to block. Bang. The three knives in Zoro's hand were intertwined with the five clawed knives in one of Crow's hands. Three knives beat eighteen knives, it seems that Zoro is at a disadvantage. When Zoro was in a stalemate, Crow moved his other hand. Five knives attack Zoro again, but the knife in Zoro's hand was restrained by Crow, and he couldn't get away. He had a premonition of the crisis, mouth forcefully, head tilted, Hideo immediately blocked the claw knife in Crow's other hand. Crow's strength should not be underestimated, and Zoro should not be his opponent without using a unique move. Gretel looked at Zoro who was in a stalemate, Luffy who was limp on the ground, Usopp who was trembling with fear again, and himself and Nami who were on the verge of Obi. Miss Kaya, is there any meat in your room? Gretel asked. Advertisement. Meat. Kaya was a little surprised, why did she still eat meat when life and death were at stake? Yes, I missed a chicken leg for lunch. Kaya Kaido. Give it to me. Gretel said. Okay, now. Kaya quickly came to her table and took out the drumstick, throwing it to Gretel. At this time, the duel between Zoro and Crow has reached a fever pitch. The two kept making moves, parrying, and dismantling each move. But clearly, Zoro has been suppressed. After all, Crow is an older generation who has been famous for more than 10 years, and has a lot of fighting experience. Espada is also very restrained Zoro's three swords. Hmph, is this the strength? A few little pirates dare to sabotage my plan. Crow sneered. Child thief. I'm the man who wants to be the pirate king. Luffy suddenly yelled, and then swallowed the chicken leg in one gulp without even spit out the bones. A Luffy licked his lips in satisfaction and said, although it's just a small chicken leg, it's delicious. Nami looked at Luffy who suddenly became energetic, and had to admire Gretel's operation. Sure enough, those who commit crimes must use the method of committing crimes to deal with them. That kind of hypnosis moved to coax children, only Luffy will fall for it. However, Gretel's meat-eating technique to wake up Luffy is also an outrageous operation. Advertisement. One Piece. Crow sneered and said, you guys alone can't even get out of East Blue. With both hands, he bounced Zoro away, and the two kept a relatively safe distance. Now that it's time to talk, Gretel bravely stood up. At least we still have ideals. Unlike you, who only have a bounty of 16 million, we don't dare to be pirates anymore. We only dare to shrink back. Gretel came to Usopp's side, picked him up with one hand, and then came to Zoro's side, standing face to face with Crow. Do you know who he is? Gretel pointed at Usopp. He's Shinzo, Yasop's son. As for Yasop, as a cutter of members of the Four Emperor's Regiment, the bounty offered is simply beyond what you can imagine. I heard that Four Emperor's Shanks recruited a new crew some time ago, the strength is very weak, and the bounty is also the lowest in the whole group, only 94 million berry. Of course, when I say weak, I mean he is the weakest in the Four Emperor's group, but even the weakest rock star, with his bounty of 94 million berry, can catch you with one trick, right? 9, 94 million, the pirate with the lowest bounty and the weakest. Gretel stirred up a thousand waves with one stone, even Luffy exclaimed. That's amazing, as expected of the people on the Shanks boat. Luffy was surprised. Then I will work harder, I must catch up with Shanks and complete the agreement. Luffy clenched his fists and said, Gee, Gretel, are you telling the truth? Usopp asked in disbelief. Of course it is true. Gretel's voice was beyond doubt. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 30 I told you to beat him, but I didn't tell you to die two sevenths. Advertisement. I like someone, never lie, if you don't believe me, ask them. Gretel pointed to Nami Luffy and others. The two nodded cooperatively. Then, Usopp asked hesitantly, do you know how much my dad's bounty is? Looking at Usopp's expectant eyes, Gretel said, actually, I don't know how much it is, but... Gretel changed the topic, it is said that among the four emperors, the red hair pirates have the most average bounty, and the highest is the captain's red-haired shanks bounty, four billion berry, forty, billion, is it really that tall? Luffy admired, but he was very puzzled, why shanks offered a bounty of four billion, but was beaten by a bandit with eight million and did not fight back? The lowest is the one I just mentioned, ninety-four million berry, Yasop is a cutter, and he is also a main combat member, I think his bounty should be between one billion and two billion, two, two billion. When Usopp heard this, a look of admiration immediately appeared on his face. Even if it is the lowest, there is a bounty of about 1 billion. So my dad is so powerful. Usopp's body seems to be aroused with blood. Advertisement. I must become a sea warrior like my father. No, I want to surpass dad. 
Usopp squeezed his fist, and at this moment he seemed to be full of strength, but at this time, Crow immediately retorted, Four emperors? How could the cotters around the legendary sea emperor have such a useless son? Besides, even if his father has a reward of two billion, so what? Isn't he a dirty and lowly pirate? Crow pushed his glasses confidently. Ha 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 Gretel laughed loudly, you probably don't even know what the four emperors represent. Let me give you a popular science. The so-called four emperors are the four sea emperors after one piece. In the second half of the Grand Line, the four emperors divided up almost all the territory, and even where the marine met the four emperors ship, they had to detour. Not only that, the countries and islands where they live must pay protection fees to the four emperors who protect them. This kind of sea emperor who has already surpassed ordinary countries, you actually call him low and dirty? Gretel held Usopp in one hand, picked up the modified Thompson in the other, pointed at Crow and said, Then, you who don't hesitate to let your partner die for you, ran here and hid for three years, and hoped to use this method to steal the wealth of the Kaya family, isn't it even dirtier? You don't even have the courage to admit your past identity. Isn't it because you are cowardly and afraid of being caught and executed by Marines that you want to hide and live a stable life? The most cowardly person, is you. Hundreds of Clorox. Gretel's voice was full of magnetism. At this moment, he seemed to trigger the protagonist's speech, which convinced everyone present. It turned out to be like this. It is because of cowardice that I dare not stay at sea. Usopp finally dared to face Crow's cold gaze. Advertisement. Ahem, so, Usopp. Gretel's voice rose several decibels. Do you want to be a coward? Do you want to embarrass your father? If you don't want to, raise the weapon in your hand and declare war on him. Gretel's inspirational means are really powerful. Even if Keio was present just now, Usopp didn't have the courage to bring it up, and at this moment it suddenly burst from him. Yes, I am a brave sea warrior. How can I be afraid of my opponent? Although Usopp's voice trembled slightly, he still roared loudly. Come, Usopp, take up your arms. Declare war on him. Declaration of war. Usopp looked excited, and said excitedly, Brave sea warriors, bravely face all enemies, even if they know they are invincible. How can brave sea warriors be afraid of death? Even if you die in battle, you can't back down. Usopp suddenly raised the green slingshot in his hand. Kill the gunpowder star. It is rare for Usopp to use his special gunpowder stars instead of marbles. Bio. The gunpowder star is going straight to Crow. Crow just smiled lightly and started silently. Advertisement. There was no sound at all, and the body was only half a body to the side, and it easily escaped Usopp's attack. Humph, can this kind of children's playhouse be used for fighting? Even though Usopp has inspired his courage and used his most powerful moves so far, in front of Crow, who has a bounty of 16 million berry, it is just a child's play. Ding congratulations to the host for assisting the preparatory partner to complete the task. The rewards will be superimposed and will be distributed when you officially become a partner. Gretel let out a long breath. Huh. So tired? For such a long storytelling, it is necessary to raise the volume to give the protagonist's speech. Don't talk dry, the main reason is that the heart is tired. Gretel let go of Usopp's grip. However, at this moment, Usopp picked up the slingshot again and strode forward, facing Crow directly. I am a brave sea warrior, no matter how strong the enemy is, I will not back down. Usopp yelled and fired the gunpowder star again. Faced with this provocation, even the deep-minded Crow couldn't help it. If you want to court death, I will help you. Silent step. Espada. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge. Activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 31 The Hope of the Whole Village. 3 sevenths thanks to 13083. Big Brother for the monthly pass. Advertisement. Seeing the scene, Gretel immediately held the modified Thompson in front of Usopp, and then shot out. Boom. A huge shotgun bursting out with the power of bullets. Crow, with a murderous face, immediately took out the Espada to protect his body. Kong. There was a crisp sound as the bullet hit the metal knife. Crow, you don't want a newcomer, if you want to practice, I'll accompany you. Gretel spit out the cigar in his mouth. Usopp's preparatory rewards have been superimposed, and now you don't need ink marks, you can start using your strength directly. Crow's blow was hindered, but he didn't have any emotions. In his opinion, it was nothing more than letting the person on the opposite side live for a while longer. Usopp, now I have a difficult task for you. Gretel turned back. What, what mission? Usopp gasped. Just now, he almost thought he was going to die. Fortunately, Gretel showed up just in time. Now he seems to have come back to his senses. What was I doing just now? Usopp not only asked his own inner question. Isn't the great courage just now what I have always dreamed of? A true warrior, face any powerful enemy? Advertisement. Although that breath is gone now, that feeling is deeply engraved in his mind. Go and protect Kaya. The next battle is not for you to participate in. Gretel said in a deep voice. Now, what they are facing is about to be the most powerful boss in the history of going to sea. Usopp glanced back at Kaya by the window, looking at himself worriedly. Okay, I will definitely use my life to protect Kaya. Usopp took out a hook rope from his small bag, and skillfully climbed to the tree trunk with the hook rope, and then stepped on the windowsill of Kaya's house stepping on the tree trunk. This is the first time Usopp has set foot in Kaya's home. This feeling is really beautiful. Then, no matter what happens, he will protect Kaya with his life. At some point, Gretel took out a brand new cigar from his pocket and lit it leisurely. With the first puff of smoke, Gretel also said, Now, it's a pair of four. An arrogance was vividly reflected in his body. Hey hey. Luffy, Zoro, and Nami smiled and came to Gretel's side. The four of them stood side by side, confident and confident. Crow, who was opposite them, had a sneer on his face and said, Four people? So what? It's just to let you live a few more minutes. Crow raised his hand and looked at the time. Now, exactly ten minutes have passed. The ten minutes he gave Zangao. At the same time, the three little kids who were playing on the beach suddenly saw a huge pirate ship driving towards the sea. The flag on the pirate ship is the flag of the black cat pirates. Advertisement. Not only that, but they also saw dozens of pirates holding weapons on the deck. Almost all of them looked like vicious pirates. Oh no, the pirates are coming. Oh no, the pirates are coming. 
The voices of the three little kids shouted all the way from the coast to the center of the village. The people in the village also quickly picked up mops, brooms, rolling pins, and other items, opened the door of the house, and rushed out from the inside. Especially the parents of these children came out with a shovel in hand. At such a young age, I told you not to play with that big talker you saw. You just don't believe it. Now you actually learn to be like him and come to the village to lie. The children in your family should be disciplined. The three children looked at the dozen or so adults who surrounded them in bewilderment, and while they were anxious, they kept explaining. We're telling the truth. The pirates are really here. It's a pirate group with a cat's head painted on its flag, and there are dozens of people on board. No matter how children explain it, adults will not believe it. For so many years, this village has never heard of pirates coming. Faced with Usopp's lies every day, they are no longer in the mood to let the children do it again. Okay, you guys. Advertisement. The blue is better than the blue, right? We've already started making pirate flags and numbers. Worse than Usopp, right? Be sure to hit the butt hard, or you won't improve your memory. Remember, the child is still young, don't hit other places, the buttocks are fleshy, and it won't cause any accidents if you hit them hard, it will only make them remember this painful lesson. These adults besieged the city, slowly pressing the three people in the middle. Seeing that the situation was critical, the three children ran away. Now it's time to go to Captain Usopp. He hasn't shown up for so long, he must be in that place. But, wasn't Captain Usopp eaten by that group of pirates? Each of the three children said a sentence, no doubt the last one was the wisest. Snapped. The two children in front slapped him on the top of the head. Education, they must have lied just now, I saw that they paid the proprietress of the restaurant. This kind of trick to deceive children, only you will believe it. Run quickly, or it will be too late. The three children ignored the adults' ears, but tried their best to break free from their shackles. Finally, after heroically sacrificing two children, a person escaped. We must find Captain Usopp, the hope of our whole village depends on you. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount, recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 32 I have something to say about Kaya gaining weight for slash 7. Advertisement. Just as Crow was in a tense confrontation with the four of them, a child's urgent voice came, It's not good, there are pirates coming. Captain Usopp, they're about to enter the village. Captain Usopp, the pirates are coming. A pirate with a cat's head painted on the flag. The voice of the child kept ringing outside the courtyard wall. The people inside the wall could hear it clearly. At this moment, a smile appeared on the corner of Crow's mouth. You don't think that I am here to listen to your stories because I like to hear them. Crow smiled confidently. I'm just looking for a little fun while waiting for them. After all, it's boring to wait. Oops. Usopp was shocked. He still has a whole crew of pirates. Luffy, Gretel, what shall we do? Usopp anxiously asked. Please, save my village. Oh, it's okay. Gretel didn't care Kaido at all. Then, he looked at Nami on the left, and Luffy and Zoro on the right, and asked tentatively, Everyone, now we are splitting up, how should we allocate the manpower? Luffy, you are the captain, speak up. Zoro said, Oh, Luffy clenched his fists. Since this guy doesn't like pirates so much, let me, a pirate, knock him down. I can deal with him alone, you go to help the villagers, don't let them hurt the people in the village. Luffy, the captain, finally gave an order. Advertisement. In this regard, everyone is also very cooperative. By the way, Usopp, don't you want to stay here too? Don't want to save your own village. Now that Luffy said, leave this person to him, let him come, the rest of you, just go somewhere else. But, Kaya is still here, she. Usopp looked at Kaya, hesitant. You're so smart, don't you know to take Kaya with you? She's weak, so just carry her on your back. Gretel rolled his eyes. If Kaya hadn't been Usopp's official partner, Gretel would have let him like this. But Kaya doesn't have any strength after all, if so, it's just a vase. Oh no, that's right, even if I die, I will still guard Kaya's side. By the way, Usopp finally got the hang of it. Even if he dies, he will protect her by his side. It doesn't mean that he must die by her side to protect her, but that he can take her to die at any time. Chick understands? I said Chick, can't you hear me? Are you deaf? After Usopp re-understands, he no longer hesitates, after all, time is tight. He grabbed Kaya in his arms and jumped onto the tree trunk with her before she could refuse. Relying on the hook, Usopp expertly slid Kaya down the tree trunk. Sliding down is proficient, but holding Kaya is not very proficient. Advertisement. Let's go, or those pirates will attack the village. Usopp also showed the responsibility of a man at this moment, not the timid boy with trembling legs. Kaya, come up quickly. Usopp squatted down and pointed to his back. Kaya is a little shy and a little scared. However, considering the urgency of time, she still chose the upper back. Excuse me, Usopp, I must be heavy, right? I've been eating too much lately, and I've gained weight. After Kaya carefully climbed onto Usopp's back, she said in a guilty tone, Of course, it's not really guilt, but it's important to find a reason for yourself in front of men. Hey, hey, stop the ink, it won't save anyone. Nami urged. She hates this kind of pirate invasion of the village the most. Since she has the opportunity to help, she must help. After all, her village was also invaded by pirates in this way, which caused so many tragedies. Yeah, I also think that you said you were fat. Gretel teased, your legs and your stomach have the most say. As for your big bear, it seems that you don't have any sense of participation. Luffy Nami Zoro Usopp plus Chloe underscore. How could such words of TM come out of your mouth? It made Kaya bury her head on Usopp's back shyly, ashamed to face everyone. The scene was temporarily deadlocked, and no one spoke. Fortunately, Zoro took the lead and slowly walked past Crow, heading for the courtyard gate. At this moment, I finally saw the anger on Crow's face. Advertisement. Damn it, do you treat me like air? If you think about it, you can easily take Kaya away. Kaya hasn't made a will for Crow yet, anyone here can leave, but Kaya can't. But everyone didn't seem to want to talk to him that way, they were an embarrassment. Only Luffy scratched his head, completely unable to understand what Gretel said. Isn't gaining weight the whole body growing together? Hateful. Crow picked up his espada and slammed towards Usopp who was walking second. Go blind. Gretel threw out the smoke bombs that had been prepared in an instant. The distance was well controlled, and while covering Crow, the group of them just happened not to be covered. Go, go. Gretel reminded. Then everyone immediately quickened their pace. When the smoke bomb disappeared, Gretel and his party had already left. Did I let you go? 
Crow's face was very angry, and he was about to chase after him. Luffy hit a rubber punch in an instant, stopping Crow who wanted to intercept him. Your opponent is me. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 33 regarding Zoro's bounty. He has something to say 5 sevenths, asking for monthly tickets for flower evaluation tickets. Advertisement. As Crow was stopped by Luffy, Gretel's group also quickly passed through the village, followed the children's guidance, and headed for the entrance slope. Along the way, Kaya didn't dare to look up at everyone. A spoiled person like her has never had the chance to hear such teasing words. But now she just hopes that everyone can defeat the invading pirates and protect the village of Surab. As for his request, it was nothing more than a ship. Actually, there are too many people for us to go. Gretel said, the captain of the Black Cat Pirates, Zango, has been dealt with, and Chloe will be dealt with by Luffy. Then the only ones who have a bounty are the Catman brothers. The bounty of the two of them together is only 7 million berry. 7 million. Zoro curled his lips. Indeed, although his current bounty is only 6 million, his strength is definitely more than this price. At least it must be. 6.4 million, which is a little better than Gretel. When everyone found that the adults in the village seemed to be gathered around the center of the village, as if they were doing something indescribable, the people in the village also found them. Alas, isn't that Miss Kaya? Why is he on Usopp's back? Hey, Usopp, what tricks are you playing this time? You didn't bring outsiders here to abduct Miss Kaya, did you? The people in the village talked to each other, and Kaya, lying on Usopp's back, was about to explain. Usopp coughed in time, and whispered, Kaya, let us protect this kind of thing, telling them will only make them worry more. Usopp. Kaya murmured softly. It turns out that Usopp has such a responsibility, that thin back made her feel vast at this moment? Advertisement. It's okay, everyone. We just went to the beach to see the scenery. I haven't gone out for a long time. I'm going to trouble Usopp. Kaya's gentle voice immediately dispelled the doubts of the people in the village. At this time, Usopp seemed to see what the people in the village were surrounded by. It's his two younger brothers. The two little devils also saw the appearance of Usopp, as well as those terrifying pirates before. Captain Usopp, I leave everything to you. You must defeat the pirates and protect our village. Captain Usopp, come on. Just after the two children finished speaking, more than a dozen pairs of horrified eyes looked at them again. Little ghost, you still have the energy to tell a lie, don't you? That's right, it seems like I'm still telling a series of lies. Then you also try our serial education. The scary voices of the villagers made the kid who was leading the way outside couldn't help but feel his scalp tingle. Brothers, thank you for your hard work. After defeating the pirates, I will reward you. The little devil who took the lead clenched his fists and quickened his pace. All I could hear was the sound of slapping from behind, and the screams of the two brothers. At the mouth of the coast, the long slope entrance, the black cat pirates led by the cat brothers have landed. Captain Zongjeo was absent, so the temporary command power fell to the cotter present, brother Catman. One is thin, the other is fat, the other is tall and the other is short. They both have cat ears hairstyles on their heads. Advertisement. The eyeshadow also turns into a cat's eye. As expected of the black cat pirates, almost everyone is dressed in the same way, with the characteristics of a cat. Just like the clown buggies pirate group, everyone turns into a clown. Brothers, as long as today is over, we will be developed. Yes, as long as this village is looted, we can live comfortably for a long time. Never hide in that hidden bay again. It's all suffocating, then let's set off, follow the captain's instructions, and flatten Zillowabi village. Come on. The passionate voice made the whole pirate group excited. Brother Maurin rushed to the front, taking the lead to set foot on the 100 meter long slope into the village. Come on. Kill them all and steal them all. The crowd was excited and the speed increased a lot. In 10 seconds, they had reached halfway up the slope. They raised their heads and looked towards the end of the slope, as if they could reach their goal as long as they crossed the slope. So they speeded up. Seconds passed. Just when they thought they could rush off the slope in one fell swoop, an accident happened. In the blink of an eye, a row of figures appeared at the end of the slope. Advertisement. The one with the gun, the one with the knife, the one with the stick, and the one with the slingshot. Do you dare to stop us with a slingshot? It seems that we have come here with such great fanfare, and we have been discovered. Hey hey, so what? Brother, kill them and step over their corpses, the treasure is right in front of you. Rush. There are about 40 or so of this dense group of pirates. Zoro and Gretel glanced at each other, the bet was done in one eye contact. You sob, I'm only doing one show, watch it. Gretel said, as long as you defeat an enemy in this offensive and defensive battle, I can give you a gift. Gift. Usopp was a little surprised, he wasn't like Luffy, and his brain was still normal when he heard the gift. Oh, a present. Hearing this, Zoro seemed to understand something, and he said, My knife was given to me by Gretel, and with it, I defeated a colonel of the marine branch with one move. One trick. Usopp's eyes suddenly became sharp. He actually defeated a colonel marine with one move. Gretel, I want to order your present. The corner of Usopp's mouth twitched, and he said confidently, Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount, recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 34 Eyes staring like Copper Bell 6 slash 7. Advertisement. I don't know when, Usopp experienced Gretel's speech and encouragement, and now he can say such confident words. Then, let's begin. As soon as Gretel's words were spoken, everyone raised their weapons. Usopp directly holds the gunpowder star and the metal star in his hand. This time, he must defeat one. No, three pirates? This is the small goal he set for himself. Nami had no intention of rushing to fight. Although she raised the stick, she came to the rear, staying with Kaya and that little kid. Anyway, they can easily solve them, and she doesn't like to fight them. If there are really powerful enemies, it won't be too late for her to use her unique skills. Hey, Miss Nami, I thought you were going to fight. Kaya said softly. Nami glanced at the battlefield, and said indifferently, I don't want it, the few of them can deal with those pirates. Kaya covered her mouth in surprise and said, are they really that powerful? Nami put away his stick and explained, that's right, before we came here, we just defeated the clown buggy, one of the big three east blue pirates, and that guy has a bounty of 15 million, 10, 5 million. After hearing this, Kaya realized that the people brought by Usopp in front of her were so powerful, Usopp really didn't lie, he has many powerful sea partners. 
Kaya showed a gentle smile on his face. The thin Usopp, in her heart at the moment, seemed extraordinarily strong. Nami couldn't help but rolled his eyes, but he didn't expose Usopp's lie. She's also a little relieved that Gretel has put away her treasure, though. If they hadn't put it away, my treasure would have been taken away by them. Nami saw his two boats that were knocked aside, with a look of joy in his eyes. Advertisement. However, she seemed to react quickly. No, even if they take it, then if we defeat them, the treasure is still mine. Damn Gretel. Hey hey, are there only three men left? Brother, which one shall we kill first? I'm going to kill the guy with the gun. Then I'll kill the one with the knife. The Catman brother sneered and rushed forward with the pirates. At this time, Gretel threw a smoke bomb in an instant, and at the same time, he fired a shot into the sky diagonally. A hail of bullets. The hail of bullets covered a large number of pirates, and while causing damage, it also had a deceleration effect. That group of pirates suddenly fell into a quagmire, struggling to move forward. Seeing that Crow had already made a move, Zoro no longer hesitated, and drew his sword forward. Usopp saw almost. He found that as long as Gretel threw a smoke bomb, those enemies would become blind. Million Metal Star. Two bursts gunpowder star. By Ubiya two shots, Usopp himself became a slingshot comparable to a pistol, and finally played a certain role. The two pirates fell down heavily from the slope after his second consecutive kill. Usopp also looked at Gretel proudly, like a child who has done chores and is waiting for his parents to praise him. Advertisement. However, this glance made him unforgettable forever. Usopp's eyes at the moment, to describe them as staring like brass bells, seemed euphemistic. Because he saw Gretel who was holding a heavy gun, but the gun in his hand has disappeared at this moment. Instead, it is a heavy gun carried on the shoulders. Hey hey. Gretel gave a smirk, and said to Zoro, Zoro, one cotter counts as ten miscellaneous soldiers. Zoro responded, and then casually chopped down a pirate in front of him. Those two, one tall and one short, one fat and one thin, should be the cotters and cat brothers that Gretel talked about. One person is equivalent to ten miscellaneous soldiers, and the two brothers, aren't there twenty? There are only more than forty pirates in total, as long as he kills these two brothers, the victory is not easy. Zoro is serious? One of the Catman brothers also came straight for him? He thinks that Zoro has a good knife in his hand, and he should be able to sell it for a good price? Hey, die, unknown swordsman. The tall, lanky Catman was named Sam, and the fat one was called Butch. Sam didn't forget to taunt as he headed straight for Zoro's door. But he didn't know that this had violated Zoro's taboo? He is a majestic East Blue bounty hunter, and he just got a reward of six million berry? He actually said Zoro was an unknown swordsman? This Zoro can't stand it? The left hand knife attacks from the right, and the right hand knife attacks from the left. At the moment of attacking Sam, the three knives meet to form a asterisk shape. Advertisement. Three swords technique. Ghost. Slash. In an instant, Zoro appeared behind Sam, and then continued to rush towards another fat catman brother, Bruce, ignoring Sam behind him. My favorite thing to hit is a moving target. Gretel exhaled a puff of smoke, and the first shell went out. Boom. The perfect bullet has a penetrating effect on soldiers. No miscellaneous pirate can withstand this terrifying shoulder-resistant heavy artillery. Second shot. The third shot. The last shot. Boom. The fourth cannon with double damage and beheading effect is launched with a bang. Nami and Kaya couldn't help covering their ears when they heard the voice. Fortunately, it is far away, otherwise it will be deaf. When Gretel put away the perfect curtain call and held the magic reform Thompson in his hand again, Usopp didn't even react. He is still in a sluggish state. By this time, the smoke and bullets had dissipated. On the slope, apart from a few pirates trembling with knives, only Boogie the Catman was left fighting with Zoro. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 35 I am not good at fighting, I am the queen to clean the battlefield. 7 slash 7. Advertisement. Of course Zoro noticed such a big movement. He's still thinking about his own calculations. Once the two cotters were chopped down, and then he chopped down the little miscellaneous soldiers casually, he won. However, he didn't expect it. Never seen it either. Gretel not only holds a spray gun in his hand, but also has a mine in his pocket. He is still carrying a gun barrel on his shoulder? Damn it. Zoro looked at Vendo's formerly more than 40 miscellaneous soldiers, but now there are only a few sporadic ones left? It's impossible for him to win? I don't have time to spend with you. Zoro immediately bounced Boog the Catman away. Buledinji, who was originally attacking fiercely, saw that Sam was killed in seconds, and his brothers were almost wiped out, so he immediately lost the idea of fighting. Run. Only running is the only way to survive? But it is obviously impossible for Zoro to give him this chance. Zoro stretched out his two knives behind his back, pointing the tip of the knives at the ground, and slashed at Buji through his head. Tiger Hunter. Shua. Zoro appeared behind Buge almost in the same way. For some unknown reason, Zoro, who used his unique moves almost every time he was injured, seemed to want to show his strength. This hateful desire to win? No more than five miscellaneous soldiers were completely terrified when they saw Boogie the Cat fell under Zoro's knife. Their legs trembled, dropped the weapons in their hands, and ran down without looking back. Advertisement. Even if you fell down, you tried your best to support your body. Going back, only the boundless sea can be his retreat. Even if there are several ships in the port, they dare not take them. They don't think they can steer the boat away in front of these people. Usopp finally came back to his senses. He looked at the battle that had ended, and then at the few remnants of soldiers pouring into the sea with trembling legs, as if he saw his cowardly self. But fortunately, I am no longer who I used to be. At least when facing pirates, he has the courage to declare war. But Usopp turned around, looked at the gun in Gretel's hand, and immediately ran to his side. Hey, hey, Gretel, where did you hide that big, oversized gun barrel? The barrels are longer than Gretel's height, how could he hide all at once? Usopp suddenly turned into a curious baby, rummaging under Gretel's windbreaker for the heavy cannon that shocked him. After watching the lively Nami, seeing that the battle is over, don't hesitate anymore. Shua. Nami blew past Gretel and Zoro like a gust of wind, and after a minute, she turned the pirates' pockets cleaner than their faces, and headed towards the black cat pirate's ship. 
She is not good at fighting and killing, but she is the king of cleaning supplies. Zoro put away his knife, came to Gretel's side, and gave him a middle finger. This wave, he was careless. Didn't expect Gretel to have such a weapon? Gretel patted Zoro comfortingly and said, Zoro, I told you, times have changed. Remember to add a drink. After Gretel finished speaking, he turned and walked slowly towards the village. I don't know how Luffy's fight is going. Inside Kaya's villa, several bloodstains appeared on Luffy's hands. That was scratched by Crow's Espada. Fortunately, the wound is not deep. Advertisement. Luffy looked at Crow's claw knife, thinking about countermeasures in his mind. There are too many knives. For a person like him who doesn't use weapons and only relies on fists, it is really troublesome. Next moment, Crow strikes at Luffy again. With the Espada in his hand, he shot without hesitation. The person who is worried now is not Luffy, but Crow. When he fights against Zoro, he can feel his strength. Brother Catman, he shouldn't be his opponent. Besides, the man with the gun is no ordinary person. As for the woman with the stick, he wasn't worried. Swipe. Crow silently appeared beside Luffy again. Luffy immediately dodged behind him. After dodging several times, Crow cornered Luffy. Luffy has no way out. Crow sneered, and the next move was to kill him. Facing the sharp claw knife in Crow's hand, Luffy can only dodge. But there is no way out for this position. Rubber. The moment Chloe Espada cut it down, Luffy's rubber hand stretched out, grabbed the branch above Kaya's window and rose into the air. Crow's claw knife flashed away, and cut through the outer wall of the villa in an instant. How? You will only dodge blindly, but you dare to say that you want to defeat me. Crow is in a hurry and can't play hide and seek with Luffy. His rubber body is too flexible to grasp. Then the only way to do it is to use the aggressive method. When Luffy heard this, of course he was not happy. Advertisement. He released his grip on the branch and returned to the ground. At this moment, Crow also took the opportunity to grab Luffy with two horizontal claws. Luffy put his legs on the ground and jumped backwards. Bang dang. With a sound, the glass of the window broke through and came into the room, and one of Crow's horizontal claws caught the air again, and the wall was cut by him like tofu. Luffy also took the opportunity to kick a rubber leg against the wall. The wall that had been attacked several times by the claw knife was easily kicked away by Luffy at this moment. The outer wall of the room he was in shattered. It's now. Crow follows, rushing towards Luffy. Luffy extended his arms and grabbed a chunk of the crumbling wall. Just when Crow's claw knife grabbed Luffy's head, a large wall appeared in front of Luffy. Ka. Crow's claw knife pierced the wall, leaving only a centimeter away from Luffy's head. Next, it's time for Luffy to exert his strength. He used his hands violently, and Crow only felt a sense of crisis. But now it's too late. Bang. The claw knife in Crow's hand was broken horizontally by Luffy relying on the wall. Rubber whip leg. Taking advantage of the moment when Crow was stunned, Luffy's whip kicked out. This kick hit Crow hard in the chest, causing him to fly backwards and hit the tree. Ahem. The blood in Crow's mouth surged, and a trace of blood flowed from the corner of his mouth. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 36 The Golden Melee, monthly ticket plus one. Advertisement. The corner of Crow's mouth was bleeding, but he laughed instead. He he he, he he he. A mere nameless pirate actually broke my plan. Go to hell. Crow's glasses reflected a harsh light. He stood up and said two words coldly, Spoon. Luffy looked suspicious. Spoon? The cooking spoon? Do you want to cook? Although they were fighting, Luffy got excited when he mentioned related things, but Crow ignored him, but lowered his head, his hands fell naturally in front of him, and the claw knife on one hand had been broken. His body was shaking slowly, just when Luffy felt strange, Crow's body suddenly disappeared. Huh. Dissipated like a gust of autumn wind, but Luffy seems to have noticed something unusual. Swish. Suddenly, Luffy's arm was slashed severely. He immediately cheered up. Is it a trick? Luffy looked around vigilantly and said in a deep voice. At this moment, Gretel, who had ended the coastal battle, came back here again. The moment he stepped into the yard, goosebumps rose up on his skin. The ground was devastated, and even the walls of the villa were smashed. But Gretel only saw Luffy, not Crow. At this moment, a strong sense of crisis appeared. Gretel drew his gun instantly and left his original position. Advertisement. Swish. Sure enough, a deep scratch appeared on the ground. In the next second, that thick tree was cut off in an instant. Huge trees fell on Kaya's house. Did it start his trick, Spoon? Bray got it. It seems that his battle with Luffy has reached a fever pitch. But since he attacked him, prepare to face the mixed doubles of the gunner and the fighter. Luffy, be careful, he is very fast and will attack everything around him indiscriminately. Gretel reminded. Yeah, I got it. Luffy held his breath, his eyes were extremely serious, trying to catch Crow's body. The next moment, Luffy suddenly jumped up. With a flash of knife light, Luffy avoided Crow's indiscriminate attack. Luffy should be safe for now, the pressure is on Gretel. Since it is an indiscriminate attack, let you taste a good thing. Gretel put a row of clips under his feet in an instant. A yordle trap with the ability to almost force confinement. A total of five. No way no money. The ultimate bomb. Gretel raised his head and shot a dead end to pick up the ultimate bomb. His body was pushed back a lot by the recoil of the ultimate bomb. Both skills are indiscriminate range attacks. A hail of bullets. Gretel also added a skill. Sure enough, at this instant, Crow's black civet-like figure appeared for a moment. Advertisement. It is the subtracted number. Pfft. A trace of blood spilled out of thin air on the ground. Looks like he was hit. What surprised Gretel even more was that Crow's body was suddenly frozen and revealed. Yodel trap. He's caught. He stepped on such an obvious cliff on the ground. When Luffy saw Crow, a pair of rubber hands immediately grabbed him. Then Luffy's whole body was pulled onto Chloe's body. He he he, I got you. Rubber rubber. Head hammer. Luffy's limbs were all used to restrain Crow, making it impossible for him to break free and move. But it also made Luffy unable to make a move, leaving only the head to attack. In an instant, Luffy's head was stretched tens of meters long. The head hammer bounced back and hit Crow hard. That feeling gave Gretel a headache. With the sound of Duan, Crow immediately passed out. Only then did Luffy loosen the limbs that bound Crow. Crow's body fell heavily to the ground. So far, the Black Cat Pirates have been wiped out. The people who arrived late only saw the messy yard and Crow who was unconscious on the ground. Kaya couldn't bear to look at Crow, but she turned her head away. He was just a pirate who lied to her for three years for her family property, not the housekeeper who cared for her. Are you okay, Kaya? Usopp asked with concern. 
Advertisement. No, I'm fine. Kaya replied firmly. The time came one day later. Mom, why didn't that big lying brother come today? A little girl asked cutely. Her mother smiled. He will come. Could it be because you scolded me too hard yesterday? The little girl's father asked doubtfully. Oh, I always feel that I can't cheer up. Usopp didn't show up. In fact, everyone still likes Usopp. On the coast, Meili stood on the beach, waiting quietly. After a while, several figures appeared. In addition to the straw hats and his party, there is also his eldest lady Kaya. Miss, according to your instructions, the special boat for the benefactors has been prepared. Meili said respectfully. It's a light sailing boat with a stern and center rudder method using a jib. It's called, Going Merry. Meili was about to explain to everyone, but Nami immediately stopped her and said, Okay, I know everything about the boat. Thank you, Kaya. Send us a boat. Luffy thanked. It's okay, didn't you guys save me? Besides, Clavattle, no, the bounty of Crow and his pirate team is more than 30 million berry. After all, we still took advantage. Kaya looks really good looking when she smiles, cute, well behaved, light and soft. Okay, since that's the case, let's go. There are more adventures waiting for us. Luffy said. Several people stepped onto the boat one after another, and Nami carried a sack of treasures collected from the Black Cat Pirates on his shoulders. Unfortunately, the Black Cat Pirates are too poor to be compared with Buggy. In response, Nami gave Gretel another vicious look. Gretel apparently didn't care, though. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 37 A Sharpshooter Whose Development Suddenly Accelerated? Add one update to the evaluation vote, and the nine update is completed today. Advertisement. Chapter 37 The Shooter Whose Development Suddenly Accelerated? While everyone was chatting and laughing, suddenly there was an exclamation in the distance. Then, only to see a huge package rolling down the slope. Usopp's voice came and everyone was startled. It turned out that the package he was carrying was too huge. Yamato was round and round like a big leather ball. The slope had been through a battle, and the ground was a bit uneven, which caused Usopp to step into the air. His person and package are combined into a hole, which can't be heard at all. Help, save, save, save me. Usopp called for help. But those who are capable are on board, and those who are not capable have already stepped aside. A slightly larger rock appeared on the slope, and Usopp couldn't control himself and slammed into it. Huh. His whole body, including the package, flew up directly. Coincidentally, the flying Usopp just landed on the deck. Gretel and Luffy put out a foot at the same time, resisting Usopp, and forming a ball with the package, which prevented him from bouncing into the sea. Thank, thank you. Usopp's face was stepped on by two big feet, and he also tried his best to express his thanks. Please let me join you. Advertisement. Usopp, who came back to his senses, put down the package and begged several people. He 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 Luffy grinned. Zoro spread his hands and said, Haven't you become a brave sea warrior? I approve of you. Of course Nami doesn't care. Gretel said, Didn't you defeat two enemies back then? As I said, as long as you defeat an enemy, I will prepare a gift for you, but this gift is only eligible to receive if you become my partner. A happy smile suddenly appeared on Usopp's face, and he grinned loudly. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. The people in the boat all laughed happily. After a while, Usopp came to the side of the ship, looked at Kaya on the shore, and said seriously, Kaya, I will definitely become the bravest sea warrior. When we meet next time, I will tell you all my stories. Kaya smiled and raised her arms, as if hugging Usopp in the air. Well, then I'll wait here for your return. Kaya was gentle, but in that touch of tenderness, there seemed to be a little sentimentality. A lot of materials needed for daily voyages have been prepared for everyone on the ship. I hope you can realize your dreams as soon as possible. As the anchor was stowed, Kaya waved goodbye to the crowd. The ship became smaller and smaller in Kaya's sight until it disappeared. At this time, Meili said, Miss Kaya, actually you don't want him to leave, do you? Mary, I already had a hunch, let him fulfill his dream. Kaya Kaido, he is really a warm person. I heard in the town that Usopp's father went to sea when he was young, and his mother died of illness not long after. Later, I heard about the same experience of the eldest lady. He was afraid that you would bear that feeling alone, so he started to make you laugh nonstop, right? Advertisement. Meili's words made the corners of Kaya's eyes moist in an instant. It turns out that Usopp is so warm and brave. Kaya raised her head, trying to keep the tears from flowing from her moist eyes. Then I want to be a strong person too. On the boat, everyone who got the new boat started to celebrate immediately. Cheers to our first ship. Cheers. With a group of five people, the pirate group has begun to take shape. Ding triggered the partner bond mission Kaya's promise. Completion conditions, the next meeting between Usopp and Kaya. Mission rewards, partners get items or skills that are no less than legendary. Gretel, who was drinking, choked instantly. Damn, Lousy is dead. As soon as he boarded the boat, he already had three skill items ready for him. What a joke. It made Gretel lose the mood to drink. Okay, okay, let's pause for a while. Gretel waved his hands. Zoro seemed to feel something, drank the wine in the glass in one gulp, and then stopped. The others also stopped one by one. I said before, as long as he becomes our partner, I will give him a gift. Advertisement. Since Usopp is here, there will naturally be gifts. When they heard the gift, everyone showed anticipation in their eyes. Gift, gift, gift. Luffy yelled the happiest. He had already tasted the sweetness of Gretel's gift. Although the crow has only used it once by plane, the feeling has completely conquered him. Seeing that everyone stopped, Gretel opened the system panel in his mind, and clicked on the newly added partner Usopp template. In Usopp's skill item column, there are two, and one. Represents two things that can be obtained directly, and fetter tasks. Looking at the question mark and the completion reward, Gretel wanted to sail back and meet Kaya again. I don't know if this is feasible. Forget it, don't do these things. Gretel honestly chooses the lottery. There are two chances to draw, and it's all counted as a lucky draw. That's almost legendary stuff. Ding congratulations to host for drawing a mythical item for his partner, the power of the wind. Ding congratulations to host for obtaining a legendary skill for his partner, magic crystal arrow. Dragon boat festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. 
Advertisement. Chapter 38 Usopp's job change marksman one seventh thanks to Luohua for the reward. Advertisement. The power of the wind, myth, bow increases attack power by 40%, attack speed by 20%, and attacks have a 20% chance of causing critical damage. Mythical active effect, dash in one direction for a distance of no more than 300 meters, once a day, and fire three magic tracking arrows, automatically track the enemy, causing high damage. Magic crystal arrow, legendary actively launch a magic crystal arrow, the crystal arrow cannot be selected and is not blocked by minions, causing damage to the hit enemy and compulsorily stunning it for 1-3 seconds, depending on the flying distance of the magic crystal arrow, the shortest flight distance causes a forced dizziness for 1 second. Looking at this skill introduction, Gretel went crazy? Is there such a thing to play? Are the skill sets and items matched? Fire magic crystal arrows with the force of the wind? Gretel is sour. This skill group is getting more and more powerful, and of course the enemy is also getting more and more powerful. Gretel knows that soon, the enemies he encounters will not be instantly killed by his shotgun, and even the shotgun will lose its effect. Without the blessing of a strong skill set, he will not be able to impress. Cough cough cough. Gretel coughed twice, expressing his dissatisfaction. Forget it, it's okay to raise a Sagittarius and let the Sagittarius get fat. He could only comfort himself like this. Gretel stretched her hands behind her, as usual. Advertisement. The power of the gale appeared in his hands. Without the slightest hesitation, he handed it directly to Usopp. Usopp, from now on, you're a real pirate? Stop using your kids' play tricks. Gretel said, snapping the wind force into Usopp's hand. He didn't want to see that thing for a moment? Sad. Usopp heard Gretel's words, but retorted, My slingshot, how could it be a child's play weapon? My metal stars are comparable to bullets. Bullets. Thompson appeared in Gretel's hand. He pointed at Usopp with the muzzle of the swarthy gun, do you think it can compare to this bullet? Or is it comparable to the bullets I carry on my shoulder? Facing Gretel's words, Usopp was speechless. Indeed, the slingshot in his hand is like a child's toy compared to those of Gretel's. All right, I won't force you either. As Gretel said, he took out a reward order from his pocket and slapped it on the ground. Whenever you exceed my bounty, you can use your slingshot back. What was placed on the ground was the reward order for Lighter himself. 6.3 million berry. Usopp glanced at it. That's amazing, Gretel, I already have a bounty of 6.3 million, and Zoro also has a bounty of 6 million. Luffy said enviously, as the captain, I don't even have a bounty at all. Damn it. Luffy clenched his fists. Usopp knows that Gretel's real strength is definitely more than this, that is to say, his bounty will definitely increase in the near future. Advertisement. If he was still using a slingshot, how could he surpass him? He is a man with a heavy cannon on his shoulders? But after thinking about it, if I used the bow in my hand and the bounty really surpassed Gretel, then I would definitely not be able to use the slingshot again. It seems to be an opportunity to choose, but there is only one way. Usopp, don't rush to refuse, try Gretel's gift first before making a decision. Luffy supported his head, looking at the bow with its own special effects. Although Luffy is not interested in weapons at all, he likes to watch others use them. Okay, I'll give it a try. The moment Usopp picked up the power of the wind, the imprint of the two skills seems to be deeply engraved in Usopp's mind. The power of the wind. Magic crystal arrow. Usopp picked up the bow and pulled the string out of thin air, and the bow actually gathered itself into a giant blue and white arrow. Usopp looked into the distance, there was a rocky mountain, and he shot towards it without hesitation. Wheel. For a moment, Usopp only felt that his strength and speed had increased a lot. The arrow shot out and flew in the air for a few seconds. With a boom, it hit the rocky mountain. The huge explosion sound, like the power of a cannonball, surprised everyone. Is this the magic crystal arrow? Let me try the power of the gale again. Advertisement. A trick of how to use it came to Usopp's mind automatically. In just an instant, Usopp moved from the deck of the ship to the bow of the ship like a gust of wind. This terrifying speed is comparable to the speed of Crow when launching the spoon. Suddenly, three magic arrows shot out from the force of the wind, turned a corner in the air, and shot out towards the sea below. In just a moment, the blood of the flowers came out of the sea. A large shark with a length of five meters floated up from the bottom of the sea. One blow, actually killed such a big shark. Usopp exaggeratedly looked at the power of the wind in his hand, the shock on his face did not dissipate for a long time. This, is this what you said, the gift you gave me? It's so powerful that ordinary people can't resist it at all. Usopp's words are a bit unsightly. He has decided. Use this powerful weapon to outrun Gretel and move on to his slingshot. Good, so amazing. Luffy also came to the bow, looking at the huge shark under the boat, with longing saliva from the corner of his mouth. I really want to eat shark fin. But we don't have a chef here, what should we do? Luffy drooped, he was unhappy. Cook, I want to cook. Luffy yelled. Chef, it is said that the sea restaurant Barty seems to have a very good chef. Many rich people and marine officers and soldiers like to eat there. Nami's voice suddenly appeared. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 39 The Pirate Group is officially established. Super rewards? Two sevenths thanks to the NUN Power Boss for the monthly pass. Advertisement. Usopp accepts the power of the wind. From now on, he will change from a slingshot to an archer, but it's all the same. A bow and arrow is a bow, but a slingshot is not a bow. Gretel looked at Usopp's partner template. He didn't expect that Usopp was the fastest. The progress bar for his job change is almost halfway through, and his job title is called, Marksman. Fighter, Swordsman, Gunner, Elemental Mage, Marksman. So far, it's not bad, but I don't know when to give me a powerful skill, otherwise I won't be able to impress people soon. Once the enemy puts on thick armor, such as Krieg's alloy armor, and his shield-wielding iron wall barra. For another example, like Arlong, bullets have little effect on them. After a while, Nami suddenly came out of the cabin holding Luffy's hat. She hands Luffy the hat. Luffy, your hat, I've sewed it on for you. Luffy took the hat in surprise, and looked it up, down, left, and right. Sure enough, it's the same as before. 
Luffy hugged Nami and said, Nami, thank you, this is very important to me. Nami was stunned for a moment, she didn't know where to put her hands. You can see that Luffy is very happy. Advertisement. After hesitating for a while, Nami slowly put the embarrassingly raised hand on Luffy's shoulder. It's okay, Luffy, aren't we partners? Nami hesitated, but said it anyway. Yes, we are partners in a pirate group. After a while, Luffy let go of Nami, beat his head with his hands and said, Since we are already pirate partners on a ship, we must have a flag, right? Yes, a pirate flag, but the soul of our team. The pirate flag, of course I have to draw it. I propose that since the captain is Luffy, we should be called the Straw Hat Pirates. Nami said, then draw a straw hat on our pirate flag. Usopp echoed. I agree. Luffy was the first to raise his hand. Zoro and Gretel spread their hands and said there was no problem. In that case, let me draw it. I have been a graffiti artist for 50 years. I can draw any exquisite pattern. Usopp proudly said. It's amazing. I've been a graffiti artist for 50 years. Luffy actually believed it, and starlight appeared in his eyes. Hey Nami sighed, then you must have several sons. Maybe, the grandson can go to make soy sauce. Zoro added. Cough 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 Gretel coughed twice, and then said sharply, a liar must swallow a thousand needles. Usopp looked at Luffy, who was a fan of his behavior, and there were three evil eyes left. He couldn't help but waved his hands and admitted, I, I was joking. No one of you really believes it. He 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 Usopp forced a smile. In a short while, a beautiful and concise flag of the Straw Hat Pirates has been drawn. Usopp still has a hand, and the paintings are quite good. Advertisement. Then, Usopp, I'm counting on you on the sale. Luffy patted Usopp on the shoulder and said, No problem, leave it to me. The industrious Usopp quickly hung the flag on the highest point of the mast, and painted a large flag of the Straw Hat Pirates on the sail. So far, the Straw Hat Pirates are officially established. Initial members, 5. Ding congratulations to host, the pirate group is officially established. Get a special reward? Please draw the host. I wipe. Gretel was surprised. There is such a benefit, why didn't you say it earlier? Lottery. Ding congratulations to host for getting the legendary weapon, enchanted version Black Cleaver. Black Cleaver, 45% damage bonus, triple stamina bonus? Passive effect, when dealing damage to the target, it will cut the target and reduce its defense by 5%, up to 30%, gain a 20% movement speed bonus when dealing damage to an enemy with a reduction effect applied. Enchanting, can be enchanted on any form of weapon. Buffalo Gretel couldn't hide the joy in his heart and the smile on his face no matter what. This is too that? When sleepiness comes, I will give you a pillow and a soft bed. You know, the Black Cutter itself is the weapon of Nuashao, and it is very powerful, meat and output, it can also enchant him. The multiple bullets of the shotgun can cause multiple cutting effects. Advertisement. Basically, a shotgun bullet can be stacked with the effect of defense reduction, triple the stamina bonus, it's scary, Gretel's own strength is not weak either. After all, he is a pure man, and this kind of bonus has made him completely surpass the level of ordinary people, made up for Gretel's weakest shortcoming, enchanting. For a moment, Gretel only felt as if he had turned on the super scene mode, the bonus of triple physical strength is much more than his own strength. There seems to be no place to use Gretel's strength. He said directly to Zoro, Zoro, wrestling is coming. A drink. Wrestling. Zoro opened one eye and looked at Gretel. Don't be too complacent, Gretel. My strength and yours are not on the same level at all. What? Aren't you coming? Gretel said aggressively. Although Zoro has the confidence to win, he always feels that something is wrong. Gretel, Zoro, hurry up, wrestle, wrestle. Luffy on the side hurriedly fanned the flames. Zoro, who had been fighting with Gretel, got up straight away and took off the knife at his waist. Come on, will I be afraid of you? Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 40 Nami's Surprise Attack, 3-7. Advertisement. As a gunner, Gretel's body is very fragile, and his physical strength is not very strong. Otherwise, he would have let people like Crow, Zango, and the Catman brothers block the holes. I don't have strong physical fitness, so I am afraid of accidents. His shotgun bullets are dodgeable and have a short range. If he had this level of physical strength before, he would have punched people in the face with a shotgun. Now his stamina is four times that of before. Stamina value, including the thickness of the blood bar, durability, strength, speed, etc. In short, it is an all-round value. Zoro put down his knife rarely, and came to the middle of the deck. Gretel also took off his windbreaker rarely, and threw away the cigar in his mouth. The distance between the two is two meters, and the wrestling battle is about to start. Zoro, come on, beat Gretel. Luffy yelled. A gunner, dare to wrestle with a swordsman? Come on, Gretel. Usopp, as the shooter, of course has to support the gunner Gretel. Nami clasped her arms around her chest, with a smile on her face. Lively atmosphere, cheerful games, and partners with dreams? All of these touched the softness deep in Nami's heart. Partner. What a luxury word for her. Zoro stepped forward with a big stride, his body half arched, his eyes slightly contemptuous. Gretel also has a good look, the current faces of the two are only less than 30 centimeters apart. Drink. Advertisement. Gretel slammed his hands hard and pushed towards Zoro. Zoro also stretched out his hands and was in a stalemate with Gretel. Yo, I didn't expect you to have this level of strength. Zoro said in surprise. But so what? The strength of Zoro's body exploded instantly. Drink. Go Zoro. Come on, Gretel. The intense atmosphere makes everyone's emotions extremely excited. Ten minutes later, Gretel finally couldn't hold on anymore and was pushed to the ground by Zoro. Huh. Leo Z1. A smug smile instantly appeared on Zoro's face. After finally winning against Gretel once, he looked condescendingly at Gretel who fell on the ground, his mouth was about to crookedly laugh. Owe me a drink. Zoro said mercilessly. Gretel took a few breaths and took a while before Kaido said, Don't you still owe me three meals? Take it from there. No. Zoro immediately stretched out his hand to express his displeasure. I owe you what I owe you, and what you owe me is what you owe me. How can it be deducted? Anyway, Zoro didn't care, he finally won once, and Gretel ordered this drink? Do you have the money to hire me? Gretel asked suddenly. I. Zoro choked immediately. It's like he really doesn't have the money for Gretel. Strictly speaking, he didn't have a penny in his pocket at all. Advertisement. 
However, this did not prevent him from being stubborn. I slaughtered you, won't I be rich if I take your head to receive the reward? Don't forget I'm a bounty hunter, bastard. Zoro walked aside and picked up his knife, pointed at Gretel and said, I will buy you a drink at your grave then. Gretel came to the spirit instantly. Lying on the ground, he kicked his feet and jumped up. Wow. Gretel pulled off his windbreaker, spun around in the air, put it on his body, and then took out the magic modified Thompson. Who is afraid of whom? Two people, the tip of the needle is against the wheat, neither of them is willing to give in. At this time, Nami came over. Hey, hey, you two, have you had enough fun? Gretel suddenly heard an emergency notification from the system. Danger host partner Nami comprehends the exclusive skill, and the damage to the partner is increased by 100 times. Please host yourself. Doin, doin. Burst chestnut appeared on the heads of two people, and a puff of smoke floated from the big bag on their heads. After some hilarity, everyone lay on the deck. They chatted freely about their ideals in life. Luffy, I must enter the Grand Line and become One Piece. Zoro, as the crew of One Piece, at least you have to be the world's number one swordsman to be worthy. Gretel, although I don't have a clear goal, I will never allow anyone to be more arrogant than me. Nami, I want to be the most powerful navigator and draw a chart of the whole world. Usopp, I'm going to be the bravest sea warrior. Hey, Nami, this is the first time I've heard you talk about your dreams. Luffy put his hands behind his head. Advertisement. I don't seem to have heard you mention it. Zoro also responded in a rare way. In this case, let's go and fulfill our dreams together. Luffy said. Of course. Everyone echoed, but they didn't hear Nami's answer. Hey, Nami, what about you? Luffy said. Nami. Seeing that Nami didn't answer for a long time, Luffy asked again. But Nami still didn't respond. When Luffy got up to see what was going on with Nami, he saw that Nami's eyes had turned red. Two pools of tears swirled in his eyes, but because he was lying flat, he couldn't flow out. Nami, what's wrong with you? Luffy asked a little worried. No, it's nothing, I'm just sleepy and want to sleep, I haven't had a good night's sleep for a long time. Nami raised his arm to wipe away the tears from his eyes, then got up and walked towards the cabin. At this time, Gretel also noticed. He followed Nami all the way to the door of Nami's room. Gretel reached out her hands and took out two bags of treasure. One bag was from Alvida and the Regal Merchant Ship, and the other bag was looted from Buggy the Clown. Nami, this is for you. Jalei put both bags of treasure in Nami's room when Nami opened the door. Nami turned her head and saw the two bags of treasure, her eyes turned red again. Remember, we are already partners. If you have any difficulties, we will help you solve them. Even if the opponent is invincible, we have to face it together. After Gretel finished speaking, she turned and left. He knew that right now Nami needed to be alone. But just as he took two steps, his body froze suddenly. Thank you, Gretel. Within a few seconds, Nami let go of Gretel's hands from behind, went back to the room, and slowly closed the door. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 41 Go to the restaurant on the sea and find the irascible chef? 4 slash 7. Advertisement. It was afternoon. A few people were playing around on the boat, and their laughter was interrupted by a yell. Pirate? Pick up your weapons and prepare to die. Usopp reacted instantly, and the power of the wind appeared in his hand. He wasn't completely joking these days. According to the size of the force of the wind, many types of bows and arrows were specially created. The enemy, has it appeared. Usopp had goosebumps all over his body? He became the first enemy after being a real pirate? Either marine, bounty hunter, or another pirate group. Then let me see, who is the brave man who dared to climb onto our boat? Usopp suddenly regained his spirits? Boom. On the deck, a man wearing sunglasses kicked over the wooden barrel next to him and shouted, Who the hell, come and die first. You nameless gang of thieves. Um, nameless. Little pirates. Zoro and Luffy turned their heads at the same time, staring at him fiercely with death eyes. This person also has a tattoo on his face, but it is not a pattern, but a sea character. That's right, it is the famous pirate hunter Johnny. Watching the people on the deck turn around, the anger that Johnny was about to vent was subsided in an instant, because he saw a person. Advertisement. Brother Zoro. Zoro. Luffy asked, tilting his head. Johnny. Zoro was also quite surprised. He didn't expect to see his former little brother Johnny here. What about Joseph? Zoro asked. As a road idiot, he met these two when he was a pirate hunter. The strength is average, but fortunately, he has the brain of a normal person. Several cooperations have also earned a lot of rewards together. As soon as he heard about Joseph, Johnny burst into tears. Woo brother Zoro, Joseph is dying, please save him. As Johnny spoke, he came to the side of the boat, where a rope was tied. Looking down the rope, it is a small boat. On the boat lay a man with a haggard face and no blood. This is Johnny's partner, Zoro's former younger brother, Joseph. Since he was Zoro's former younger brother, he must be saved. Everyone worked together to pull Joseph up and let him lie flat on the deck. Then Johnny cried, Johnny was alive and kicking a few days ago, but today he suddenly became like this, his teeth fell out, his eyes and nose were bleeding, and he couldn't speak. At first, I wanted to take him to a small rock to recuperate, but who knew that something flew over and exploded? Joseph, who was already sick, became even weaker. I followed the ship that launched that kind of thing all the way, I didn't expect you, brother Zoro, to be on this too. After Johnny finished speaking, Usopp suddenly showed an exaggerated expression, advertisement. He didn't expect that behind the seemingly empty rock, there was really someone, Zoro's former younger brother. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Usopp kept apologizing, and the deck became lively. The loud noise woke up Nami who was sleeping in the room. Nami ran to the deck angrily, and scolded as soon as he came up, can you let people rest? Haven't you had enough trouble at noon? I'm so mad, I finally slept so soundly. The feeling of not having to worry about Arlong, and not having to go out to sea alone, made Nami feel as if he had returned to Belmere and guarded him when he was a child, and made him sleep extraordinarily sweet. Hey, what's the matter with this person? Nami cursed, saw an ashen-faced person standing in front of him, and asked. Um, he's my partner, we two used to be bounty hunters together with brother Zoro Johnny explained. Hurry up and find a way to save him. Nami gave them a blank look and said, it looks like sepsis. Septicemia. It is a disease of nutritional deficiency caused by long-term voyages at sea and not eating fresh fruits and vegetables. Just add a little more fruit and it will be fine. Don't you know this kind of common sense at sea? I really don't know how you survived at sea. Fruit, fruit, fruit. 
Usopp yelled, and quickly ran to the cabin and took out a big bag of lemons. Luffy also came to help, and the two frantically squeezed lemonade into Joseph's mouth. Hurry up and eat, you will feel better after eating. Gretel. Advertisement. Why do I have a feeling that if I don't have a serious illness, I can't integrate into the group? Forget it. I absolutely, it's time for us to find a nutritionally balanced chef who can make us eat. Johnny, as a bounty hunter, you must know the information at sea. Gretel said, of course I know. Johnny said confidently, wait. Johnny froze suddenly, you are not. Johnny quickly took out the guy who was eating on him, that is, East Blue's reward order. Line up the bounties for almost all the pirates in East Blue in order from most to least. The outlaw lunatic with a bounty of 6.3 million, Gretel. And brother Zoro, who is also offering a reward of 6 million berry. Zoro heard the reward order, and said impatiently, I know, I know, we are all partners on the same ship. He hated it when people brought up the bounty and had to bring up Gretel. The bounty of only 300,000 yuan made him extremely distressed. Since I'm Zoro's brother's partner, I'll be blunt. In fact, not far from here, there is a sea restaurant Barty. It is said that the chef there cooks delicious food and has a bad temper, no different from pirates. If you need it, I can take you there. Grumpy, good cook. I like it. Zoro said, cook, cook. Luffy echoed, Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount, recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 42 Iron Fist Hope. 5 slash 7. Advertisement. Under the driving of Johnny, Going Mary arrived at the area where the sea restaurant Barty was located after only two days. At the same time, a huge warship also appeared in the area of the sea restaurant Barty. The warship is obviously much bigger than Going Mary. The sudden appearance of the warship made everyone in the straw hats a little nervous. The two ships walked side by side, slowly driving around Barty. The ship that Barty was on looked rather strange. The bow of the boat looks like the head of a fish, and the hull of the boat is the belly of the fish. It is said that whenever there is a fight between chefs and pirates, two huge fin platforms will be raised on the fish boat to provide a place for fighting, so as not to destroy the restaurant. Seeing two boats coming, Ballady Restaurant thoughtfully dispatched two small boats to pick up the guests. But the originally peaceful atmosphere was immediately shattered, the destination has been reached, and a person slowly walked out of the Marine warship. East Blue Marine Headquarters Lieutenant Iron Fist Hobadi. It's Iron Fist Hobadi. At such a young age, I have become a lieutenant of the East Blue Headquarters, and my future is limitless. As soon as he came out, people around him started bragging. And he also enjoyed this feeling very much. Lieutenant, who can own a warship, is still so young, it is not a position that anyone can achieve. Hobadi has an iron knuckle on his right hand. This is also the origin of his Iron Fist name. Advertisement. Hope's left arm is holding a woman in a red double shoulder v-neck dress, and he is talking and laughing with this woman like a gentleman at the moment. During the speech, the woman who made fun from time to time covered her mouth and laughed straight away, showing all kinds of amorous feelings. That woman is really beautiful. I'm afraid only young and promising people like Hopperty are worthy of her. Everyone sighed, and Hobadai also took the opportunity to praise. Hobadai inadvertently saw the nameless pirate ship beside him, and said with disdain on his face, Does this little nameless pirate dare to come here? You know, I was ordered to hunt down the leader of Krieg, who is known as the strongest pirate fleet in East Blue. I believe he will be captured by me soon. Hopperty took the woman's hand and slowly boarded the boat. And at this moment, he saw two people on the boat, Pirate Hunter Zoro, Outlaw Lunatic Gretel, Hobadai's pupils constricted. He knew that these two people almost destroyed Branch 153. Even the Colonel of the Branch there was defeated by them. Colonel of the Branch, come to the East Blue Headquarters, at least the position of Major, or Lieutenant Colonel. He is much more powerful than Lieutenant. In addition, he learned that the Colonel of the 153 Branch was promoted to the Colonel of the Branch when he captured the Black Cat Crow with a reward of 16 million by himself. This time, Hobadai stood on his head. He said that he wanted to hunt down Krieg, the strongest pirate fleet in East Blue, but he knew very well in his heart that that person had run out of ammunition and food, and he was powerless to resist. He just took advantage of it, huh? Zoro glanced at Hopperty, seeming annoyed at him pronouncing his name. It's okay. Although they are powerful, a small boat of that level can't compare with a warship at all. Advertisement. Sink it. Hobadai gave the order, continued to hold the woman's hand, and stepped into the Valady restaurant. A smug look appeared on his face. Fighting on land, he might not be the match for these two, but at sea, the first thing to fight is the ability of the ship. If the heads of these two men are added to that of Krieg, I will be promoted to a major in East Blue headquarters in no time, and even have a chance to enter naval headquarters, Marine Ford. He is already fantasizing about his days of prosperity, the pride on his face couldn't be hidden at all. Coupled with the compliments from the diners around, at this moment, he has become the supreme king, gracefully invited the woman to take a seat, and then began to wait for his meal. The broth that was ordered long in advance is said to have to be boiled for three full days, this time, he must take this woman down. After Hopperty left, his subordinates obeyed his order and fired directly at Going Mary, boom. The gunfire sounded without hesitation, and a shell came straight to Going Mary. It's really annoying, you will meet such arrogant people everywhere. Gretel made an instant shot, the ultimate explosive bomb, when launched into the air, it hit the shell hard. Advertisement. One normal cannonball and one a blaster fired by Gretel. Boom. The violent roar from midair caused the ship to shake uncontrollably. The artillery shell was intercepted, but Gretel's explosive shell, after the collision, continued to burst into the rear fan-shaped area with great power. Ultimate explosive bomb, launch an explosive bomb that will cause heavy damage after reaching the maximum distance or colliding with the target, and cause 80% damage to the fan-shaped area behind you? Obviously, the second damage of the ultimate bomb ruthlessly shot on the huge warship, Rao is made of the material of a warship, and under the attack power of Gretel after being enchanted, a large area was also destroyed. The deck seemed to have been bombed. Several marines were turned into blood. Flash. Blurred? It is. Zoro glanced at Gretel. Gretel has used this kind of explosive bomb before, but the power is far less powerful. It seems that you are getting stronger too. Damn bastard. Zoro muttered secretly. Wow. Joseph and Johnny couldn't help exclaiming, and they jumped up and hugged each other. Is this the strength of the pirate who has a higher bounty than brother Zoro? Horrible. Joseph, I think we should stop being pirates. Johnny, I mean that too. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? 
Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 43 Luffy who can be artificially angry 6 slash 7. Advertisement. Brettle shot in time, but caused damage to the warship itself. This time, the officer on the opposite side was furious. I thought it would be a shot. Unexpectedly, they dare to resist. This is unbearable. All the cannons are ready. Fire at that poor little pirate ship. On the warship, a commander with the rank of ensign commanded. And following his command, all the eight gate guns on one side of the warship were aimed in the direction, and going Mary was bound to be sunk. Usopp can't stand this scene. Luffy couldn't stand it even more? You didn't cause trouble yourself, didn't expect things to trouble us by yourself? A gun? No, it's a cannon. Gretel set up his shoulder-mounted heavy artillery in an instant. Usopp also pulled out his own bow. Nami held up his own skill-marked hand. Zoro drew his own knife. Only Luffy has no weapons, but his fist is his weapon. Everyone, get ready for the first battle. Oh. The passionate voice indicated that everyone was not afraid of this warship, and was even very excited. First shot. Gretel fired the shell in an instant. Second shot. Advertisement. The third shot. The fourth shot. He fired four powerful shells, aiming at the gun barrel of the warship. Bang, 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 bang. Four terrifying explosions woke up the commanding ensign on the ship. Report, report ensign. Four of our forts were blown up by the opponent, and now there are only four forts left in this direction. A marine reports. Got it. Ensign's face was cold. He guessed it from the shaking of the warship just now. The four turrets will also sink them. If it doesn't work, then we will fight on board. Yes. Marine received the order and immediately went to fire the shells. Gretel's four shells didn't just destroy the fort. From their direction, they could already see the light coming from the other side of the warship. In other words, a warship of such excellent quality has been blasted through four holes. Usopp was not idle either. He drew his bow and shot arrows at the other barrel. Million Sticky Star. Kill Explosive Star. Two arrows were shot out, and they hit the other two barrels steadily. Sticky Star released a lot of sticky stuff in an instant, blocking the barrel. The explosion star exploded when it just touched the gun barrel. Two forts were destroyed again. But in Marine's eyes, it's just a building being blown up. Emission. Boom. Suddenly, the gun barrel blocked by Sticky Star exploded. Advertisement. The violent explosion directly killed the Marine operating in the rear. The remaining two forts finally fired shells smoothly. Zoro. Luffy. Understood. The two responded at the same time. Luffy took a deep breath, and his stomach instantly swelled up. The fired cannonball landed on his belly, without exploding at all, it bounced to the sea area beside it, and caused a violent explosion when it fell into the water. One knife and one life together. The cannonball coming towards Zoro was instantly cut in half by him, and at the same time, he also slightly changed the direction of the cannonball. The severed cannonball split in two and landed in the sea behind Going Mary. Seeing this, Ensign, the Marine headquarters standing on the deck, gritted his teeth and said, Change the course, change the main gun. Yes. The main gun of the warship, in the direction of the bow, has a huge gun barrel that cannot be compared with ordinary shells. As if guessing their purpose, Gretel directly said loudly, Luffy, they must sink us like this, don't you care? Of course we can't let them do that. Luffy said. Then you use that trick to overturn their warship, and I will go to the water to rescue you when the time comes, Gretel said. What, what? Luffy was surprised, but I don't have that much strength. How could Luffy hold such a huge warship? But Gretel insisted, it's okay, believe in your skills, believe in yourself. The skill of Luffy's move was originally at the legendary level, and it has a special effect, that is, it can ignore the target's size and weight. It is already a regular skill. Really? Luffy said. Since Gretel said so, I'll give it a try. Luffy rolled up his sleeves, eager to try. Damn Marine, trying to sink my ship. This is the ship we just owned. Advertisement. Luffy's size suddenly became angry. It can be seen that this is artificial anger. Quick, that ship is going to attack us from a distance. Usopp said, noticing the movement on the other side. He also wants to see and see, Luffy's skills. He already knew about Gretel giving everyone presents. Zoro's is a double-edged knife, and both Nami and Luffy are a powerful skill. Okay, then I'll overturn them. Luffy said angrily. I sent you. Zoro picked up the worst nameless knife in his hand and laid it in the air. Seeing this, Luffy jumped up and stood on the knife. Then, Zoro swung the Luffy knife hard, giving Luffy a huge initial speed. Luffy instantly ejected into the air, less than five meters away from the opposite warship. Rubber pistol. Luffy stretched out his hand and grabbed onto the warship at once. Lord Ensign, someone wants to come over. A soldier said. Let him come, he won't think ours will be afraid of him. Ensign looked at the two people on the opposite boat and said. One is Zoro, a six million bounty hunter, and the other is a 6.3 million outlaw. Ensign already knew their strength just now, as long as the two of them don't come over, it's not a big problem. The skinny boy they sent here is just an ordinary person with a growing belly? No. Ensign frowned instantly and said, even the hands can grow longer. However, at this time, it was too late for them. Crow. By plane. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 44 Luffy shows his power. Hobadai was scared and paralyzed 7 sevenths thanks to Holy Light Dance for the reward. Advertisement. Luffy unleashes his legendary skills. With the power of rules attached, he, who had no strength to hold the warship, gained a strange strength bonus. It was still that thin arm, but with the burst of strength, it suddenly hugged the warship. The crow, take the plane. The huge power directly hugs the entire huge warship. Not only that, but it went into the air. It soared up to a distance of 34 meters from the sea. The marines on the warship didn't know what happened. They just felt the warship was abnormally bumpy. The sea level is getting farther and farther in their eyes. Just the wave of the warship being picked up made going Mary tremble. For a moment, everyone present was stunned. This. A warship. Mom, a warship was picked up and flew in the air. All the people from Balladie Restaurant rushed out at once. My god, what a power that is. Is this the power that humans can achieve? Did I get poisoned from eating in this restaurant and have hallucinations? The people who were serving Hobadi the Iron Fist hurried out of the restaurant. Hobadi glanced at the woman opposite, and a strong sense of crisis emerged. Well, why don't we go out and see what happened? Well, let's go and have a look. Advertisement. Holding the woman's hand, Hobadai squeezed through the crowd and came outside the restaurant. 
At this time, the warship has risen to its peak. Then, what are you? Hope's expression looked like he had seen a ghost. Looking at the warship in the sky, he felt familiar. Then, isn't that my warship? Hobadai saw the thin figure grabbing the warship. With a plop, he knelt heavily on the ground. How is it possible? How is it possible for such a monster to appear? A warship was picked up by him. Hobadai became more and more excited as he spoke, and at some point, his mouth was already full of snot. Everyone, pirates, marine, guests, chefs, the scene they saw has been deeply engraved in their minds. I'm afraid this scene will be something they will never forget for the rest of their lives. Not only them, but even Zoro, Nami, Usopp, and others on going merry, their eyes are going to pop out. Lu, Luffy. Usopp screamed in horror. Gilizoro swallowed deeply, he had never seen Luffy exerting his full strength. Crack. Suddenly, Nami slumped on the ground, with her hands on the ground, and thousands of thoughts ran through her mind. As the warship has climbed to the top, the huge force on Luffy made him turn the whole warship over. The people and supplies on the warship fell like raindrops in the sea below. Finally, Luffy's aura climbed to the top. He exhausted all his strength, hugged the warship and smashed it down from the sky. Damn marines. To destroy my going merry. Unforgivable. Advertisement. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Luffy's roar resounded throughout the sea. Boom. The huge warship, with its deck facing down, hit the sea hard. The terrifying huge waves hit, and Nami, who was slumped on the deck, woke up instantly. Quick, control the boat, don't let the huge waves capsize. Nami quickly directed everyone, and controlled the rudder by himself in the wild. Open the fins, or the boat will capsize. Open the fins. The people at Valady Restaurant reacted and quickly came to the operating room, opened the double-sided fish fins in the sea to increase the area of the hull and prevent the ship from tipping over. Countless terrified cries sounded, and all the diners hid inside the restaurant one after another. Hobity Lieutenant, let's go in and hide, or we will be thrown into the sea by the waves. The woman shouted, holding Hobity's hand. But at this moment Hopperty was deaf in both ears. He didn't feel his hand being pulled at all, and he didn't hear the woman he was chasing so hard to persuade him. It's over, it's over, the warship is gone. Without a warship, Creed cannot be hunted. Hopardy is a lieutenant, why does he have the command of a warship, and it's not for him to hunt down the down and out Admiral Krieg. But he used the official boat for private use, and took advantage of the spare time to bring women here for dinner. If East Blue's headquarters finds out about this, he will definitely be punished. But these things are nothing in front of a warship. This kind of huge warship costs at least 30 million berry. How could he make up for the shortfall? It's over, it's over. Advertisement. Hopardy said to himself, there is only one possibility to save the warship. That is to let that man turn the warship over again. Don't even think about it, you know it's impossible? Sanji, go and see if there are any guests outside, we have to ensure the safety of the guests. Redfoot Jeep came out and directed. If the fins are opened and everyone enters the restaurant, they should be able to withstand such a huge wave. Sanji ran outside after receiving Jeep's words. Sure enough, there were two more. Beautiful, beauty. In an instant, Sanji turned into an affectionate licking dog, and came in front of a mature woman. A beautiful young lady, in this critical moment, I am willing to block the monstrous waves for you alone, so that you will not be disturbed by a drop of sea water. I don't know where Sanji took out a bright rose, which gave off bursts of fragrance. But at this time, who is still in the mood to listen to love? Can you help me get him inside? The woman said. Huh. Sanji tilted his head, only to realize that the woman was holding the man's hand. I absolutely cannot tolerate the slightest bit of grievance for the beautiful young lady. Sanji grabbed the woman's hand holding the man's hand, and said kindly, Beautiful lady, this place is too dangerous, let me take you in for refuge. But him the woman hesitated. Oh, leave it to me. Sanji said to the man coldly. Then he raised one foot, poof. The man rolled into the restaurant, and Sanji elegantly entered the restaurant with the woman on his arm. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 45 The Curly Haired Chef's Gift Flower Edition 3. Advertisement. The huge warship turned upside down directly, stirring up huge waves. The keel at the bottom of the boat appeared, and Luffy, who had exhausted his skills, collapsed on the bottom of the boat. His limbs were weak, like a puddle of mud. The ability to forcibly use the rules does consume a lot of energy. Even Luffy doesn't have the strength to stand up now. Under this level of waves, going merry is like a flat boat, which is in danger of tipping over at any time. Fortunately, Nami's sailing skills are excellent, and he is able to stabilize his figure. As for the sea restaurant Barty, after they opened the fins, the huge fins allowed Barty to escape. Even though the two ships did not capsize, the seawater that was smashed up by the warship still washed the ship like a huge waterfall. Both ships were filled with residual seawater. Nami, Luffy may be exhausted, I want to pick him up. Gretel reminded. Consume? Of course Nami remembered. Forcibly launching a skill consumes physical strength. Last time Nami passed out after using it once. So in the follow-up, she didn't use it in a few battles. Even now that she can control it precisely so as not to exhaust her physical strength, she still has lingering fears. Okay, I'll drive the boat there right away. Nami responded. Speed up and head directly towards the upturned warship. Along the way, those marines who were injured or submerged in the sea asked them for help, but everyone chose to turn a blind eye. Advertisement. What? Just wanted to sink us, and now want us to save you? What do you think? We are pirates, pirates who are incompatible with marine? Nami soon drove going merry to the side of the upturned warship. Everyone also clearly saw Luffy's state at the moment. His face was haggard, and the flesh on his face was a little sunken. This is obviously a state of excessive physical exertion of Luffy. Very hungry. Meat. I want to eat meat. Luffy murmured. Zoro quickly jumped from going merry to the bottom of the warship, picked up Luffy and returned to the ship. Meat. I want to eat meat. Luffy said weakly. Nami, steer the boat to Barty, and Luffy will recover after a meal of meat, Gretel said. Hmm. Nami quickly steered the going merry to the fins at Barty restaurant. Then, a group of people disembarked, Zoro hugged Luffy, and stepped into the restaurant. At this moment, the interior of the restaurant is already in chaos. Tables, chairs, and tableware were all overturned. Fortunately, the huge waves came and went quickly, and everyone felt relieved when they saw that the boat was fine. Advertisement. Zoro bears the brunt of the daylight. The shadow of him holding Luffy appeared in the restaurant, and everyone inside was shocked. 
Those who came in from behind were Nami, Gretel, Usopp, Johnny, and Joseph respectively. As soon as he saw a guest, he didn't even ask about the situation. The villainous chef Sandy ran up and asked kindly, Welcome, please come with me, sir. The poor don't come in, I charge you 10,000 berry and no change. But facing the eager Sandy, the group ignored him. All of Nami's money is in the room. Apart from Gretel, there are 2 million berry left in the system backpack, and the group has no money on them. But Gretel doesn't plan to take the money out. His goal is Sanji, not Sandy. Seeing that the group of people didn't come up with any money, Sandy's expression changed instantly. No money, right. If you don't have money, get the hell out of here. Meat, I want meat. Luffy's weak voice came again. Looking at the changed Luffy, Sanji probably knew it, and he turned and left. After a while, Sanji came out with a big pot of cooked meat. Johnny Joseph was very perceptive and saw that there was not a single standing table in the entire restaurant. The two of them quickly found a table and placed it in the middle of the restaurant, and arranged a few chairs. Under the horrified eyes of the people in the restaurant, Sanji put the meat on the middle table indifferently. When Luffy saw the meat coming, he immediately opened his huge mouth and swallowed the meat in one gulp. Delicious. Luffy said with golden eyes, that. Luffy has a relatively large appetite, and he may have to eat a hundred people's food to be full. One hundred servings. Sanji took a deep puff of cigarette, raised his eyebrows and said, I see. Advertisement. After speaking, he turned and went to the kitchen. Sandy stopped him and yelled at him, these people don't even have money, why give them food? Sanji ignored Sandy and chose to ignore it. Sandy grabbed Sanji's collar angrily, and raised his fist in the air, didn't you see that these vicious pirates overturned all the warships? Sandy asked, just let them starve to death. Sanji pushed Sandy's hand away, and said in a low voice, if I'm not mistaken, the warship wanted to sink their ship first, right? They just fought back. Don't forget our original intention. Sanji said, Sandy, let him go. Zap said suddenly, it's my original intention to start this restaurant to provide food to the hungry for free. Zap said with his arms folded on his chest. Zap's words resounded throughout the dining room, making Sandy bow his head. Soon, Sanji brought a hundred servings of meat again. Luffy was so windy that he ate up the meat in less than ten minutes. He got down from the stool with difficulty, I'm full. His huge belly was shaking. Not caring about other people's eyes, Luffy did some push UPS, running, stretching and other exercises casually. By the time everyone reacted, he had completely returned to his normal form. The meat is so delicious, I've recovered. Luffy said with a big grin. Thank you, curly chef, the meat you cook is delicious, come and be my chef on my boat. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount, recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 46 The Identity of the Two-Level Reversal. Advertisement. I don't want to be a pirate. Sanji directly rejected Luffy. Although a little helpless, Luffy is not the kind of person who gets discouraged after being rejected once. See the rubber on Luffy's face? Yes, that is pure rubber, not cheeky. Why, I'm the future One Piece. Luffy puzzled. One Piece. Zap became interested. He hasn't seen such a straightforward and arrogant person for a long time. Boy, report your name. Jeep said. Luffy straightened up and said without hesitation, I am Luffy, the man who will become One Piece. Luffy stepped forward, clenched his fists and said, That expression doesn't look like he's joking, a man who can lift a warship with his bare hands, are you kidding me? Okay, I appreciate your arrogance. Jeep pointed to Luffy and said, Sanji, you go with him, I don't need you here anymore. Sanji on the side was heard by Chayo, and said angrily, Are you kidding, old man, Laozi is the sous chef of this restaurant, this restaurant cannot do without me. Jeep turned his head and said with a look of disgust, I am the head chef of this restaurant, I am indispensable. Advertisement. You're fired, Sandy, you're going to be the sous chef. Jeep's words were so shocking that Sandy himself couldn't react in time. But Sanji himself is not so easy to talk about. He doesn't care so much. The sea calmed down, and the diners in the restaurant also left one after another. A man who dares to fight a warship is here, and he is still a pirate, so it is difficult for them to stay here. When the diners were almost gone, a person hiding in the corner appeared in everyone's sight. This person is the lieutenant of the marine headquarters who was so arrogant just now, Iron Fist Hobodai, but at this time, Hobodai was as embarrassed as he could be. There was a lot of dust on a suit, and there was a bright shoe print. Hopperty tried to cover his face with his hands, trying not to be seen by those in the middle of the restaurant. But unfortunately, there were no people in the restaurant after this incident. Even the women who were invited by Hobody left alone. For this reason, Sanji was sad for a long time and crushed the fragrant red rose. In this weird restaurant, apart from the chef, there are only Straw Hat crew, and the lieutenant of the marine headquarters, Iron Fist Hopperty. Hey, I thought where did our lieutenant go, so it's hidden here. Gretel walked over slowly, and at some point, a gun appeared in his hand. Advertisement. Hobadai backed away in horror, kicking his legs on the ground nonstop. But unfortunately, he is already in the corner, and there is no way to retreat. No no, don't kill me, don't kill me. Hobadai kept begging for mercy, where is that gentlemanly demeanor? We are pirates. Gretel exhaled smoke and said, shouldn't pirates be chased by marine? How could they dare to kill Marine? Although Gretel said so, the black muzzle of his gun didn't seem to express that. Of course he wouldn't kill Hobity, he wasn't a threat in the first place, it was just a pawn. He also wants to rely on Hope to increase the bounty of the Straw Hats. In case when he went to Kokoyasi village, he met the even more annoying Colonel Mouse and couldn't help but slaughter him, then who would raise the bounty for them? Hopardy looked at the muzzle of the gun and didn't believe Gretel's words at all. He knelt on the ground and begged Gretel for mercy, please, don't kill me, don't kill me, I can do whatever you want. Gretel patted Hobadi's face lightly, and then threw out a few pieces of paper. This is a portrait he asked Usopp to paint specially, the purpose is to make Marine make them a little more arrogant when they release the bounty list. Especially the portrait of Gretel, which turned into a gangster godfather. The previous bounty for the original skin made him look like he had no money to buy clothes. Advertisement. 
I give you a task to make the bounty portrait of our straw hat pirates look like this. Otherwise, Gretel paused and said, bring the black news about your private use of the public ship to the newspapers. I think those newspapers like the news about the young marine headquarters lieutenant, and your boss also likes it. Hotbody immediately thought of the consequences of this time. If he went back like this, he could let the straw hats take the blame. As long as they didn't expose him, it would have little effect on his future. Once he is disobedient, those newspapers will really spread their scandals all over the sky. Good, good, good. I will definitely get things done. Habody nodded like a woodpecker. Go away Gretel got up, went back to the table and sat down. Why do you want to give him my portrait? I don't want to be offered a reward. Nami said with a look of displeasure. Well then, Gretel, you've finally done something that pleases me. Zoro laughed. You know, the photo of his previous reward order was the one taken by Baromevo when he was trapped on the school grounds of the 153 branch, and he was already very upset. This time, the portraits drawn by Usopp are carefully selected by everyone. Just as everyone was discussing at the table how good and beautiful their future bounties would be, an unexpected visitor suddenly appeared at the door of the restaurant. Bring Laozi something to eat, anything, as long as it fills his stomach. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount, recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 47 Curly Haired Chef, I'm Deciding, 1 slash 7. Advertisement. Ajin came to the restaurant with a pistol in hand, randomly found a table that had been cleared and sat down. He stretched his legs on the table very arrogantly, waiting impatiently for the food to arrive. At this time, Sandy saw that the guests had finally arrived, and regardless of where they came from, he stepped forward and asked earnestly, Master, welcome to RC Restaurant Barty. What do you need? Sandy was beside Ajin, bent over, rubbing his hands constantly, making a full gesture. At this time, Ajin said impatiently, listen up, I'll just repeat it. No matter what it is, as long as it can fill your stomach, serve it to me. Ajin pointed a gun at Sandy and threatened him. But Sandy doesn't like that at all. When Luffy Zoro and others wanted to make a move, Gretel stopped him. Don't worry, it's fine, Gretel said. Sure enough, as soon as Gretel finished speaking, the flattering Sandy ran away in an instant. You don't have money, do you? You don't have money and you want to come here for free. He put his hands together for a moment, and his forearm was thicker than his arm, like Popeye, and he slammed down on Ajin's head. Boom. With a loud bang, not only Ajin, but even his seat was smashed. It doesn't matter who you are, as long as you have no money, Sandy will beat you. Form the diametrically opposite attitude with Sanji. Ajin had been starving for a long time, and his body had no strength at all. Sandy's heavy hammer made him spit out a big mouthful of blood. Advertisement. Then, Sandy grabbed Ajin's hand with one hand, dragged him out of the restaurant, and threw him on the fish fin. Seeing this, everyone in the straw hat finally realized what it means to be a chef like a pirate. Hey, Sandy, this person is Admiral of East Blue, the captain of Krieg, will your behavior attract their revenge? It is called the strongest pirate fleet in East Blue, with 5,000 men and 50 large ships. If it comes to take revenge on us, we can only be trampled to death like an ant. The persuasion of the chef on the side did not move Shinde. He retorted, a person who is about to starve to death, let's talk about it first if he has a life to live. Even if Krieg comes for revenge, then I'll take care of it. Sandy walked towards the kitchen without looking back. And Sanji, who witnessed all this, also walked towards the kitchen. Hey, is this the captain of the Creed Pirates, known as the strongest pirate fleet in East Blue? Usopp asked in a low voice, why doesn't it look alike to me? Ajin's body is very thin, and he doesn't look very strong at all. And what he was holding was a gun. Ordinary strong people basically don't know how to use guns. Except, of course, Gretel and his dad. Usopp looked at Ajin outside, a little bit unbearable. Luffy also wanted to persuade. But as soon as their idea was put forward, Nami sternly rejected it. No, do you know what kind of person Krieg is? Nami said angrily. In the beginning, he killed a marine officer by lurking, captured his ship to form a pirate group, and later often hung the marine flag on the ship to gain the trust of the town, and then plundered wantonly. He is the most notorious pirate. Insidious, cunning, despicable, and shameless. Nami got angry while talking. Advertisement. Seeing what Nami said, everyone was relieved. This kind of person is really nothing to be pitted about. But at this moment, Sanji came out of the kitchen with a bowl of delicious egg fried rice and a glass of water, walked through the dining room, and came to the fish fin. Everyone was curious and followed. As expected, Sanji brought the rice in front of Ajin. Sanji leaned against the fence and lit a cigarette. The smoke coming out of his mouth, like his eyebrows, is curled. When everyone thought Ajin would pick up fried rice with eggs without hesitation, Ajin refused. Take it away, I won't eat it. Although he was so hungry that he had no strength, he still insisted on speaking. Stop talking nonsense, eat quickly. I'm not your guest, take it away. Ajin refused again. Sanji looked up at the sky, and let out a puff of smoke. He spoke earnestly and said with emotion, in this cruel sea, I understand the feeling of having no food and water better than you, I am different from them. Here, anyone who is hungry is my guest. Whether he is a pirate, marine, or my enemy. If you want to starve to death, I won't say anything, but if you eat it, won't you be able to see the sun tomorrow? Gilo. Ajin's stomach growled in disbelief. What Sanji said made Ajin extremely moved. He got up quickly, picked up the fried rice with eggs, and ate it in big mouthfuls. Although there was only one plate, it was enough to keep him from starving to death. Advertisement. Under Ajin's wind and clouds, the fried rice was finished in just two minutes. He picked up the water glass on the side and poured it into his mouth. It didn't stop until the last drop of water also fell into his mouth. Great, finally someone gave you something to eat. What a good cook. Hey, chef, come to my pirate group and be our chef. Luffy appeared by Sanji's side at some point. He was invited again. No, I refuse. Sanji still had the same attitude. But Luffy said, I also refuse. What are you refusing? I reject you reject me. Luffy is very serious, but Sanji doesn't have that kind of thought at all. He wants to help the old man guard his most precious thing, the sea restaurant Barty. I'm really sorry, Mr. Sanji, I had a meal that I didn't pay for. Ajin bowed his head. It's okay. Sanji waved his hand. But this will get you punished. Compared with the food brought out from the kitchen, you didn't get any money. Ajin said, food. 
Sanji asked back, then picked up the plate and water glass, and threw them into the sea without hesitation. Who saw me coming out of the kitchen with food? Mr. Sanji. There was a trace of tears in Ajin's eyes. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount? Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 48 Don't underestimate the hand speed of foodie Luffy 2 slash 7. Advertisement. Three days later. Facing Luffy's hard work and Jeep's external assistance, Sanji survived the sea. Say no is no. Going Mary stayed here for three full days. Everyone's patience is a bit worn out. Hey, Gretel, why don't you think of a way to tie that curly cook aboard? Zoro said openly. Of the people here, only Gretel's gangster vibe is the best for this kind of thing. If it doesn't work, let's persuade Luffy to change the chef. Usopp suggested. But facing his words, Gretel said, Don't worry, I'm waiting for an opportunity. Opportunity. Everyone wondered. It should be coming soon, don't worry, if the opportunity doesn't come in two days, I will help you tie that cook here. With his words, everyone is at ease. The words to Lei Tee have always been faithful to their promises. Of course, they are referring to their partners, as for outsiders, it doesn't matter. At noon, Nami took out 10,000 berry from the room and took everyone to the restaurant for dinner. She has a lot of money, but the province still has to save. The attachment to money has been deeply engraved into her bone marrow. A group of people were feasting there, Luffy just followed Sanji, and kept teasing him. Yo, advertisement. Nami-san, you finally came today. Sanji did not know where to take out another white rose, handed it in front of Nami, and said deeply, Nami-san I love you, just like this pure white rose, without any impurities, it's so sweet. Huh. Luffy said in surprise, sweet. Swipe. A hand that had been single for 17 years took away the extremely sweet white rose at an extremely fast speed. Then, with a covert movement, he sent it to his mouth. Where is, my rose? Where is my pure love? Suddenly, Sanji exploded instantly. With the speed of his hands as a chef for so many years, he couldn't figure out who stole the symbol of his love right under his nose. He didn't realize it until he saw Luffy's slightly squirming mouth. You spit it out to Laozi. Sanji kicked it so hard that Luffy flew straight out and hit the dining table next door. Pfft. Luffy didn't feel it at all, and spat out the white rose that he had chewed and said, It's not delicious at all, it's not sweet at all. Sanji. Next time I take a rose, I will never remove the thorns from it. Ah ha ha ha. Hey hey hey. He he he. The members of the Straw Hats literally burst out laughing. The scene was once very sand sculpture. Advertisement. I beg you, please give me something to eat. A majestic but weak voice appeared. Everyone stopped their chopsticks and looked towards Barty's door. There, Ajin, who had gone back and forth, appeared with the support of a tall figure. When everyone saw his face, they immediately exclaimed, K. Krieg. The strongest pirate fleet governor in East Blue, Krieg. The bounty is as high as 17 million berry. Known as the overlord of the East Blue. Quick, run. The restaurant suddenly became chaotic. Although some people like to come here to watch pirates fighting with chefs when they have nothing to do, but those are just little pirates. No one is in the right mind to watch East Blue Overlords fight. But with another voice of please give the admiral some food, he is really starving to death, the restaurant fell silent. He, is he going to starve to death? Ha ha ha, I thought it was so powerful, but it turned out to be someone who was about to starve to death. These people are like this, when they are strong, they are afraid, and when you are down, they will not hesitate to hit you when you are down. Sorry, Mr. Sanji, I have caused you trouble, thank you for saving my life, but our admiral is really about to starve to death, please give me some more food. Ajin let go of Krieg and knelt down facing Sanji in the middle of the hall. I see. Sanji took a puff of cigarette, turned and walked towards the kitchen. Regardless of Sandy's obstruction, because of Ajin's reappearance, Sandy also came to him and sneered at him, saying, What? After eating for free, do you want to eat again? Ajin didn't speak, after all, he wanted something from them. Advertisement. Not long after, Sanji came out of the kitchen again with a bowl of rice and water. Although the people next to him kept persuading him not to give him food, he is a person who repays kindness with revenge. But Sanji didn't listen, and still put the rice in front of him. Mr. Sanji, thank you. Aiken said gratefully. Crick didn't speak, but began to feast on it. In just ten seconds, Krieg ate up that big plate of food. However, in the next second, Krieg slammed down the plate in his hand, and then hit Sanji in the chest with a blow that no one expected. That huge force directly sent Sanji flying out, crashing into a dining table next to him. Everyone knows that Krieg will definitely avenge his kindness, but they never expected that it would come so soon. They just gave him a free meal and he broke Sanji's ribs with his backhand. Sanji. Luffy yelled, and hurried to Sanji's side to check his injuries. Everyone in the Straw Hats also stood up, staring at Krieg. Sanji is our default chef. It's unforgivable to dare to do something to our partners. Even Zoro put his hand on the hilt of the knife, and tapped the hilt with his thumb, causing the knife to unsheath slightly, reflecting a ray of white light. After seeing this scene, the rogue duo of Barty in the sea restaurant, Sandy, and Carl, also immediately took out the treasured weapons from their secret treasure house. Ordinary means can't deal with someone like Krieg. He directly took out the strongest weapon, Big Lobster Cannon, Dragon Boat Festival reading Big Discount, Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 49 Krieg Behavior 3 7. Advertisement. After eating, Krieg, who had recovered to a full state, looked around and said, This boat is not bad, it belongs to me. Also, prepare food for 100 people, or I will kill everyone on this ship. Krieg's rough voice echoed in the hall. In his opinion, he didn't kill them all and snatch the ship, but gave him a chance to escape, which is already a kindness to them, Mr. Krieg. Ajin said with a questioning tone, when I said I would bring you here, you didn't promise so, huh? Krieg glanced at Ajin from the corner of his sharp eyes and said, are you questioning me? Krieg held Ajin's arm with one hand and exerted a little force, and there was a sound from Ajin's arm, as if a bone was breaking. Krieg let go, and Ajin fell to the ground. He covered his arm, looked at Sanji with regret and said, Mr. Sanji, I'm sorry. Sanji didn't say much, but stood up with difficulty. Food for a hundred people, right? Sanji asked. Everyone didn't expect that at this time, Sanji still wanted to save those hungry people. Huh, Krieg, right, let you taste our ultimate weapon. Sandy carried the big lobster cannon on his shoulders, facing Krieg, and chose to launch without hesitation. Boom, there was a loud bang, and the whole restaurant shook. 
Those people in the restaurant let out screams. Rao is a diner who is used to seeing pirates fighting with chefs, but he has never seen this kind of fight with cannons in the restaurant. Advertisement. Only the chef here can be so tough. A puff of smoke appeared, surrounding Krieg's location. Gretel looked at the smoke and sighed. The law of animation, as long as there is invisible thick smoke, there will be no good results. Sure enough, the smoke cleared, and Krieg was still standing there. A golden armor appeared on his body, except for the head, the rest of the body was covered by this golden armor. This. Sandy held up the big lobster cannon, cold sweat dripping off his face. It's too exaggerated? That's a cannonball? After being accurately hit by the shell, it was unscathed. Is this the overlord of the East Blue, Admiral Krieg? Zoro asked. East Blue overlord, that's outrageous. Usopp's voice trembled intermittently in fits of fear. But fortunately, the legs didn't shake, which can be regarded as progress. The third level shooter appeared in front of the full level fighter father. Is there anyone who is not afraid? Don't worry, the good show seems to be staged soon. The moment Gretel finished speaking this sentence, there was a more violent vibration than before. That feeling is comparable to the huge waves three days ago. In this moment of effort, all the tables and chairs in the restaurant were turned over on the ground. The sudden situation made everyone have to run out to see. Boat. The boat is split. Advertisement. With an exclamation, the reason for the huge waves was revealed. A light boat slowly approached, and at the prow of the single person boat, a faint green candle, like a will o' the wisp, was lit. The person sitting on it is wearing a top hat, and there seems to be a huge cross on his back. It was he who split Krieg's main ship. Everyone came outside the restaurant one after another, on the fins. The ship that was split was called the Delita no Saburo. It's a huge ship. Even if yesterday's warship is in front of him, it is the kind of existence that can be directly smashed into it. But such a huge ship was cut open. The degree of shock was no less than, or even better than, what Luffy did three days ago. Hey, Straw Hat, can you hold this kind of boat? Sandy asked. No, Luffy replied bluntly. Things that even a Straw Hat boy couldn't do, were easily done by that man. Um, come to the Zoro on the fins, suddenly all shrink back. Is this the person I'm looking for? The world's greatest swordsman, Dracul my hawk. Zoro's voice became harsh. This is his goal, the world's top powerhouse who can easily cut through super giant ships. Zoro, don't be impulsive. Gretel put a hand on Zoro's shoulder. He could feel that Zoro's whole state and breathing had changed. Ding the host partner triggers a key plot, the affirmation of the world's number one swordsman. Advertisement. Complete the mission to reward the promise of the host unlock the seal of the blade of the ruined king, mythical level. Gretel looked troubled. Are you really going to let Zoro go up and get chopped? To be honest, he is quite reluctant, after all, he is a partner who has experienced together for so long. However, mythical weapons are close at hand. Zoro, have you really thought about it? Gretel asked seriously. Well, he is my target, I can't escape, if I escape now, wouldn't even Usopp look down on me. Zoro's will is strong. Gretel didn't stop him anymore, because this was indeed Zoro's turning point. Since then, Zoro has never lost against the swordsman? Okay, go ahead. Gretel held the blade of the ruined king with one hand and said, Now I'm going to tell you a technique that has a chance of hurting him, you have to listen carefully. Zoro turned his head somewhat unexpectedly, and nodded seriously. The top powerhouses in the world, they all use an ability that can predict the opponent's attack, called, Observation Hacky, and an ability that can make their bodies harder than steel, called, Armament Hacky. What you are facing is a man who has cultivated two-color hacky to the peak. When he faces you, he probably won't turn on his armed color, but just based on his knowledge and knowledge, he is enough to block all your attacks in advance. Therefore, what you need to do is to play cards out of common sense, so that he cannot predict your attack, such as drunk people and sleepwalkers. Their actions will not be predicted by this ability. Second, if you hit Hawkeye with the blade of the ruined king, he will be injured, and you will be healed. This is what you said, the ability of the demon sword, Gretel said, and took out the wine that had been prepared in advance from the system backpack. Zoro, if you fail today, it doesn't mean you will always fail. He is the one standing on the top of the mountain, and you are the one who is constantly climbing. Sooner or later you will reach the top of the mountain. Go. Gretel put the liquor into Zoro's hand. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement. Chapter 50 The Decisive Battle with Hawkeye Four Sevenths. Advertisement. It is a helpless move to let Zoro go knowing that he will lose. Gretel couldn't do anything about it. I'm afraid that with the current strength of the Straw Hats, all of them combined wouldn't be enough for Hawkeye. Zoro had to go through this battle, and Gretel had no reason to stop him from the most important battle that allowed him to climb to the top. He can only try his best to make Zoro's loss less ugly. Zoro took the hood off his arms and tied it around his head. After listening to Gretel's words, he also understood that this kind of top powerhouse was not something he could defeat at the moment. But he still wants to fight. Zoro opened the bottle and poured the spirits into his mouth in big gulps. In a few moments, Zoro had drained himself and threw the bottle back to Gretel. The eagle-eyed ship slowly drifted past the fins, and Zoro, finding the right moment, jumped up and landed on the wreckage of the giant ship. There, there happened to be an excellent platform for fighting. Hey, are you the number one swordsman in the world? Zoro took out three knives and pointed at Hawkeye. The eagle's eyes were extremely sharp, and his eyes, which were like eagles, glanced at Zoro lightly. The moment of destiny has finally arrived. Zoro, who was still awake, swallowed a mouthful of saliva with difficulty in his throat. I went to sea just to find you, the world's number one swordsman. Stupid. Hawkeye looked at Zoro, who had firm eyes and a ruddy complexion, stood up, stepped forward, and came to the wreckage. My name is Luo. Zoro's words were directly interrupted by Hawkeye. For the nameless swordsman, I'm not interested in knowing your name. Hawkeye's arrogance made Zoro look ugly. He didn't even give him the chance to declare himself a family? Three knives? That person is the bounty hunter Rorino Zoro who East Blue just offered a bounty of six million. I'm really free, so let me try how weak the swordsman in this East Blue is. Hawkeye tore off the cross on his chest, and took out a knife only ten centimeters from it. I can't find a smaller knife than this, come on. Hawkeye's performance was extremely arrogant, but he does have this kind of arrogant capital. Advertisement. You. If you are really a world-class swordsman, then you should know the gap between you and me without fighting, but you didn't notice it at all. It can only be said that you have not even stepped into the threshold of a swordsman. 
Hawkeye's words were extremely harsh. Dare to point a knife at me, should I admire your courage, or lament your ignorance? Zoro held the blade of the ruined king and pointed at Hawkeye, anger brewing in his heart. He didn't dare to take it too seriously, and was going to use his own trick directly. Gretel has been watching the movement of the two of them carefully, and he heard the conversation clearly. It has to be said that Hawkeye's pretentious rhetoric is really powerful, and he can't help admiring it. Three Swords Technique, Demon Slash. In an instant, Zoro used his three knives and slashed at Hawkeye fiercely. But in the next second, he was completely stunned. With that small knife alone, Hawkeye resisted his previous invincible tricks. At the intersection of the three knives, no matter how hard Zoro tried, he couldn't move forward at all. Let you see the gap in the world. Hawkeye was so confident that he didn't use any strength at all, and easily blocked Zoro. Brother Zoro. Johnny and Joseph were on the fins, their heads kept dripping with cold sweat. Brother Zoro's demon slash, once used before, can definitely defeat the opponent. But, the two were speechless. Damn it. Zoro showed blue veins on his arm, but he was still easily blocked by the opponent. The distance of the world cannot be so far away. Zoro took two steps back fiercely, and then he attacked Hawkeye like a storm. But no matter how Zoro attacks, Hawkeye forms an impenetrable barrier with just a knife and one hand. Is it really like what Gretel said? No matter how I attack, I will be predicted. Zoro backed away sharply, hands behind his back. Tiger Hunter. He flashed in front of Hawkeye in an instant, and slashed down with a fierce saber, not cut off. Because Hawkeye had stabbed him in the chest with a knife, the blood flowed out, reminding Zoro of the promise he made to Kuna when he was a child. I will definitely take your share to become stronger and become the strongest swordsman in the world. Advertisement. The corners of Zoro's eyes became sharp instantly, he violently swung the knife in his hand. Hawkeye's knife is still stuck in his body, this is an excellent opportunity, but at this moment, Hawkeye drew his knife and retreated, immediately let Zoro's moves fail, sure enough, it still doesn't work. A feeling of drunkenness suddenly rushed into his mind, because the bleeding from the wound caused the onset of alcohol to be faster and more violent. Zoro continues to launch a crazy offensive, still no use, it can't break Hawkeye's knife defense at all. Attacking again and again, being knocked to the ground by Hawkeye again and again. Such a crazy attack, what are you carrying? I absolutely cannot lose. Zoro is on the offensive again. He suddenly dropped a hand. Two sword style, two cuts. It blows in front of Hawkeye like a gust of wind. He saw the movement of Hawkeye's knife, but once he dodges, he also loses the opportunity to attack. Zoro met Hawkeye's knife and slashed down fiercely. A piercing pain hit him, causing him to drop his hands weakly. Johnny and Joseph on the fins, Usopp, and others couldn't help but were held down by Gretel and Luffy. This is Zoro's battle. If we intervene, it will be equivalent to destroying his dream. Everyone suppressed the anger in their hearts and continued to watch. Do you want to be pierced through the heart? Why don't you dodge? Hawkeye demanded. If he hadn't deviated a point at the end, Zoro would have been pierced through the heart. That's an opportunity to attack you, and I won't back down. Zoro replied with difficulty. Such a tenacious will, but wielding a clumsy sword move. The battle you want, I will give it to you. Advertisement. Hawkeye pulled out the knife, took a few steps back, and then drew the knife behind him. This world's strongest black knife is named, yeah. I will remember the long lost strongman, boy, please name him. Hawkeye pointed at Zoro with a black sword in his hand. Is the world the strongest? Zoro raised his head and looked at Hawkeye who finally drew his saber. His physical strength has almost been exhausted. There is no extra strength to use a violent offensive. The last blow. Go all out. Zoro raised the two knives and brought the hilts together. The three knives formed a perfect angle. My name is Rorano Zoro. Rorano Zoro, I remember your name. In order to show respect to the strong, I will use this knife to send you to the sea. Zoro said in a deep voice, that's really grateful. Three swords technique. Three thousand world. The bodies of the two intertwined and appeared behind each other. Kong. The ordinary knife in Zoro's hand was chopped off in an instant. Pfft. A mouthful of blood also spewed out from Zoro's mouth. He lost. Zoro turned around with difficulty, opened his arms, and the empty door was wide open. Come on, it's a disgrace to a swordsman to get hit in the back. Zoro shouted with all his strength. My life may end here. Pfft, young swordsman. Hawkeye held the knife in both hands, and slashed across Zoro's chest mercilessly. Don't worry about dying, I will stand at the top of the world and wait for you. Hawkeye put away the black knife and jumped into his own small boat. Dragon Boat Festival reading big discount, recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, June 22nd to June 24th. Advertisement.